Hi, howdy, g'day. Oh, wow, what's good? Cool, here with another... <laughs> Red Dead RP stream is George Hughes on the Diablo RP server. How's it going? It is a bit... Oh, I feel like I say the same thing lately. Every time, it is a bit cold, but I'm... I've got my... Got my dressing gown. I've got my Ugg boots. Oh, good. It's Friday night. The week is <coughs> the work week is done. It was a very busy day today. Got a lot done, I think. Well, I got at least everything that needs to be done between now and Monday, anyway. So that felt good. Oh, oh gosh. Let's see what is in store for old Hughes tonight. Oh, goodness gracious. Pray for Hughes. Pray for Hughes. No idea what's going to happen tonight. No idea. So, for anyone that didn't catch last night's stream, um, there was a law leadership meeting. Well, it ended up being just a meeting with bunch of people from law and doctors and whoever wanted to show up really um meeting with the governor where he appointed marcus wolf as the sheriff of the east and george hughes as the sheriff of the west which is a little scary it's exciting but it's also a bit scary um mm. like i'm gonna i have an idea of things i would like to do Things I would like to try to just make things better. Or just what would make sense, but I I don't know. We'll have to see how it actually goes. Um Yeah. Alright, we're on duty. It is just it is just all Hughes. Check something. Oh, that seems to be the same. That's all right. Because <laughs> now I've got to be looking into thinking of like, do we change the the pay rate for the different um, ranks in the law department? Um, it's also stuff like, do we? Um, <clears throat> Do we change the uniform? If so, what do we change it to? A whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, I should probably put my badge on. Uh, little... Um... How do you make it go forward? Or if it, like, if it goes there... Oh dear. No! Oh, it's so fiddly! It's so fiddly! Uh, okay, to move. Um... Uh, plus key? Where's it gone? Oh. Put your hands down. Put your fuck. Stop putting your hands up, George. It's. Okay, so to move.
I, I don't know. Where's it gone, man? Oh, God. Oh, oh I don't... Oh. It's confusing, man. How do I... How do I do it without it being weird? Oh, no. There we go. That looks that looks okay. Oh, but then it looks weird when it's like that. Oh, what a pain. I do you know, I just never feel like I can win with the badge. Not that anyone looks at it. <laughs> Evening friend. Oh howdy, howdy, Palmer. How you going? Um, I need to send I need to send a telegram to Good Sheriff evening. Wolf. That's quick. Can't win with the badge. Ain't that the truth? Too fucking true. Too fucking true. How you going, Squid? Oh, my fingers are cold. Ooh. Good? Excellent to hear. You got a good weekend ahead of you? Nothing planned, but I'm sure the weekend will be good as well. That's good. That's excellent to hear. Well, Elden Ring, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you're playing the um, the the new DLC that everyone's enjoying or saying is it's it's too hard. I would be in the it's too hard camp, and that's why I don't play Elden Ring because <laughs> I suck at those games. I am just I am bad. I am straight up bad. Bad, 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 bad. No good at him. Um. God, I hope Jeb is alright. Um. Now, I believe. I wrote it right. Marcus. <laughs> um sheriff to sheriff wolf I hope the last 24 hours have been kind to you um I'd like to think I have a solid plan in place, but I suppose time will tell. Would still love to arrange a meeting with you when suits or a night, night, or over the next few days, except Sunday night. I am unsure if myself or anyone else from the West will be attending the boxing event tomorrow night. Fun regards. Sheriff George Hughes. Oh my god, that's weird to write. Alright, we got a we got I was about to say we got an email out to Wolf. We got a telegram out to out to Wolf. Uh let's send also one to um <clears throat> meeting. Mr. Corley. I've been doing some thinking over the last twenty-four something hours. 
and there's something urgent I need to talk to you about if you if you are available tonight or tomorrow night kind regards Sheriff George Hughes P.S. My fingers are really fucking cold and it's hard to type I need to speak to Frank about something something has crossed my mind something don't seem right got a bad feeling I need to put my heater on for a little bit <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> Ugh. Eat, bros. You got that money. Yeah. Ah. You want to stop breaking my windows, bros? Ah. Yeah, she was on that horse that was behind us. Howdy, y'all. <coughs> Hope you're having a good oh, night. Just remember, no long arms in town, oh, please. Yeah, no. Howdy, George. Howdy. Is that Mr. Hughes? Hey, where's your hat? You get a new one yet? My hat? Yeah, I got one right yeah. here. Oh, that's good. Can I have it again? I gotta go to the bathroom again. Just, just remind everybody, just did no long arms in town, just to keep everyone at ease. Okay. There's Robert's around here, mister. Yeah, we're looking for Robert's. You see any, any fillers on my ass with a bucket hat? Pardon? We're looking for some fellers in white with a bucket hat. Careful of that horse, oh. he looks pissed off. Oh, I just got in. I've just been sending off some telegrams, but I haven't seen anybody dressed in white or anything I'm afraid of. Yeah, be careful if you do. Yeah, just yeah, uh, bird. They're bastards. Uh, Robbing I, people at Mount Sean. I, I was sworn in as a, a sheriff yesterday, so I gotta... I gotta be well, a... Congratulations. Oh, you're the new sheriff. Oh, that's great, dude. You're Thank gonna get you. blamed for all the shit we do oh, now. Good on you. the sheriff department. Yeah, Jesus I gotta be just sheriff. on a, a whole lot of responsibility. So, yeah, just... I can hear Harry. Just remember, y'all, just no long arms in town, please. Just, just hey, take it easy. That's real cool. Out of town's fine. It's just... Yeah. It's Absolutely, like sheriff. No worries. But, yeah, y'all having a good, good night anyway? So far, so good. No robberies on us. Yeah, pretty good show for me. Oh, robbery's on you. What do you mean? Well, we got robbed last night at uh, Mount Sean. Oh, right. So yeah. So what? So fellas dressed in white up at the mountain. Yes, sir. And they just robbed some people not like four to five minutes ago as well. I heard. Shit. Oh, yeah, we're about. At yeah, Mount Sean. What's going on, y'all? Mount Sean. Well, I've been I've been meaning to think that I need to include that in the uh, the West Law Patrol route. So thank you for letting me know. Thank um, you. I'll I'll be uh I'll be letting the rest of the West Law know, and I'll be seeing it to myself tonight and tomorrow night, going by Mount Sean, because that, that's ridiculous. People like yourself shouldn't have to have you, an eye in the back of your head while you're mining, working hard. That's that's disgusting. Even with an eye on the back of our head, they still snuck up on us. Isn't oh. that right? Also, Montana, I would have tackled you, but there's someone here who doesn't like it. Uh, yeah, I thought I could hear. That's, yeah, well, I'm disappointed to hear that, fellas. Well, look, yeah, I'm going to get a, that included in the patrol route, see if we can get a hold of it. But any more information you get about them, let us know, and we'll we'll deal with them. And I shall, sir. Put an shooter? end to it. Hughes, do you what? know about the snapping turtle? Mm-hmm, pardon? What? Snapping turtle? Hey, don't know. I need brother, to talk to you. cousins and brothers Oh, go? yeah, oh, well, yeah. I yeah, thanks, 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 fellas, for your understanding about the long arms. Yeah, I'm definitely not wanting to hassle everyone. It's just, Absolutely, we just... Absolutely, Sheriff. Sir. We just... It's best if we don't have full-on... War zones in towns. It just it can, okay, it can quickly escalate. Officer. Go for it. Um, if you get arrested, yep, and you've paid your fine, yep, do you and do you get your gun given back to you? That is Not the. If you've used it in a crime. As far as I'm aware, throughout the entire West Department, that is what we like to do. Uh, we just take the gun so as even a if reminder. You used it in the crime. Oh, well, that's it. That that. Depends on the severity of the crime 
related to the gun. Like, say... Say attempted murder. Oh, damn it. That, if that becomes a bit of a, a tricky spot, ma'am, I will be honest. Because if it was used to to uh, shoot a, a number of innocent folk or lawmen or doctors or anything like that, there's a very good chance that that gun will never be seen again. Okay. It's... Oh, yeah. We got up. Yeah. If we gave every gun back for people trying to murder people, it, it's not. It doesn't really send a good message. But, but, but say it's a you know you would defend yourself it's or it's like a root. like a little simple little store robbery or something, but no one got hurt. We'd be more inclined to give it back. But it, yeah, it just depends on the context. Is is my mm. question? So I was telling um. Armadillo and Tumbleweed. Yep. They're standing on long arms as if it was a high powered long arm. And that's not the same here, I take it. Oh, look, it's a. The West. Well, down there, you got the real West down there with the Texas Rangers. Now, I believe they would prefer that people didn't hold on to their long arms in towns. They, they said it was fine as long as it wasn't a high powered long arm. Uh, yeah, they. As it's their jurisdiction, they have the, within their right to change it up. It's like and, he's horsey out here. Considering the uh, the hostility of the region, that it's all right. But you know, Blackwater, Strawberry Valentine, we're really trying to, you know, build up these areas as civilized places for people to live. So it's it's uh, it's the kind of culture we're trying to to grow. You know. Well, you need to tell the Rhodes County to um, pull their heads up. Oh, don't you worry, ma'am. Tonight or tomorrow night, whenever I can, I'm going to be having a sit down with the new East Sheriff, and we're going to put our heads together to try and you know sync up with principles and rules and whatnot, so that it's it's more consistent. Because Rhodes across. is a mess. Rhodes is a mess. I'd hate to barge in here, but I really need to speak to Mr. Hughes like really urgently. I, oh, I okay. Yeah, you're at. But yeah, any, no, I'm finished. But uh, if anyone needs to get a hold of me, my Either. postal ID is six and. Uh, if you have, if if I'm ever in a quiet moment at the the Blackwater Law Department or any others in the West Jurisdiction, feel free to come by. Always happy to have a chat. No worries. Right Just want to look after out everybody. Of my face, sir. Stone attempted murder him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where should we have this discussion, Shiver? Uh, we're somewhere quiet. We can go. Maybe the field in front of the governor's building. Yep. I yeah. guess for now. Yep. So I was just yeah, sent off some telegrams, and then I'm just a lot of people came to town no, with long uh, arms. And... Uh, this is a uh, about Jim. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I only just saw no, your telegram from yesterday. George, it, this is it's way beyond that now. We're stirring the snake's nest. Oh God. Whatever you think you know, this is fucked up. <laughs> Breathe, George. Breathe. Second day on the job. It's fine. Just breathe. You know what that bush looks like? Yeah. It's a... Okay. Uh, well, how do I start this? It's a long tale. Um, whose death certificate is missing? Fun game. Uh. Who? Calder. Oh, fuck. Coincidentally, whose body is missing from the morgue? Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, we God. We have reason to believe that Calder is alive and may have taken Jip. Oh, Jesus I, I'm Christ. I'm the bandage off right here. Now, how this all came about is, uh, and you're going to laugh at the source, but Mr. Gold. I had him escort me up into the mountains because I was pursuing a lead that Jeb may have been up there because I had some suspicious activities happen to me up there yesterday. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh boy, he, and the way he said it, and he doesn't usually mess me around, but the way he said it was like, like, I don't know, just something else. He asked me first if I, had a, if I believed in ghosts and asked me some questions. I think he was checking his own sanity and since I'm a doctor, mm -hmm. but everything he said was tangible. And he says that he met Cal outside of Strawberry and that Cal was with Dottie and he, Cal was extremely happy. And asking Galt to keep it quiet and to call him Jethro. He's going by Jethro? By Jethro. Right. And here's the thing. He did say, and this time lines up too. Sorry, just keep an eye out for these. 
this this time of Cal being so happy lines up with the disappearance of Jeb. And apparently Cal gets super happy when he kills people. Oh god. And the death certificate being gone and everything is lining up because we check with Dolores. The body is gone. The death certificate was never written. He was she she was asked not to put it out there because some bureaucratic bullshit about locating next to kin because the governor pretty much said don't do it now i'm gonna interject here oh did i get that part wrong no no you did but all of this is speculative evidence yeah point. yeah of course, right, sorry course. he's gonna reel, reel it in yep that absolutely no it, no but it does make one would assume that all oh, this is correct because it just it makes a lot of sense and that, that's what i'd be inclined mm -hmm. to believe So what they last seen around Strawberry? Yeah, let me uh. Mm. uh no. You go ahead. I'm I'm thinking this might lie outside of the sheriff's department. If you catch my drift. Well, it's it it's. I don't think I'm gonna be be able to. They'll see me mm. coming a mile off. I don't think there's any chance in hell. That I'd be able to organize another sit down under a tree, yeah. no, and God, uh, no. and that wouldn't be a good look for the West Law Department either. Um, I can be looking out for any, listening out and looking out for anything tonight between mm -hmm. here, Strawberry, and Valentine. And of course, I can let Miss Wheeler here know as soon as I learn anything. Well, I'm thinking this might need a slide across the desk of some certain individuals that are good at investigating things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Lou tonight? No, but I have sent it out a telegram to uh to Frank Corley uh, to talk to him about mm. something else. But if I get a hold a hold of him before y'all, I can uh, update him as well. Hey Todd, fuck off. <laughs> Todd, please. For now. For like five minutes. Todd, five we just minutes, please. We just need another few minutes, Todd. Hello, Todd. How are you today? Oh, I'm well. Todd, I am I'm just very serious. I will talk to you another time. I appreciate what you did last night. We won't be long, Todd. <laughs> Sorry, I am not feeling myself. Nope. Yeah, it's it's perfectly reasonable. Okay, Is, what, so I can I'll try and get a hold of Lou or Frank if I can. If I can get a hold mm -hmm. of either of them before y'all, I'll I'll let them know. Tell them it's what? urgent that they find us and track us down. Do you, do they need our post IDs? Mine's in the newspaper. Um, I've got yours, Jeff. Shuba. What's yours? 108. 108. All right, let me just make a note of that. Happy to do that. And then, of course, if there's anything y'all learn, and it's William, isn't it? Uh, Shuba's fine. Just Shuba? But yeah, it's William. Just, it's two, two Williams in the dock. William. No one calls me William. I know, I just got him. What the fuck was that? that Funny, Todd. Where was that? Where'd you see? Did you see where that was? By the sheriff's office. For fuck's sake. Had a pawn. Did you see where that came from? Hello? Was that you shooting? No, not me. Oh, there's some shots fired. So I didn't mean to come out with my weapon. This is what I'm trying to look after. I don't know where he went. Howdy. Uh, I just, yeah, I just heard some shots. Ping okay? Yeah, there was a guy on a horse. There was a guy on a horse. He uh, ran over one of the blokes down there. And then... Was it a the... local? Yeah, it's a local that's doing the shooting, but it was a normal bloke. It was, um, ran over some bloke and then, uh, I can hear a off. whistle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I'm not 100% sure what was going on. Oh, thanks for that anyway, partner. Yeah, Is it too, John? No worries, no worries. Uh, that's me. That's darn ill. No, there's a dust. Oh, yeah, what's your name? John yeah, it's yeah, it's me, Alexi. How you doing? Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? How are you? Yeah, that's, I'm good. What was you. your name there, partner? Uh, Zane. Zane Ryder. You okay, Woodman? Zane Rye, right, are you the will. fella doing the ride alongs lately? Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. Oh! Like okay. Yeah, I thought you, yeah, you looked like low material. How do you. My name's George Hughes, I'm the recently appointed, appointed sheriff. Oh, nice to meet you finally. Oh. Heard a lot about you. Hey, Alexi, good things, I, I hope. Always. Always fucking good things. Give me a sec. 
the man in white. Oh, come on now, y'all. Oh, can man we get those white, long arms off your backs in town? Oh, apologies. Oh, sorry, George. George. We were literally about to head back out. I, I understand. <laughs> just, yeah, if you're heading you no, no. out, out, out now in a sec, that's, that's fine. It's just, yeah, we don't want... No, no. I was, oh, where's I was that now? Yeah, Last thing we need is one person firing off a pea shooter and then fucking firing line, mowing everyone down. That's all we want. It's all over. Ain't got time for that shit right now. Right there. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. All right. You're just gonna run. Oh, Mr. Roddy. Well, <laughs> let's come over here for a sec. Oh my god. <clears throat> I just got him. I'm trying to send some telegrams. Trying to have some meetings. Ah, uh, you're right, mate. It's all good. Fucking circus come through town, showing off their damn guns. All right. No, nice to meet you. I've heard. I've heard good things. Uh, hey, yep, yep. Harkness and Sledge and a couple of the others yeah, mentioned that you've been doing ride-alongs over the last week. Fantastic yeah, to hear. Have, yeah, And just been, yeah. you know, really just getting to it. Excellent to hear it. Love to hear it. Uh, so, yeah, I I got put in as sheriff literally last night. So Yeah, right. Yeah, I heard to... there was um, voting and stuff going on, but I didn't know who oh. was going to... Look, there was supposed to be a vote. There was supposed to be a vote. Didn't happen. There apparently will be another vote down the track but in the in the interim they've the governor's I just at think, the, yeah the department needs leadership regardless just you know just someone singular at the top just to filter everything through you know let's make it happen exactly let's just exactly. let's just get to it so how i'm approaching it is i'm really just my focus is on what can i be doing for everyone in the department make their life easier i'm trying to get recruitment happening I'm going to yep. be seen to training because we need, more importantly than anything else, we need to bolster our numbers because we just we just do not have the numbers compared to Agreed. the average Harkins people. Agreed. telling me what, we got three up in the West? Oh, it's, well, I've, I've recently been busy. Uh, sometimes I'm busy, but then on, on a good night, you'll have like myself, you'll have Todd over here, you'll have Harkness and Sledge. Like that's, that's really four, but that's not guaranteed every night. And then yeah, sometimes right, yeah. you'll see Clink. Sometimes you'll see there was a Cyrus Bowman. Sometimes you'll see Charles Bowman, the ex-sheriff. Um, but it's not guaranteed. It's it's really just four on a good night. Yeah, we need a bolster those numbers. So really glad to hear you're involved. We've got another fella coming around tonight. Uh, Ato, I believe his name is. A Native American gentleman. Yeah, yep, yep. And uh, so, so that'll be my priority. Um, just trying to get... Oh, for fuck's sake. Where is that? Fuck me. I swear to God, if I see that group with their damn long arms again. Fucking Jesus. And that's what makes it hard with little numbers. Is that when Pain we're... the fucking ass. We're staring down a, a, a group all with long arms, and you go, Oh, please, can you take all your long arms off? And they can just easily say no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then, you know... Just fucking put your hands up, mate. Like, there's only so much one lawman can do against one man a big can group. Do. I say, please, and then, please. In such a large jurisdiction as well. Oh, yeah, you should, we had that martial law not that long ago. And God knows what else. Feels like every day there's something going on. But yeah. Um, so, my, tonight's attention is I'm trying to get in contact with uh, Mr. Corley from the Pinkertons. Mr. Wolf from the East Department, because we're trying to have a sit down just to align things with the East. And uh, so those are my two priorities tonight, as well as seeing to this new recruit, Ato. Ato, yeah. Ato, Ato coming in, doing dealing yep. with that. So, look, I haven't seen, I believe Sledge might be around tonight, and then he's away for four days. Yep. Uh, Harkness should. Wait! Is that happening? Why can I? Why is that? It never sounds clear to me where it is. Uh, it's right next to you. Do you not see that man? No. Um, I think it's a local. Oh really? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. It, it was literally right next to you guys. They were shooting old mate that ran off. Oh, I can't even see him. Ah, uh, that's shit. Oh. I can't see him either. Hopefully that will subside soon. Fucking ghost locals, those bastards. Haunting the place. So. Uh, 
But yeah, I've heard you've really hit the ground running. Have a lovely day, boys. We should do straight to here. I think... Uh, uh, here comes this local you can't see. Now, everyone's had their ranks reset, in a sense. So over the next few weeks, I've got to be reassessing that. Oh, God, that's annoying. So, but I, st I still consider Harkness, Sledge, Woodman, and Charles Bowman as seniors. So yep. definitely, whenever you need help or guidance, go to them, like Todd here. Um... Eh? Uh, but have, to, Wood, Woodman, have you met Zane here? Yeah, we yeah, met, we met the, the other night. Yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, look, I would I would recommend uh, helping out Mr. Woodman here tonight. Um, yeah, I'm actually not going to be around for too long, Mr. George. What? Why? It's Friday. Yeah. What else? What? What do you? What you got? Dinner plans or something? No. What Lucky are you lady. doing? No. Just. Won't be around. I might be back later. All right. Well, fuck. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> You're allowed to live your life. That's fine. It's just. Plus, I just fell off a roof and then got shot by that guy. All right. Then until until someone else shows up, feel free to feel free to bug me, Ryder. Yeah, mate. No worries. I'll and I'll, you can you can listen to our ramblings as a as a new sheriff. No worries. Trying to figure all this shit out. Mate, I got gotcha. you. It's all good. All right, Todd, what are you doing now? I'm um, wondering why this flame's not like brighter than the day. <laughs> it's a fucking fire, Todd. <laughs> Maybe I haven't got enough fucking kerosene in it. Oh, what are you doing? He's shooting at us. Who's shooting Who's at us? Who's shooting at us? The guy, the one of the dog guards. You what? didn't see that? No, I shot. I killed one in the alleyway here. There's another one. What? Right here! There's some fucking ghostly shit going on right now. Yeah, you don't want to piss off the dark guards. Where? He's right here! At my no, face! No, there's no one there for me. No, you're oh. seeing things, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, I just shot him clean in the face. Oh, well, good. Me. Now, a little lower. A little to the right. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, you fuck! Todd! <laughs> I, I, there's no one there. Oh, just at least it's quiet now. Okay. Jesus fuck. All right, Todd. Yeah, how much longer you around for? Uh, I'm, I'm waiting to see. <laughs> like I said, lucky, lucky lady, boss. Lucky lady. Who? It must be a lucky lady. No. Nope. That's why he's waiting to see. Oh, he's probably going hunting with Louisa. No. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to go hunting with Miss Wheeler, but some of us have jobs to do, Todd. Nah, it's alright. No, it's actually encouraged that you don't, do not, never feel like you need to be on well, duty he? every fucking day. You uh, don't, definitely. Don't, you don't have to be in the country every day, and if you do want to be in the country every day, you certainly don't have to be on duty every day. But I would, I would, it, it is smiled upon. If you sometimes make the effort for Friday and or Saturday nights. Oh, guess what? Friday, Saturday nights is the day I'm free the most. Well, as long as it's making you happy, that sounds good. But yeah, we just got a drug uh, alert up in Wapiti, so who wants to go for a ride? Yeah, why not? I'm down. Let's go. Get out of this damn town for a minute. Get collect my thoughts. Oh Actually, my god. Blackwater, Blackwater. Great food, the saloon. Fuck. Also, hello Hammer, hello Mrs. Blackwater. Venom, hello Tom Loy, hello Tinny House. Alright. Where's Todd? Where the hell's Todd now? <coughs> Todd, what are you doing? You gonna run to Wapiti? What are you doing? What are you, you Jack? Chicken. You Jack now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jack's great, but he he does love a a good passenger ride. Not wrong a, being a passenger princess, boss. He's a. I just look. If if you've got something that desperate to be thinking about, no harm in being a passenger princess here and there. But the the issue I have with it is that what if we're all heading out as a group and we quickly need people to peel off and separate? If someone's yeah, on great. the back, we gotta wait for them to call their horse and get on their horse, and and then precious seconds have been lost. 
Indeed, I agree. So that's that is the method to the madness. It's not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be a dickhead. I'm. I <laughs> have all intentions on being a fair sheriff. But <laughs> we have a you job know, to do. There's a fucking fine line between a dickhead and a fair sheriff, boss. <laughs> But he, look, and, and hope everyone remembers. I I am very new to this as well. I've I've never had much training in this sort of thing, so I'm learning just like y'all. So I reckon we I reckon the best way. I'm just getting this off the storybook here, right? So uh -huh. you you set yourself a set of rules, and you let your deputies know what rules we're talking about. So like you go like rule number ten: never get personally involved. Oh no, that that's actually. A, Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> ah! Fuck. Is that you? Oh shit. Jesus Christ! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Fucking Hughes. Oh god, god damn it. <laughs> Jesus. I can't feel alright, brother. I can't feel my legs. No, you can. Please call the doctors. Cynthia Wheeler. What? Right. Fuck. Please, the, the doctor Cynthia Wheeler. <coughs> My dear friend. Uh, I don't know if you can call a specific doctor. I don't think I That's can. That's okay. Can I oh, I can invite him to dance. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> Let him feel his legs. Oh, oh, that'll surely cure him. He got fucking wrecked. You're right, boss. Yeah. You scrapes. Look, Todd. Can you take Zane up to where we were gonna go? Just check it out and and check. Uh, I don't. I don't think they'll be there by the time we get there. No, it's it's more just check strawberry and Valentine on the way up or down, and then I'll oh. see you back here. Okay. As I said, I don't have a whole lot of time, George. Fine. Should we call Cynthia for you? No, just a general, a doctor in general. Uh, okay, <laughs> no one's called a doctor yet. Not yet. Oh. Oh God! Okay, I sent I sent the uh, dispatch. Jesus, that was just James. highly unfortunate. That was very unfortunate timing. Yeah, look, yeah, it's fine. Like I don't think either of us could have seen the others. I, I can't hear anything. Had I heard you, I would have uh, stopped. No, it's. All right, Pop. Did, did anybody get a memory of it though? <laughs> Just ask. Yeah. I'm twinkling, so yes. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Jesus I'm, Christ. I'm, I'm I'm twinkling in two different ways right now. First, first out of the job, <laughs> and I see George Hughes get the sheriff get ran over by a wagon. Now, yeah, yeah, that's that's a good wow. start, boss. Hit. Like even not me, flat out as well. Here's a here's a great lesson for the you boys. Now, what they were doing riding that fast out here, that's fine. But if that was in a town, that's a no-no. Yep. That's yeah, whatever. very fast. Also, <laughs> I also reckon we uh, dry, uh, ride in a uh, single file up this hill from now on, boss. I agree. That's another thing I want to train y'all in. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so tempted to put him in the water to clean him up. No. Uh, yeah, I think he'll get washed away if he did that. Yeah, he'll get oh, washed okay. away, I think. This oh, rat is current... too fast. Yeah, gonna... yeah, that's true. I just can't feel my legs. You want some whiskey, boss, or what? No, uh, I've given up the drink. Uh, whiskey might help. I have his alcohol. Whiskey might help with the pain, though. Does anyone have any good jokes? <laughs> I've got um, I got some, but they're a bit uh, a bit next to us. If you know what I mean. Oh, that's a shame. Hard to pull that on my mouth. I swear to God. No, they wouldn't. That'd be rude. Patio. Oh Hi. my Howdy. goodness! What happened to Woodman? No, I'm that's really huge. unfortunate. Corner. That's, that's Woodman. Goodness oh. me! I need to change my glasses. I can't feel it. George, what happened? Traffic. Traffic. All right. So you got thrown and hit your head. Pretty heavy out here. I hit. Uh. I hit everything. Okay, all right. So let's just do a little bit of a spinal check here. Do you want to? Uh, I'm just going to put some pressure on your leg. Can you feel my hands pinching your legs there? Oh, I think so. You think so? Okay. What about the other leg? Can you feel that? 
pretty much the same. All right. Just wiggle those toes for me. Let me see you get some feet movement here. Ah, are they moving? Yeah, they're moving. Can you not feel it? Not really. I'm trying to think uh, like how I would normally do it, but I don't know if it's... All right. Might be a little bit concussed. All right. Let me just check your hands. I'm just going to grab both your hands in mine. Can you give me a little squeeze? <sighs> All right. Yeah. A bit light, but I can I can feel your squeeze. I'm trying to at least I'm, do that. I'm trying. Um, all right. Let's have a look at your eyes there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I think we got a bit of concussion happening here, George. Good news is you don't have any spinal injury, but I dare say you're going to have quite the headache. Oh, no. Do you feel nauseous at all? Nauseous at all? Not really. Just okay. Just everything kind of hurts. All right. I'm going to give you some aspirin in your pocket here to help with that headache. So just mix that with a bit of water when you get on your feet. I will give you a stimulant to get you up. Um, let's just check over and make sure nothing else is broken before I get you up. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tara. Hey, uh, hey You'll be passing to Princess for a while, boss. Fuck, I think I might have to for a little bit. Yeah, it'd be good if you weren't uh, riding. I've been, I'm always very concerned with concussion. Concussion can be something that can come on very slowly. Uh, oh, no. Especially if you've had quite the bump to the head. Um, that was my first time. we ride around in a wagon. Oh, <laughs> be beautiful. You can lay down in the back and he can be like the backup will face the back of the wagon up to a bank robbery. Oh, yes. Up against the back door. So if they run out, you can just pop, pop, pop. You need a maximum gun. That's some good problem and, uh... solving thinking right there. <laughs> Where are you fellas off to? No, we too strenuous, I hope. Nah, nothing too bad. Okay. All right. Well, good news is it doesn't look like there's anything broken. I'm just more concerned about that uh, concussion. So just watch for really violent signs of uh, vomiting, extremely horrible headaches, uh, dizziness, etc. Make sure you get plenty of fluids into you. Keep hydrated. All right. Aspirin's in your pocket, George. I'm just going to give you a stimulant and get you on your feet. Just be careful when you get up. Oh, thanks, Doc. <laughs> Oh. oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Is my horse okay? Um, um, I haven't quite checked the horse. I see oh, two horses. Dear. Yep, so we only have two together. horses. Okay, there's two horses yeah. right over there. Oh no. Uh, I Jack, think your horse it, is good. If you uh, have money, I can give half for a I have six dollars. Oh shit! Well, it, I'll just give you, you what I have. Me. Oh, look! I can, it'll be. I can deal with it. It's fine. I'm. I'm the newly no, appointed. Your, if your horse is, then yeah, you can bill bad. me thirty-five, and I'll pay you back when I get the uh, now. I. What What you can do for me, is tonight, and over the weekend, if you could spread yeah. the good word of people, not speeding in towns. Yeah, in towns. If, everywhere you go, you just pull people aside. You tell them, look. I have first-hand experience of what it's like to hit someone with a wagon. Just raise that awareness for me, please. Of course. Absolutely, in your name. I'm, I'm the newly appointed <coughs> sheriff of the West, so look, I'll, I got the money. It's fine. No, I'm good. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> yep. Jesus Christ, boss. All right. Have, I think you need some rest and get some uh, water into you. Have a drink. You boys yeah, look after him. We'll try our hardest. He's a bit of a wild man, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Ducks run into a horse and cart. <laughs> Lives life on the edge. I just... We... We work hard and we play hard. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I'll be on my way. Boys, take care. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. And look, all things considered, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you again, <laughs> Mr. Hughes. <laughs> and yeah, you raise that awareness, please. Absolutely. Be the change that you want to see in the world. All right, all right, boys, let's keep on our way. <laughs> oh my God. Gonna have to stop by tables. Oh no! No, no, no! 
Oh, my poor, shit. my girl! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my girl! Oh, shit. Oh, no. She looks a bit sore, boss. She's not dead, but she looks sore. How do I use my horse reviver? Uh, uh, I think we're I think we're fast with that boss. Oh, I think they, you have to um, do it while they're yeah. I think like, the vents are gonna have to yeah. This yeah, the stable boss is gonna have to. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's fine. All right. Let's get back to stables. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh dear. Well, jump on, boss. I'll, we'll, we'll take it easy. Thank you, partner. That's that's an awkward start to the day. <laughs> <sighs> All right, back to Blackwater. <laughs> <laughs> also, Dozo, thank you for the 35 stream streak. No one's just falling off. No, this is an all right. This is an okay pace. All right. I'm just glad no one else was hurt apart from my horse and Yours I. truly. Oh. Oh, A lot dear. of random horses with saddles out here. Yeah. It's very odd. But. I. I trying to collect my thoughts what we were talking about I I recently dug up a number of documents that were given to me when I was being trained back in the day um, yeah, yep. just you know the foundations of being a lawman the principles that you're mindful of each and every day when you're on and off duty so <clears throat> with all new all new people that join us here in the west and and with the uh, with all the current lawmen I'd love to just over the next week just find times to sit down and have a talk about that stuff, just get everyone on the same page of what we're all about. So that, you know, we're all on the same page and everyone can pass it on to the, all the new people. We can just keep moving forward together. Great. It's always good to have a refresher. But generally, yeah, you, you and Todd and the others, you all be across it. It's just putting it into words, getting it all, to, all in a, a neat box. Okay, let's... Oh! I need your help. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Brutal. <laughs> That's classic George. <laughs> <laughs> we right. Just gotta, I just gotta change his horseshoes. Be back in a second. Oh, good thinking. I'll just get off the road over here. Todd, what are you doing? Will you? Can you? Can you sit still? You're freaking me out. You're stressing me out, woman. I was speaking to <clears throat> some people over in Blackwater earlier, and uh, we've had some developments up near Strawberry uh, last night and today. Okay. So while I think we've uh, missed the wind of Wapiti, we can head up to uh, head up to Strawberry. Now, uh, yeah, a number of people saying there's. Uh, robberies of miners has increased quite a lot over the last 24 hours at uh, Mount Shan. Okay. 
So we definitely want to uh, include that in our uh, West Patrol route. Like finally there's something worth stopping for in Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, it's just been nice to pass through because, oh, this is a nice town, but no, the Mount Sean is definitely a hot spot currently. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can make it past the creek. <laughs> Did you know there was, a, there was a shift the other week where I didn't leave Blackwater once over about four or five hours? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm ex... I'm ex Tom! Oh! Tom! What the hell was that? Todd! Todd! You're kidding me. Oh my god, I'm going up the hill! I'm what going are you... up the hill! The shit? Oh, I'm going up the hill! How did you get up from that? Are you what? like a superhuman or something? I don't know! How did you get up but you... I got knocked on my ass? I... You were like eight feet in the air then. Well, I hope, I hope your eyes got a good view of that, George. Yeah, I did. I fucking did. Fuck me. How did, I, how did that even happen? I'll go we, up the hill. Can we get to fucking Strawberry? Please? <laughs> For fuck's sake. We're not getting anywhere at this rate. Jeez. Oh my god. Hey, this is my second day. I don't want to... <laughs> Maybe you're cursed, George. I probably fucking am. Oh, look, fuck. I've been very open with the other boys is that, look, when the vote happens, if I'm not voted in as sheriff, that is fine by me. Fuck's sake. That is fine by me. That was fucking crazy. First you, then Woodman. Oh, mate. Look, I'm staying well. I'm staying keep my uh, my distance from you, pair. Right? I'm just going to ride a little bit, yeah, little bit to the left, the okay? Because fuck. If we could inflict that kind of damage on criminals, things would be a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Time's a wasted. Let's get to Strawberry. And, uh, I'll see if I can dig out my notes. And I'll stay. See. Stay to the left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Oh, here we fucking go. I'm already getting PTSD. Oh. Oh, single file, Dreads. Yep, single file. Keep to the far right, alright? Because you got a little bit more room. Alright, I'm clear. Oh, thank god. That's excellent. Maybe one at a time, so then we can, the other person can call out for traffic. No, I think that's that is something we definitely want to become normal is uh, you know when to when to go side by side and then when to call out you know single file like a <laughs> single file cause canyon fuck, like that dude. or a bridge because yeah we I've, I'm getting real sick of seeing <laughs> oh. I, yeah oh yeah you've seen stars so oh I should be all right I should be all right I'm just glad you boys are with me or you got any. <laughs> You got any special animals that you look to when you you get knocked out or what? There is one, but I, I'm only allowed to say it in extreme circumstances. All right, all right, all right. It's a secret. Secret that one. Uh, I'll secret hope I'm around animal. next time that you you say it. <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, I'll have to see your uh, your detective skills there, right? <laughs> if you can put <laughs> put it together, I bet you can. <laughs> All right, if everything looks clear down here, let's head up to Mount Shan. Chan? 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 You're on route to thirst. Do people not drink around here or something? God knows. Fuck Jesus. Fucking God knows. But yeah, last 24 or so hours, increased reports of people being robbed up in Mount Shan, where they said even when they're keeping an eye out, like they're really keeping an eye on the back of the heads. People are still sneaking up on them. So look, hmm. hopefully we can deter them a little bit by including this in the route. And if you find it's quiet, maybe, maybe go under cover, lie in wait for them, see what happens. Up to you. Yeah, definitely. Hang out around in the bushes a little bit. Get the jump on them. Where is this joint anyway? 
should be this cave just up these roads if memory <coughs> serves hey, yo cam thanks for clipping that yeah got to see the clip of hughes getting taken out and then woodman doing a doing a flip Oh, I think I've taken a wrong turn. I think I missed. I think I missed the path. Yeah, Todd will know it. Yeah, just over here. <coughs> If you boys could kindly have your guns at the ready, I'll... Look, I'd really like to just hold the land. My, my arms hurt. I'll take a quick look. I recall, I'm pretty sure there's cougars down in here. Oh, uh. oh leave that light on, please. Oh, sorry. Hold, what, sorry, Jesus. I just had to quickly eat a taco. Sorry, boys. Yeah, just had to get a bit peggish. Had a pocket taco ready to go. This is the West Law Department. Anybody mining in here? Does uh, make yourself known? Anybody mining their own business? <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> that was a bad pun, boss. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I thought I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck maybe, it. Maybe they'll give themselves away with a giggle and it'll echo. With any luck. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't have to carry you out of here while I get chased by a cougar. This is all Hello. just one. I don't like our luck. One big elaborate test. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. Out about the George Hughes. I learnt a lot. I learnt which ways <laughs> arms do not bend. <laughs> which side of the the path to ride on? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, where'd you go? Where the hell's that boy gone? Maybe you can see in the dark. He probably can. He's a. He actually did a lot of mining a couple of weeks ago. There's someone around. Oh, yeah. there we go. Over there. Someone's just been leaving their iron ore. I thought a blacksmith might be after that. What do we got here? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe just some rocks or something. Rocks there. <clears throat> I just haven't. I didn't. I haven't had the time to consider mining. The yeah, Todd did a did a whole lot of mining, and he uh, saved up a lot of money to uh, invest in the opening of the uh, the Valentine gunsmith. Oh yeah, so, old gold guns. Uh, that man, I swear to God. I reckon he he he's a, he should be our number one in of that guy because he can talk all sorts oh he can now uh, sledge and harkness told me yesterday that they've recently uh given him a todd todd are you mining yeah maybe <laughs> we're spot we're investigating the mine yeah i'm investigating by blending in here <laughs> all right what have you found uh, a couple of rubies and some silver ore Oh, you're fucking kidding right, me. Right, that'll, that, that'll go straight into the evidence locker. That's some good oh, evidence you got there, Woodman. Oh, oh. If you could just no. pop, pop that in my coat pocket, please. Oh, oh straight to... Oh. Well, anything made will go straight to the ledger. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to need you to put that in my pocket, son. I'm going to have to take a really close look at that later when we get back to Blackwater. Could be counterfeit. You never know. 
That's right. I need oh, to. There you go. I need to run some tests. Thank you. Excellent work, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Todd. You're a wild man, too. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was weird. When I used to mine here, everyone had a code of conduct. Right? So we'd have, like, five or six wagons lined up out there, and we'd put all our ores in there. No one would touch them. So you these know? people that are robbing them, but not part of this, uh... Oh, code God. Of conduct, no. no way. No. Hmm. I'll be, uh, keeping eyes up to the, uh, rocks above, too, boss, just in case. That's good. Yeah. Horses scattered a little bit. See anything? Good thinking, Zane. But yeah, boys. Yeah, over the next week, definitely, uh, definitely include this in your patrol route. Okay. And, uh, feel free, you know. And 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 as always, you know, when you're out there, you know, you make make sound decisions based on what's happening if you feel like it's a good time to be staking this place out you go for gold just like anywhere else for that no worries at all now there's there's another another big thing we're on my mind tonight is a uh, you may have heard that a Jebediah cross from the East Department a dear friend of all of ours has gone missing and, yeah uh, I did see that some very concerning reports about it. Jesus, what was that? It, 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 sometimes your arms get like locked after mining for a while. Jesus. And then you pull out a gun and you, your bullet goes just, off. Just a heads up would be nice. Just a little bit. Just, just well, a... I, I didn't know it was going to happen. Okay, all right. This is a, can I get hazard pay? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm making mental notes, Zane. I'm making mental notes. <laughs> Fuck me. Can perform under pressure. Tick. <laughs> <laughs> immense. Put immense in front of pressure, please. So, okay. So, yeah. Lots of concern reports about Jebediah and related issues. So, Wait, if you get any word of Jeb or anything suspicious from Mr. Gold or a, a Miss Dottie... Get the word out to, uh, you know, the rest of the department, but also to uh, the doc uh, the doctor's department, especially Shuba and Miss Wheeler, if you can. Uh, uh, why, why those two? Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're sort of like leading an investigation on the doctor's behalf. Okay. They just, they need it because as soon as we can, as soon as Jeb comes back, they need to be, uh, they, uh, they're going to be doing some counseling with him because he's, he's been in a real bad place in his head. Real Why bad. Been in a bad place. Well, he's 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 been feeling extremely guilty about those men he's had to kill while on duty, and it's it's eating him up inside. His fiance's away. What? Why don't we have uh, doctor certificates yet? I don't know. I ain't a fucking doctor. Okay. That's a good call. Oh, yeah, doctor certificates would be nice. Death certificate. Howdy, partner. Hear about, you hear about the night that Harkness had to kill the other day? Oh, I did. Miss Wheeler... Yeah, yeah, his death certificate went straight up. Yeah. Well, that's the other concern and matter, is that, yeah... What about, um, Caldone's death certificate? Yeah, what, why hasn't there been a funeral for Caldone yet? That's what, that's what I'm saying. It's a very concerning... fishy going on there. Very fishy. Very fishy. So keep your eyes, keep your wits about you, boys. Got a bad feeling. That why man would he fake is... He, why would he fake his own death, though? God knows what. God knows just, why. It's just strange that no one's organized a funeral. Mm-hmm. How a man survives that many bullets, I have no idea. You're from telling me. Heard, they just, from what I heard, the East Department just lit him up. So they damn well should have. He... We tried to come to an understanding to try and calm things down here in the West. And uh, within a week, he was uh, beating up and threatening doctors. And doing God knows what else. Wreaking havoc in the east. That man has no honor, and everyone, anyone associated with him, not okay. What caused it? Oh, look, they've they've always that group. They've always been up to trouble, but uh, it got really bad where uh, they had complications in the east, and 
his partner Dottie, she had her prized rifle taken from her. And then she was also put in Siska. So Cal Dern and some others did a breakout. And uh, they were just so determined to get that rifle back that just, they've been just, it got way out of hand. And then they'll take it out on the west here every day. Woodman or Harkness or someone's getting attacked and robbed. And we just, we, and as you see, we don't have the numbers to deal with it. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. I tried to meet him in the middle and say, look, we need you to just stop. This is getting out of hand. Innocent people are going to get killed. Now, some people look at, look at it in a bad light that I'm out here when I was captain trying to make deals with criminals doing some shady shit. It's not really shady when you what you're doing is calming the citizens down, you know what I mean? It's more saving lives than it, anything. He was thinking of the greater good, that's right. And uh, I thought I was doing the right thing, but then he yeah, just made things worse for the East. It's just a back and forth. And so then they... They took it out way too harshly on the east, and then, yeah, they got into that far fight, and now Jeb's paying the price for it all, and I just feel so rotten so, about um, it. So, I'm going to be pretty forthcoming here. Yep. Um, before I went and seen Harkness and got recruited and stuff, I was doing a bit of riding around, talking to people. The east has been causing a bit of a, a stir down there, from what I've heard. Really? People are a bit pissed off, yeah. What, what have they been doing? So, from what I got told, they're just, like, taking guns and um, not giving them back. And all that sort of stuff, like guns that are having to be used in crimes, and oh, that's not well, okay. I, I, I was talking to them. They said they were taking the guns off people and holding them until they paid their fines. That's how yeah. it should be. Yeah, that's how I understand that. That's perfectly like a good way of doing things. But if they're just taking them for the sake of taking them, no, yeah, no, that's they, that is not okay to just be taking them willy nilly. And yeah, if they if the agreement is you get your gun back after the fine, that needs to be in the report. That needs to be in writing in case the you know, the it's riding got officer in there. That's to be it. Accountability. That's a reflection especially, on all of us. Especially with the, the new court system and everything, you know, the lawyers are going to chew, chew us to shreds. That's right. And we're going to be like a bit of rubber and just getting burnt. It like, damages that's how our, bad it's going to be. It damages and it trust. Dam it, yeah, and it damages all of our integrity. Like, it just gets out of hand. And that's what I was having to clarify with some people in Blackwater early. And I'm think, saying as well, you know, you know, that is generally how it goes. But then there are special cases where if the firearm was used to murder a number of innocent people or doctors or lawmen or something, then, uh, you know, it, it, there's a very good chance it may not be returned. But this needs to be communicated and it needs to be written down. It needs to be clear. Yeah, that's right. It's just... And there was a couple of other people... That said, um, they've been sending people to Cisco for too long of hours and all that sort of thing. Like, it's just Look. too many months. Like, depends on the crime, you know? If you do the crime, you do the... Guns out, boys! You all right, Todd? Holy gee, it is not our day. I think the county's out to get us. Yeah. Fucking hell. Good response there, boys. That's good. Everyone, Todd, you're, Todd, you're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, good shit, boys. Good, yeah, you will pass the next test. Well done. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, there, there's a number of pr principles like that and that, yeah, I'll be bringing up with, you know, everyone just so everyone is clearly on the same page, but that is generally it. If you need someone that's committed a crime or they're doing the wrong thing and they need a warning and you really need to make it clear, take their gun, there's an agreement. If they pay a fine or they do this or they fix a behavior summit, you give that gun back. Great. And then if it's not going back because they've, I don't know, shot the governor or something with it, you make that clear verbally and you put it down in writing. Clear as day. You tell them why. And Siska time, look, sometimes, yeah, it's we got to get this person off the streets for an hour or for a day or whatever works. They need time to cool down. That's fine, but I'm more 
I, I need to, we need to be seeing more fines than anything. That's right. The only way we're getting paid is if people pay their fines, so. That's right. So, look. Gotta run the department somehow. Personally, Siska, yeah, if, if they need to be, they need some, a timeout, Siska. But the priority is, time, is fines and taking a, their, their prized possessions to make sure it happens. But, but also, ain't, ain't the worst thing in the world if they forget to pay their fine or if they're bad about it. Because then, well, that's, we'll just go smelt that gun down. That's that's more for our ledger. That's more for our boys. Exactly right. <coughs> the ball's in their court, gentlemen. It's one of those things, you know? One of those fucking things. It's, it'd be nice if people just didn't... This ain't the... This ain't the fucking Wild West anymore. We're... Like Blackwater's... We're trying to get Blackwater booming. Become the next Saint Denis. You know, Strawberry's a nice place. Valentine has its moments. And people just keep running them up. We live in a society! Civilization. Progress will never be stopped as far as I'm concerned. We're always going to progress forward. That's it. We're, we'll be doing our damn best to make sure that happens. All right. So single file for a sec. Lads, is a bridge and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Clear! <laughs> Phew! Jesus, fuck. I thought we, we might just hit, head on up to uh, Valentine, just stop in and see what's happening. <clears throat> we'll probably fuck. hear Mr. Gold before we see him. Ah. Uh. I bet you 50 bucks that I don't have. <laughs> nah, nah, dude. We, I won't take it literally. Nah. I, I think there was a... I came up with a... I'm very good friends with Miss Cynthia Wheeler, one of the uh, one of the doctors. Uh, and, uh, over the last week when I was taking a leave of absence, I was doing some security for the doctors. And yeah, uh, yep. whenever we'd come into Valentine, we'd joke, you know, what's the bet there's a conundrum happening in Valentine? And we'd bet if, if gold was involved or not. <laughs> Gold's always involved if it's fucking Valentine, I swear to God. <laughs> he just can't help himself. He can't help himself. He's got to put himself in the middle. He just, he, he'll, it's like, he'll do anything to, to not stand behind the counter and do his job. Exactly. He's like, I'm bored, I need to get out there and do literally fucking, anything. Fucking talk shit to someone or something. Sometimes it's fine, like he stands up for against these people that are horrible against women and they and they, I, but he's but, got he's got good morals going for him i'll give him that yeah but but like i said hotness and sledge had a chat to him saying look they've given him a warning that there's a line you know y'all can defend yourselves look after each other in town but forming a full-on uh, militia and taking the law into your own hands it's crossing the line yeah that's vigilantism that one yes the point look look after your ha your homes look after each other but then call the law department we will take it from there. No or, point taking a bullet. Or else. Or else then everybody's just shooting each other. Howdy, partners. Yeah. Just be mindful of them long arms in town. We need to... Jed, I ain't even got my... Actually, you just reminded me. I ain't even got my side hate on to see all, anyone get I... hurt. Sorry, Bob. Now you're right. I understand people come and go and hunt. All good. Just, re just friendly remind. <laughs> Gotta plug my headset in. How are we all today, anyway, gentlemen? I'm up on Abby, so. Yeah, you know, not too bad. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that oh. was a uh, bee's dick away from getting stopped. Hey, on there, Mr. Hughes. Oh. I'm surviving. I do mean Mr. now. Oh, look. Yeah, keep me keep me humble. Don't, you don't have to go call me Sheriff. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. Oh, fuck. Hey, Sheriff. Oh, please. It's now that he's a Sheriff. It's my second day. Now that you're Sheriff, you'll be seeing me a lot, mister. What? What are you talking I about? I'm going to have a lot of complaints about this town. I'm going to be coming to you. Yeah, that's hey, good. Come he's to already us. got a headache. He got fucking plowed over by a fucking <laughs> wagon down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
God damn. Holy fuck. I'm lucky these boys are here to pick me back up. Right. Yeah, shit. All right, fellas. You, if you boys want to have a chat to Mr. Gold here for a little bit, I'm going to walk on down to the Telegram station, check my mail, and I'll be right back, all right? Oh, no in boss. that case, you fellas stay here, and i go take a walk with Mr. Hughes. No. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh, we can all walk down, whatever yeah, works. Well, well, we, we, we're gonna ask about Actually, the we, we're can, gonna I, ask can I just show my room? empty hip that I don't even have a side arm right now? You do I, have a lasso, though. Yeah, you do right. have a lasso. Do I do have a lasso, to, uh, yeah. Do you use that to uh, kidnap Jebediah Cross? No, no, no. Although, I did hear about that, and that's some bullshit right there. That man has done nothing wrong to anyone. So I don't know why anyone wants to you know, do harm to him. Or if he wants to do harm to himself, do, do remember, I don't know why. Who was it you kidnapped him? Hey? Who, who kidnapped who? Who am I kidnapping? You you tell us! <laughs> I'm getting accused of something. No, I don't know what I'm getting accused of. There was, there was reports that people saw Jebediah having a bit of a bad time here in Valentine within the last yeah. 24 hours. And people may have seen you. Oh, no. No, he hasn't seen me. Actually, I didn't even see him in town, to be fair. What about Jethro? Uh, Jethro. Did a Jethro oh, come Jethro. through? Oh, Jethro. Uh, no comment. Well, when you do have a comment, we'd love to hear about it. My postal ID is 6 if you need to... If you, you're having trouble making words. L He's look, real sure. no. good with, with sending those anonymous telegrams off here. He's been sending them to a couple of lucky ladies. Hey, look, if you receive an anonymous telegram, it is not from me, Sheriff. I would never be caught giving information out on potential criminals uh, or p people who potentially took someone. Of course not, but we, we, but whoever does send anonymous telegrams with that sort of information is is highly regarded amongst all the law department. That, that sounds really fucking bad for me. I'm going to be honest with you. I just want to see. I just want to make sure Jeb's okay, goddammit. Listen, I, I don't know anything about Jeb, and I wish I did. He, he's a sweet man. In fact, actually, I have a vested interest in keeping him around because uh, he, he's one of my best customers. Although, we'll check my telegrams for love letters, too, to be fair. <laughs> Let me, see. <clears throat> let, let me see. I would never, I would never read out loud my telegram. So y'all just ignore this. I think Ooh, that was Frank back hello. there. Oh fuck! I don't know. Tell him you want to meet up for a date or something. No, no, no. Don't tell him that no, no, no. exact wording. What the fuck? What in the sand? What? <laughs> I, I gotta hang on. Where's my camera? Hang on. I gotta give me one sec. I'm, I'm gonna take a photograph of this here um, telegram because y'all y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. Now, let me see here. Who the fuck? Y'all y'all just ain't gonna believe this. Look at this. God damn. Uh, boys, I think I'm about to get married. She's a damn kid. All right. Hey, Who hey. is it? Who is it? Which one? Uh, <laughs> Which one from the other night? The, Let me know. The prettier one. The prettier one. They're both pretty. They were, they weren't they? <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> cooking. Let me, me hang on a minute. Let me, let me, I slide that photograph of that telegram in your pocket. All right, uh, all right, all right. Let me have a this... gaze. Let me have a gaze. I know which one it is, too. You have that. There you go. There was one preceding that, but I would what never... What is that wording? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. It gets better. It gets better. I got to I, I think I need to go back to school. Here's the... I need, I need um, the uh, re-educated with my, my language. Oh, after reading that. shit. Oh, goddamn. Good shit. Uh, Quick. Jesus, I'm I can, fuck. I, can, I don't, don't even know how to explain this. that letter. All right, everybody. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that new recruit we're expecting... 
the Native yep. American fella, he's uh, waiting for me down in Blackwater. So, All so, right. so look, I'm gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need to take care of that personally. It's gonna be a lot of me just riding around with him talking with him so you boys huh? you You're boys right, do what you do best all right oh well i'm gonna he head off God, i think harkness time. will be around soon yeah so. zane you yeah you use your best judgment definitely do what you do what you feels best keep an eye for harkness or sledge or anyone else and yeah, uh, definitely. and uh and uh, yeah my post id is six if you need to get a hold of me later but after yep. i've uh you know done a ride along with mr hinto happy to yeah happy to <laughs> happy to go on for some more safe rides no worries to me, boss. You know I'm around when you need me. I don't even know what my telegram number is. Hang on, give me a sec. Think about post ID, friend. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, let me... 894, <laughs> boss. If you need me, 894. Oh, oh, oh I Sounds finally good. have a better one than all you. All right, boys. Oh, thanks for, so your, thanks, for, thanks for all that. I will see you later, okay? No worries, boss. Was it keep buying the good fight. All right, let's get back to Blackwater. Where, where, where? Hey, Feezy. How you going, mate? Good to have Zane back, because yeah, people will may remember that um Zane was around before the reset here and there. Um, I believe he might have been a sheriff at some point. Um, so he knows what he's doing. So it's really good to see him in as a recruit, uh, as a deputy. So that's really good to see. That is really good to see. Oh, you'll be around later. Love to hear, man. I'm glad to hear you well. Yo, Pepper. Oh, mate. Uh, George was made Sheriff of the West yesterday, which is, it, while it's exciting, it's also incredibly, like, goddamn, like, I'm trying to come up with some game plans of what I can be doing to just try and make things better and just keep things going well uh there will be another vote at some at some point um and there's a, there's a very good chance that george just won't be successful with the vote which is fine if people vote for someone else that's fine that's just how voting goes so um, until then i'm just trying to inject what i know Okay, they're just skinning deers. I was like, is that a body? Is that a human? I was a little bit worried this second. Thanks, man. Um, look, I I think generally the, the the extra responsibilities isn't too bad. Like, it should be good for... Um, it should be good for, like, the stream because it's a lot of, like, you know, going out of my way to follow up with, like lawmen see how they're doing you know have meetings with people um you know a lot of stuff we do anyway but it's just there's that extra ex extra t attention and care is required because i'm just trying to yeah i'm gonna try and get everyone on the same page like a lot of people already are it's just there's a whole bunch of things we just got to talk about just to get everyone on the same page and we can just keep doing going as we're going but there's going to be a lot of emphasis on trying to get recruits um because we need more numbers we really need more numbers We're going back to Blackwater. Hopefully, Frank Corley saw my new telegram. Because I need to have a very quick chat with him about something. Um, for the Pinkertons to be mindful of. And then we've got... Uh, uh, Arto Hinto. A Native American fellow. That um, wants to... Sp spend some time with the... Uh, the West and East Law Departments. So that in the future... 
when there's a law department up in Wapiti, like up in the north, that he can work there to look after his people, which is which sounds really great to me. I get paid just a little bit more. Just a smidge more. <laughs> Let's keep an eye on those long arms in towns, please, gentlemen. Hey, mate. Oh, oh, sorry. Be wary. Oi. People just walked into that bank there, mate, with hostages. Mate. Just now? Yeah, Just I think now, mate. There, yeah. Oh, right fuck now. me. That's why I've got my gun out. What's the rest of it? Where's the rest of your boys, Hughes? We. They, they've gone on patrol. I just came back to meet a recruit. We've just seen a uh, hostage. Alright. The Hopefully, that's the... why I've got my gun out. Hopefully, word will get out to the boys and they'll come on down. Who's yeah, this? appreciate you taking the initiative. I will try and keep these boys busy as long as I can. Is this one get... of yours, Hughes? Howdy, partner. Howdy. Is that one of the rangers? Yeah, it is. Oh, howdy. What was your name again, partner? Miguel. Miguel, come with me. We got a situation. God. Mr. Yeah, Hinto? Yeah. Mr. Hughes. Look, Hinto, just a... Keep keep safe on the the opposite side of the street from the bank for a for a little bit. It seems we may have a situation in the bank. Uh, yes, I heard the uh, government fire. But this will be a good opportunity for you to watch to see how we deal with situations like this. But yeah, Mr. Gale, I've just learnt that we may have men in the bank with hostages. Yeah, I just heard shots. That's why I come down here. I came Honestly, down here. To, you were being held up. I came down to see Mr. Hinto here about a ride along. So Todd Woodman and Zane Ryder did not come down with me. We didn't know we oh, didn't anticipate Ranger. this happening. Oh, how do you let's uh, let's yes. do what we can at least get the hostages through this safely. Okay. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shh! 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 Out of here! Nothing. They might not know we're here. Knock. Nobody's here. You can go. Away. I take heard, a I, message. I heard we might uh I heard we might have a number of folks visiting the bank this fine day here in the fine town of Blackwater. No, there's no one here. I can take a message though. How many? I think you... I'm thinking of a, a number between one and ten. Sixty-nine. Any other attempts? There's a real good prize in it for you. I like hey. number five, John. Hey, I like the is that five. the number? I'm We're hearing a couple in. people in there. Well, yeah, it is like. There's, there's five of us in here, you know. Okay. But there's no one in here at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's like a... The we're, bank's we're closed. Ghosts. Yeah, the bank's closed. Yeah, what she said. Would you mind uh, opening the, the door for me? So I can take a peek? Hello? Oh, oh hey, howdy. buddy. Howdy, I know. Yeah, I know. They know. Oh, gee. Howdy, everybody. My name's uh, newly appointed Sheriff George Hughes. Are we having a good day? We're having a great day, Mr. Hughes. Where's... Hang on. Is it just you? No, I've got a couple of... A oh, couple good. of pals out here with me. Totally. Uh, we're just, yeah, totally. <laughs> now, look. You... I'd really love if these, uh... These fine folk on the ground could continue having a lovely day. How about you? Yeah, we like them well enough. Yeah, okay, Walter? I'm going to ride, so... Well, yeah, we got, we got going two of them. Well, Walter and his wife. So, yeah, like, I've introduced myself. I'm the newly appointed Sheriff George Hughes of the West Jurisdiction. So, Blackwater falls under 
It is part of my responsibility. So now I would kindly ask that uh, the fellow I've been talking to in there. Do you have a name, son? You can call me... What should he call, what should he call me? Jed. Who? Jed. You're not that. I don't like that name. Jeans. Call me... Call me... Call me... Call me... Call, me... call him Ooga Booga. You call me Ooga Booga. I like that. Good job, buddy. What about Maurice? I don't like Maurice. It's it's Arm Dory. It's a bit easier yeah. to say than Ooga Booga. Oh, you think of a name to call me? Give me one moment. Ma yeah, Maurice. Ma I'm not Maurice, asshole. What the I fuck's wrong with Maurice? I'm Maurice. Think of a different I'm Maurice. name. Kevin. Nope. Want something better than that? Oh, okay. While we're thinking that, can I? Can I? Can I be? Can I be uh, introduced to the fine people that you've got tied up, oh, please? Sorry. Yep. I really Walter's just need to make sure they're all right. Jesus! Oh, Jesus! I might have not said. I might have. That's I probably okay. should have warned you. Motherfucker! Jesus okay. Christ! It's a bit okay. of warning. Probably should have warned y'all. Good luck. That's it. You're Maurice. You don't get a fucking. You don't get a fucking say. Uh, You're Maurice. You call me Maurice, uh, Mr. Gold Mask. You okay? You got flung out the fucking door. <laughs> oh, Leo. All right, um, Sheriff. Can we make sure nobody's uh, you know, screaming? So my man in the back can hear what he's doing. The only people that should be speaking this loud is you and me, Maurice. Yep. Yep. All right. So how you want to do this then, sir? Uh, where's... I don't see all your other other sheriffs. Are you lying to me? I'm not. We've got a... I've got a, a friend from the Texas Rangers out on the what's street. His, what's his name? Miguel. Okay. We've got a... We've got a, a soon-to-be recruit for a ride-along, Mr. Hinto. He should be watching from uh, across the street the or something. come talk to me? I could be like a test for him. See how he handles a high-pressure situation. I... This, uh, this fella, he's... he's He's, he's yet to do his first ride along. I do not feel comfortable with him coming this close to the bank under these circumstances. Okay, okay. All right, well, um, I'll make it plain and simple, man. Once we're ready to leave, we'll, we're happy to give you these two hostages. Um, one of them is asleep. She, uh, she fell asleep on the way. She's uh, okay, though. In. What's your name? Okay. That's Walker, my she's wife, Skylar White. Yeah, she just fell asleep in here. Skylar White. Might be like diabetic or something, you know. Maybe just give her some food and she'll wake up. And what's well, the yeah, other what's the what's the gentleman's name? Y'all stop I'm yelling. Can't tell. Stop yelling, Mr. Hughes. So I gotta make sure y'all can hear me. Yeah, you can. You, I'm talking to you at the door, man. But the guy in the back, you can't do hear what he's doing if you're yelling. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Hughes, shut the fuck up. I swear to God, one of these hostages is gonna die, okay? I, if you could take your mask off, I could tell who's talking to me. It's me at the door. I ain't taking my mask hey, off. Now I know. Got no look. Ah, we've also got Jack Harkness. Okay, I think I know Harkness. I don't know. I probably do. I probably don't. Anyway, look. We'll give you these two hostages for... We want free passage to our horses. Right. You know, we want we want free passage, you know, out of town. I'll to be able to ride out of town. Um, you know, fucking none of my, none of my family, my, none of my friends here want to die. I'm sure none of your lawmen want to die. Nope, we certainly don't, don't want these I don't know if we'd die. beat you. I don't know if you'd beat us. But at the end of the day, you know, if a shot gets shot, at least one of us is going to go down. And I guarantee one, a few of you are going to go down. So let's just try yeah. to keep our guns and our holsters the best we can, you okay? So you're talking about, okay. So yeah, we got two hostages. You want safe passage of your horses. Yep. Safe passage is the edge of town. Now, what, what would you call the edge of town, in your words? Uh, basically, how we want to do this, we want y'all on the right. We'll ride out, on, and we'll go left. We'll ride out. We'll take a left turn at that street right there. We'll ride out, and then, I don't know, maybe once we're, like, halfway through that plains. Do you want us towards the plains? governor's building or the saloon? To the bank, the right of the bank. To my right. To my left. No. Yeah, your you left. You can't see which way you're facing. So you want us towards oh, the saloon. Sure, that's, yeah, yeah, saloon, yeah, yeah, that one. All right, so on your word, we'll all head on down the street closer to the saloon. And then you just want safe passage to your horses and then out of town. Uh-huh. All right, I think we can do that. And like I said, you know, keep our, try our best to keep the guns in the holsters so no one has to, you know, get shot. I'll tell you this much, if, if, if you fucking, 
If you, if you give me the chance, I'll shit in your hat again. Oh, so it's don't, you! Don't give me that chance. It's me, brother. Maurice, you son of a bitch. Dude, I had to go buy a new hat because of that. I know. I know. It looks fucking it looks good, man. It looks, looks like you got it a bit deeper for me so I can empty my bowels fully. Don't you fucking think about it. Yeah, well, I didn't get a third hostage. Maybe next time. All right, so I'm not breaking the concentration if you pull a little, uh, you know, person cracking the safe in there. You gonna give? Is it all right if I take a second to speak to my companions yeah, out know, here? Yeah, we won't. We won't do nothing until you come back, and you know we're both ready. All right, I'll only be a minute. Hopefully. <sighs> Good to see you, Jack. That was it. All right, we got a group of uh, I don't know, four or five. And uh, they've got two hostages. Their demands okay. is uh, safe passage of the horses, safe passage out of town. That's pretty fucking vague. But they, yeah, they vague. want us down here. Okay. And they're going to go two, that's three that way. Two hostages. So if you want to coordinate some people up on the roads up there, yeah, catch them by surprise, the you've got the time. Yeah, okay. Stay safe, Hinto. This should nearly be over. Hey, Maurice! Hey, did you ask for no lassos? Gonna follow it. I could ask for that, but how the fuck they gonna catch us, you know what I mean? Of course, they're Hello? Gonna be gonna Hello? Hey, go, Maurice. My door's shut. Yeah, I think it's caught on uh, Mr. Wyatt's legs. Here we go. Put... Alright, I've had a chat to my to my, my pals. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head on down by the saloon. Uh... You know, when you when you call for it, and I've told it's been passed on. Safe passage to the horses, safe passage out of town. Yep, and you know, we'll all get on our horse before we ride off. Like, we're gonna go together, we're not gonna... Yep, yep. You know. Alright, well, yeah, we're ready. We'll leave the hostages in here. Y'all can tend to them. I appreciate that. Alrighty, well, if everybody's... Everybody ready? You want us to head down to the saloon now? I'm ready. Yeah, y'all head to the saloon. All right, let me get let we'll, me get my boys. We'll left. So we'll all right, lawman. Anybody uh, still here right down on the street? On me. We're heading on down by the saloon. All right. Yeah, they're just about to leave. Please don't kick me, horsey. Please don't kick me. Yeah, don't forget, fellas. Safe. They got safe passage to horses. Safe passage to the outside of town, which may get vague. Would you like me to help, Mr. Hughes? If you'd like to follow us from a from a distance, that'd be fine, Mr. Hinto. Of course. And then uh, come come find me after all this down at the department. And hopefully we'll have a nice ride along. Yeah, they're taking their time. Alright boys, take it easy until you get to what feels like the edge of town. Stay down! What the fuck is 
Yo, Rust Tank. Yo, Rachel. What's the plan, Sheriff? Just it's hard. It can be real hard to see people from afar. Who's that other? Who's that other rider? Is that Zane? Uh, Zane. Yeah, that's his horse. Not sure where Marcus and the others went. Wait, Marcus is here? Yeah. Oh, was that who I saw? Maybe he was on a, uh, a Mustang. Alright, you want to get these fellas back to the cells, get the doctors to treat them? Yeah. Follow us, I'm headed for the hills, boss. Shit, did you get a, did you get a uh, look at Marcus? Oh, did, he was around the corner. Oh, wait, then... here. He was down at the, um, I think he might have went up on the roof. He got one. <whistles> Mr. Wolf! Oh, yeah. Andy Gardner. <laughs> Good to see you. You, you gonna think, you gonna think Sheriff gonna let another Sheriff deal uh, with a bank <laughs> robbery on his first day? <laughs> Hell fucking no. As soon, as soon as we got that cold partner, me and Hart Hartness woke up, I woke him up and I had a, a grave digger in the, in the cells there and I kicked him in the ass. Uh, took some compensation, find his ass, and fuck, we we got straight down here. Oh, I've never been. I, I'm always. It's always a pleasure to see you, but my God, is it sight for sore eyes? All right, all right. Let's get the other two. Not a bad haul, boys. Let's get Three these other two on the horses. Let's get them down to the doctor's apartment. Get them treated. And let's have a let's have a chat. Or rust tank. It's very, very concerning. Probably you can use my horse. Jump on, Miguel. He's Wolfie, you sneaky. Oh, no, you got the no wonder why you got the name Wolf, mate. <laughs> can anyone stay back at the bank? Next minute you're gone. Oh shit. Okay. All right, y'all. Uh, follow Mr. Mr. Harkness's lead and Mr. Wolf. Get on down to the doctor's office, get those doctors, treat those boys, get them in the cells, get them processed. Uh, Miguel and I are heading straight back to the bank to a, to a clean up. Yes, sir. I'm not one to gloat, but I think that was a hell of a shot that I pulled off then. Oh, that it was. Excellent, Zane. And yeah, Zane, if you want to handle processing any of the fellas, jump right in. And uh, Mr. Hinto, you still with us? Oh, if, uh, I think he's a little bit behind. If the ride along know. Mr. Hinto's around, definitely let him uh let him have a, a good seat in the audience. A good call, Miguel. Sorry, I didn't wasn't thinking. Oh, everybody's here. Man, look at you, Mr. Hughes. Marshall? They make an entrance, Hughes. Uh, the, yeah, they're over in the doctor's office if you're looking for the hostages. Oh, oh the two of them? Mr. Yeah, and Mrs. Well, White? Hey! Everyone I want ran me off fucking and I to check on them. So, yeah, they're, but Dolores has got the, uh, the lady down there. That man's not happy with you, Mr. Hughes. Which he man? He wants to fight you. Which one? He's going to beat you up. The one with a heavy Australian accent. Oh, down there? What the fuck happened? Oh, Hinto, there you are. Do you want me to take care of him? Oh, no, no, no. I, I better have a talk with him first, see what the hell's going on. Yeah, I hope, hope that was... Uh... Are you sure? Oh, just... Where is he? Howdy, partner. Hello, mate. What's, uh, what's, what's going on? Jack, you alright? I guess he did not want to talk. What the hell? He's... I... 
hope Jack's all right, but there's a whole well, should be a whole lot of the boys around this corner there. I think. That's the guy who gave me the funny cigarette. He did. Yes, that guy there. You didn't. You didn't smoke it or anything, did you? Oh no, I've seen plenty of that in Wapiti. No, oh, yes, we get we get so many reports of that up there, and it, it, we, it's just it's such a long ride. It can be really hard to get there. We slipped it into my pocket, but I gave it to Ranger. Oh, get. good, good, good. All right, yeah, yeah, just yeah, stay close, Hinto. Let's uh, let's see what the heck's going on here. We're gonna make sure that these are two hostages in the in the bank robbery. They're all right, and then uh, I think the other fellas will be processing yes. the uh, the people we've caught. Around, around at the department. That's quite exciting. I've never seen a bank robbery before. Oh. Yeah, they could be quite. They could be quite a quite a rush. But yeah, just yeah, take it all in. You know, it's not expected that you you know, just just watch and take it in. We all right here, Dolores? It's all right, everyone. Don't fret, I got my knife back. <laughs> Alright, we might head down to the department, Hinto. It looks like doctors may be quite busy. The mountains. Ah, uh, mate, that'd be too cold for me. I think I need to go yeah, down. Well, first things first. It's, it's my my second day on the job as sheriff, and I'm, I've already forgotten to have someone stay back to uh, assign someone to stay back and look after the uh, the people that were left in the bank. So I better I better make sure I'm not spreading myself too thin. I gotta make sure I'm focusing on things. But hey, been anyway, Ato, a Ato, Ato, yes, Ato, that's right. Yes, been very good. Uh, lots of plans too. Protect the village, but absolutely, we'll do everything we first. can to help you get set up. Um, hopefully, once this is sorted, we can go on a nice, peaceful ride along, and uh, it will start uh, teaching everything we know. We're currently uh, building a house up in Wapiti. Oh, we yes. well, we might uh, make our way up there, and you can show me. Set up perimeter on the roof. So got yeah, the sorry, it's bloody. Oops, sorry, fellas. Perimeter. Hey, the doctor should be on their way. Howdy, Miguel. Uh, I've just told Harkness, but uh, no, I was uh, no, right, oh, riding around it? doing a little bit of scouting and that. Yep. And I was in uh, Valentine for a little bit, where I, I seen uh, Mr. I got Gold. Robbed. That's how they sent oh, what, what the fuck? Wasn't it? Yeah, I put in like four reports and oh. no one came. But yeah. Uh, Sorry, partner. I think it's uh, a little I was, bit. Uh, uh, I think we're yeah, uh, was, uh, just uh, trying to. Learn see Mr. Gold willingly book, leave you know what I mean? yeah. four to five yeah. masked individual uh, unmasked Okay, uh, what happened? Not long before this. Uh, it was about an hour yeah, ago. Like, I was like, left literally 30 seconds right over there by the lock. I come down here. <sighs> and this fella comes up to me and he Holy shit, that can't and be pulled me some cash, so I did. And he said no, that wasn't can, enough. No. I didn't have any more cash. So I gave him some of my medications. And he said that was fine. So he rode off. Um... I also get a a fellow, uh, and it's him. Jobs and we got attacked by some wolves. Or I met, uh, you missed, uh, oh and, uh, what was your name again? So, you know, I'm obligated Ito. to help him. Ito. Yeah, I met Mr. Ito. Yeah, I'd call that bad Ito. karma. You've got a full name on it. <sighs> he gave me the name oh, of earlier. Let's get these boys bad dealt dog. with. Bad dog with a B. Bad yeah, dog. okay. Where's your doctor, man? Sorry, sir. Is the uh, doctor being caught or... Uh... Do believe it. Did, uh, did Hognes or Zane call a doctor? Uh, not that I'm aware of, sir. I, mean, I did ask if it was called, but I, I can put a quick report in. No. Maybe you do want just to be safe. I'm, I'm a, I was just heading around to check on the, uh, the bank. Now, why would All you right. call it murder? Doctor's on the way. Oh, hey, ja uh, Jack's got oh, it sorted. Oh, man. It. Call it sorted. Uh, this is Dr. Dolores. I'm just at the back door of the sheriff's department. Can you let me in, please? Is there another doctor on route? Oh, Jesus oh, Christ, shit. another one. No, 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 this is the hostage. I've got a massive issue at my end. Is there another doctor coming? Uh, Shreve is outside. Okay, can you... Uh, I'll grab him. Yeah, I'm really apologetic. I uh, I need to take a quick nap, sorry. All good, Dolores. 
my people are healers. Do you want me to take a look? Uh, maybe I can stop the bleeding. Yeah, yeah. If you if you feel like there's something you could do, Ato, go go for it. Just letting you know that I'm looking from above. Pardon? I said I'm I'm looking from above. I'm not Think in I your need area. To, uh, take this goat. To be able to see your wounds. Huh? <clears throat> Mr. Hughes. Howdy, Zane. You're going to have to uh, walk me through the new um, report book. Oh, yes. One thing I haven't been shown yet. Okay, so... Let's... Uh... Let's quickly here. Yeah, come over here and I'll quickly. But you were there. Just yes, try and run for the door. Oh, you were there. Yeah, sure. right. it's, it's a very what important that you use your right click muscle to identify their uh, why, is that you? train tickets. Uh, yeah, yep. For, for yes, today, sir. you want to get that. Did you get into so, some uh, trouble? You want to. Uh, um, I got held hostage. Let me just uh, I, let me bring uh, up. So yeah, T slash reports. Bring that on sleep, up. Um, well, we, well, you should still be able to hear me. You get you can still hear me. Shot or anything? Yeah, yeah, I can hear. No, no, All right, so yeah, uh, you want to get their unique train ticket and number. And <laughs> yep. And then you want to... I know, I know. I <laughs> you want to... So in the, in the reports, you want to go to the... Pen, you want to find the uh, the relevant penal code, which let's let's look up bank. I think Mr. Watt's outside Armed bank robbery. So armed bank robbery is 200. Uh, probably. All right. Yep. So you'll get their that. unique train ticket, Here's some smell whatever that salt. is. The penal code you're looking for today, 200. At the, at the very least, just that. And then you want to go to... Knock, knock. You want to go to... Uh, I believe oh, criminal shit. occurrences at the top. New report. And it's very important yeah, that you get the... Uh, those... That information, like those... Christian. Those unique numbers. Yep. Input as soon as possible. Yeah, Leave a little note for reference later, because you can come back and add all the... Uh, all the uh, fluff Hughes, later. I uh, hate to interrupt, but yeah, yep, I yep, think yep. I should. Um... Just I don't be too loud. Yeah, attempted, you attempted yourself, murder. Uh, you're out. You're out. You got yourself a little yeah, 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 around the back door. He's just double back on me. I thought he's uh, listening in. I'm just getting stable. Uh, sure, here. let's just go two um, bandoliers right. on him. So, um, so you get the, uh, the number here. of the felony or whatever it is. All right, he's listening in to what's going on. Okay. All right. Let's uh let's head out the front for a sec. I'm gonna go through the I'm gonna go through the blacksmiths and around the back. But if you go past, if you go left, I reckon that's where you'll you find them. All right. I'm gonna go have a look. He's shirtless. He's got two bandoliers. Yeah. So yeah, bank for the the penal code for armed bank robbery, two hundred. Uh, their numbers. Yep. And uh, yeah, you want to get that that information put in the report ASAP. Straight away. You don't have to yep. have all the report done straight away. Yep. Just, just that key information, because uh, if we send them to Sisica and we don't have that stuff done, it'll cause complications. I'll keep a lookout for him. Uh, okay, I'll find gotcha. him in a no worries. In Thanks, Ames. It's hard to, hard to even think in there. Yeah, um, yeah, it's just one thing I've been showing. I had a quick glance Where's over it. Doctor, but... man, I'm feeling woozy. Let me take yeah. another look just to ensure oh, that I'm not missing anything oh, no. important to tell you. Well, I can't fucking see straight, man. I lost a bit of blood at this stage. All right, so your criminal occurrences, new report. Can you help me up. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, sus yeah. yeah suspects ready. IDs involved. Yeah, that's the you, train tickets. The charges, the penal code. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those are the most important. Getting yep. it getting it set up. Yeah. Yep. All right. So it's just so all we need is the... Um, so the occurrence title, you'd put that in as the bank. The occurrence title, you put that in as Oh, the bank yeah, that bank. would be, you know, something like, yeah, Blackwater Remember Bank Robbery. Or, yeah, bank Robbery shot, or something. Biggest idiot I've ever seen in the county. An occurrence location, Blackwater. Uh, yep, I'll be yep. Ranger. That would be an arrest. Yep. And then, um, yeah, if you can cite IDs, ah, fucking you can put their name. But yeah. That's what I like. So the suspect ID you'd put in to the um, suspects, like the suspect ad, yeah, where it says that. The, the train ticket number, yeah. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, generally, what I've been taught recently is get a draft up, get the IDs in as soon as you can, get the penal code in as soon as you can, save yep. it, and then come back and add all the uh, 
all the, the Salinger details. Lu yeah, yeah, Salinger that Louis later. said the lady in the lobby is good. So we'll be she looking just at needs some smell and salt charge her on her arm bank robbery for all the, three of them. The middle. At the very he's, least. Uh, stitched. He's ready for more. Uh, yep. We want to be. Uh, just, now I'm not too fast right on Sisica time. Okay. Yep. Um, you know, that's, you know, up to your discretion. At the very least, we want. Um, now, I'm not talking about confiscating the guns for good. Yep. Um, as they were, I believe we were the first ones to fire, so they weren't completely ruthless with us, which was quite nice oh, to see. Oh, no. So I got shot at first. Oh, excellent. Well, yeah, keep that in mind. I, right. uh, as you can see, my hands are up. So we want some hefty fines for all three. My hands. Don't shoot me again. Uh, that they need Please. to pay. If they pay them, they can get, they can get their God, long damn. arm back. Yep. Um, is there a way we can take the Should money straight out of their pockets? Unfortunately not. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right. I miss that. Yeah, I miss that too. I miss that um, so much. Good news is you get right, some no um, right, I'll just so it'll, it'll just take a second because I'm used to the old ways, but no worries, it's all good. Gotcha. No, take I'll take your time. Take your time. It's yeah, I'm a quick, I'm a quick learner. I bet. It's, it's a pain in the ass. I think I might uh, get oh. a notebook out and get everything bad. I need. Echo King P should make. Yep, Echo King P should be kicking in and make a. Excuse me, Mister. Sheriff's apartment. Hey, stop. Excuse me, Mister. No, oh, sorry, dude. No, yes. You talking to me? Yeah, you, buddy. You mind telling us why you eavesdropping around the back of the law department? Oh, I kind of need a doctor. I, I saw some doctors going in. I'm just I was hoping I could get a doctor. I ain't feeling too good. I understand that. Well, we're going to have to escort you back to the doctor's department. You have to take a seat. And as uh, soon as the doctors are done, they can come see you, all right? But we, uh, they're thank, currently thank dealing you. with something very urgent. No, no, thank you so much, Sheriff. You let me know if I ain't feeling too good. All right, come on. All right, mate. Let's go, partner. What is that purple thing on the screen? Oh, uh, Rex. Same. Sheriff. Yep. You said... Sheriff Zane, I I'm not a deputy. I'm only a deputy, mate. Recruit. De deputy. Yeah, just yeah, take a seat in here. Get yourself All comfortable. Right. We'll let them know to oh. come visit you after they're done yeah. there, okay? L thank you. All, All right. right. Thanks, mate. Got it. Got it. Mr. Hughes, I'm here for that meeting. Frank, that was you. It was fun. Oh my God. Okay. All right, Frank. Um. All right. Yes, yeah, Zane. Jump back on in there. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah. If you need to, uh, Harkness should be across it all. But yeah, let him know at the very least. Uh, we want uh, a, a, you know, a decent fine for each, for three bank robberies, for one for each of them. Yep. Confiscate their nicest looking, best sounding long arm. Yep. They get that back when they pay it. No worries. Um, Siska is optional. Yep. Um, okay, I'll let him know. And I'll be back there in a minute. I just got to talk to Frank real quick. No worries, boss. Sorry, it's been hard to get a hold of you, Frank. It's been a hell of a day. Yeah, I can imagine. I was watching that bank robbery. Oh, the, yeah, that's not even... The, I've, I've, I've nearly... I feel like I've nearly died multiple times today getting hit by wagons and God knows what else, but... Jesus. But yeah, there's just... Yeah, there's something on my mind that I really wanted to bring to your attention in the Pinkertons is uh so I've just been doing some thinking now I don't know if I pass this on to Lou or not but when I had that sit down on on the planes with Cal Dern that other that time uh he mentioned that you know all our departments while we report to people like the marshals and the governor he let loose that posses and gangs essentially report to someone as well Okay. Um, someone that, you know, rewards them for doing certain things. Or like, you know, doing things that are notable, I guess. Now, he didn't know, I didn't press it. I think I was fortunate enough just to learn that. So, I just wanted to make sure you're on top of that. But then something that caught my eye was, uh, you know what the, uh, the meeting with the governor yesterday... Yep. Um, did you happen to see the man sitting in the corner? Oh, there were a lot of strange people in that room, I didn't know. There was, there was one that caught my eye. I figured he might be a marshal or something, but he had like a, I think almost like a grey coat, long coat, 
hat, gray hair, gray beard. He looked a little scary. I, I didn't really catch anything else. But I don't think he was a marshal or anything. And it just gave me a bad feeling. It just... Something didn't sit right with me. He just... I don't know what he... And he left pretty pretty quick. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't really take any notice of him. Well, I wish I would sort of been more... I was so distracted at the time with everything else going on, but I just yeah. thought I'd bring that to your attention, that you know the way the, marsh, the the governor said we might have monthly meetings like that? Yep. I would just... I would consider next time maybe just keeping an eye out to see if that gentleman makes an appearance again. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, well, I didn't like how many people were in that room that weren't... And me either. Fun. And I don't think anyone introduced him at all. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure you were aware of those two things that just been bouncing around my head since last night. Yeah, no, that's very interesting. So all, all the posies, no matter if they're at war with each other, they all report to one person. I, I don't know, but yeah, he... Yeah, Cal Dern almost implied that there's someone that yeah rewards gangs for deeds and such, like almost like a yeah, right. like a criminal governor, I guess. I don't know, oh, but yeah, I didn't press it because I I was had other pressing matters at the time, but yeah, just I don't know. I feel like there's this. I, I mentioned it to Lou after I, when I spoke to him after I said yeah, it just feels like there's something bigger at play because. Yeah. Part of the agreement I tried to make with Caldern was that, you know, they ease up in the in the West, and but they, they agreed that they would be uh, teaching some manners, so to speak, to the smaller parsies and gangs in Valentine to uh impress a certain someone. So take that with take with that what you will. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But that's all I've got, I'm afraid, partner. Oh, I've got something for you, partner. It's about Calden. Oh, I've Sorry been hearing some concerning things. Oh, did you deal with that gentleman in the shirt? He just walked by again. Well, he's back. The shirtless one with the bandoliers. Yeah, he's just on a lap around the back again. We just yeah. told him I'm to like, wait don't... in the doctor's office. Wait well, in the doctor's office. Oh, for... oh. Yeah, it's fun, ain't it? Oh, yeah, congratulations, you. Thanks, Ames. Thank you. Oh, you're, well... you're welcome. All right. Oh, here he comes. One sec. One sec. Honey, you all right? Um, I really need a doctor. I know. Is it the, all the doctors are currently occupied. Uh, we, can, we can't him make them go any faster, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Frank. That's right. Uh, this news about Cal... I don't think he's dead, if I'm being honest. Word through the grapevine is that the death certificate has gone missing. There's been no funeral planned. And uh, there's been... Disturbing reports that Caldern is actually, you know, fit as a fiddle, going by Jethro, and he may have seen been seen near Strawberry recently with Jeb. Right. So, look, some of the doctors like Shuber and Miss Wheeler are keeping an eye out. They're very concerned, but yeah, they've act they would actually love to talk to you as soon as possible, um, as well. That's okay. the other thing. So, Miss Wheeler, I believe you've spoken to her already. Her telegram is four six eight. Yep. And then Shuba, if you haven't met, got his already, is 108. Okay. And yeah, they would they would love to chat to you tonight when when suitable. Oh, perfect. I'll try and figure that out with them. I wish I had more for you, Frank, but I told them, you know, we'll be keeping an eye out here, here on the West and uh, hoping for the, the best outcome possible. Yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I saw Calder over in Rhodes tonight. He was over there tonight. Mm. Couldn't confirm it was him, but it was he was either with Dottie or Ivory. That one of the two. He's that would make her. sense. Oh, what the shit. hell? Where the hell's that coming from? This main street? What happened? Did you see what happened, mister? What, what happened? What the hell's happened here? Hello? Anybody breathing? Yeah, I'm breathing. 
You breathe it, Mr. More shots. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Same. Buddy, do pull the gun and just Good take Lord, me down. Someone get the doctor. Jesus. Christ. Okay, okay. Let's get these boys to the the doctors. Let's get them off the street. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm not good. Hey, that's the guy. That's the guy right there in the beard. Hey, they drew on me, mate. Oh, that was self-defense. They fucking drew on me. That is their own fault. Right? These two I've fellas drew on you? No. They drew on me. Yes, correct. I didn't draw right, on anyone. Was... All right, this man that you've got over your shoulder, he drew on me, and I. I had my gun out already because it just didn't feel right. Alright, in case I, I saw the whole, talking to you. I saw the whole thing, Paul, and I can tell you exactly what happened. Did that... Alright, I'm happy to come in and have a chat with you. That's what I'm happened? They drew on him? They yeah, so I was on my horse and this gentleman on your shoulder was sort of, you know, getting a bit weird, fucking wouldn't sit still and was sort of calling on his brothers and whatnot to come over and then, uh, something about he's not scared or something and pulled a weapon on the gentleman to me to the left and shot at him so in self-defense this gentleman already had a shotgun out and he just uh, put him out okay oh, i appreciate right, there, that look, look, look there is another gentleman up on the roof that i also took out the three gentlemen all together this fella down here with the the, the blonde beard uh i believe so is it so it's just roof. these three there's a guy on the roof i don't know if it's the same one or not I was just defending myself, sir. Am I in town? No, I'm a resident here. I do apologize for the mess. No, self-defense is, is fine. Self-defense is fine. No, Alright, let's... Out here to cause any trouble. Let's get these three boys over to the doctor's department. Get them out of the street. Howdy, Louisa. Oh, George. How, 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 what's happened? Oh, we've just had a... We've had a couple of gentlemen... It sounds like they've drawn guns on a fella, and he's... You know, done some self-defense. Okay, okay. And dropped a couple. It's Blackwater is a real mess tonight. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're oh, ma'am. We also, just at the, we're just at the. Oh, Louise, um, I know these three men need urgent care, but could you quickly ask this man in, that's currently in the waiting room? He's been waiting a little while. Okay. Sorry, how, sir. How, I'm a doctor. How are you? Oh, oh yeah, George. Lord, that's about time. George. Yeah. Fucking, uh, the well, gentleman that uh, were talking to you, I saw the boys. Uh, as soon as they put them down, they eight. didn't shoot anyone oh, else. Oh, I'm telling the truth. Are they gonna make it? Okay. Oh, uh, probably. Oh my! Third one was taken inside. Go up somewhere. It's a bit quieter. Uh, Third one. Uh, follow me. Yeah, there three. The two on the street, one on the roof. Oh, I think. Can you hear me? Uh, Frank got had one. Fucking hell! You, and we're still dealing with all that stuff over in the department as well. Holy shit. I, I recognize these two idiots. Who was the third? Uh, someone in a wolf skin hat or something like that. Easy to Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's my cousin, too. You know these boys? Yeah, I know all of them, unfortunately. Why would they, why would they threaten the saloon owner there? I think your boy in the white boots got a little uh, ants in his pants. Oh, over something, I, but I was uh, just walking around town, getting to know the place, and then I heard gunshots. Right. Oh, I well. look back, and they all dead. Well, I appreciate you know a couple of you here. You're giving your eyewitness reports and names. I'm very glad you were there as well. To yeah, and all that. Boys, with from my perspective, they defended themselves and they got out of dodge to make sure they weren't going to get shot. So. All right. All right. Well. Yeah. They came and they, they it was exact. The fact that they came and saw you kind of speaks uh, to the fact that they weren't trying to cause trouble. Otherwise, they would have hardtailed it out of town. Yeah. All right. Well, we got we got doctors seeing the issue in the department, and then we've got Louisa here to start treating these fellas once she's dealt with the fellow That's in the waiting room. Ames, are you able to do me a favor and just go alert Harkness to tell all the Lord of Men there that once they're done in the department, if they could come assist here? Yeah. Yeah, you just want them to be oh, here. Uh, law and uh, law and medical support for this. Uh, mm, yeah, I, I, I hate that it's back to back for them, but I think we're gonna need. Yeah, once I do that, I'm gonna go check back. telegrams. Every time I go to check the telegram, something happens. I know, I know. It's goddamn. Place. Thank you, Marshall. One. No, you're all right. It's just you know, one goddamn SF. Another no, can't do what I need to do. Yeah, I can only apologize for my cousins there. They uh, ain't the sharpest tools. No, uh, that's look. We're gonna we're gonna treat them fairly, and we just we just want to. We, firstly, we want to make sure that they're all right, 
And the two will treat them fairly. Look, they're probably just looking at, you know, a fine for uh, intimidating this fella. Yeah. And uh, look, if they pay that the, in over the next week, there'll be no, there'll be no big issues, and we'll have a chat. All right. Uh, may I ask? Is How Mr. much Hughes. the fine might be? Miss, Mr. Hughes. I can't say off the top of my head. Sorry. sorry. But it. Oh man. We'll, we'll talk about it. Share. Oh. Sorry. Yes, Louisa. Sorry, step this way. What's oh. happening? Why? Why am I in this room? Oh. Help me. Oh. Uh. Frank, I'll be right back. Oh. That that. That, that gentleman that you um, pointed to, he just, he helped me at gunpoint and uh, uh, wanted, he wanted money. Um, Are you kidding? He's just, where did he go? Yeah. He, he ran off uh, down the street. Oh my and, um, God. Uh, uh, yeah, so. Are you okay? Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a bit shaken. Um, <sighs> yeah. He uh, seemed uh, sick. He didn't. Go. I'm so sorry, Louisa. He, he seemed sick. It didn't seem like he was going to hurt anyone. Yeah, um... I heard shooting. I looked I've down gotta, while I was repairing the roof. I, I, and then I, and then to, I saw uh, people getting shot. So I, helped, people, uh, so I helped take out the bandits. I can talk to you later, but... Yeah, I just... Uh, just I'm, gonna lie, partner. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sick of hearing these goddamn voices. How much did he take? Tweet. It's $20. Okay. Um, um, it's I'm okay. It's okay. It's, it's kill fine. myself uh, again. But yeah, I just wanted to. He said he'd be coming back tomorrow. Do it. How is this repairing the roof? Going to now. Remember what he looked like? Just we need to keep an eye. Going to now. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, we'll do, Louisa. Louisa, okay, we'll do, Louisa. Louisa I'm so sorry that happened. I'll give you five bucks. It's just, we're we're juggling so much between the department here. I wish I'd just come in here with you. I get shot. I'm so sorry. I saw you shoot those two people on the. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll talk. I'll talk. Okay, you do what you gotta do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh my god. No, they definitely weren't smart. Why is... Is there someone jumped in here? Where's the third one gone? Oh. Hey, hey, one I'm shot. Hey, block, Pope. Man. I was repairing the roof, and then I heard some shooting going on. It's yeah, shot, I heard... Did you fall? I heard... I saw two people get shot, so I, I helped shoot the shooters. Oh, and, and you got shot, did you? Yeah, there, the, you got, the, the, the culprits that shot those two and it's a man shot me. Yeah, okay, okay. Where does it hurt the most? Uh, my shoulder. Shoulder, okay. Okay, I'll, let me just send to this wound. Louis, is it okay if we bring the other two up here? Uh, yeah, sure. And I'll, I will bring people with me. Oh, oh, Mr. Hinto, I need your help. I'm yes. just a lonely mountain man, ma'am. You, um, and we'll get you I just can't. Yeah, let's, let's get these boys upstairs. It was like a shootout. Okay. Just get me a fucking doctor in this motherfucker now. Why is that guy so rude? Is it always like this, Mr. Oh, Hughes? Sometimes. Maybe you deserve to get shot. Yeah, my cousin's about the dumbest the people like I that? know. Bye, brother. All right, sorry. I'll treat you uh, as soon as I've treated this patient. Um, if I could uh, get someone to just put pressure onto the wound for me, well, until I can uh, get to them. All right. Uh, a anyone, if you're if you've got a spare set of hands. hands. Oh, I appear to be stuck. I might just need a window. Am I on the bed? Excuse I don't me. see myself in the Thank bed. Thank you. That ain't a goddamn wound. That's my goddamn dick now. Yeah, we need to shoot that guy talking. Is he gonna be alright there, or...? I have this, uh, special green stuff. We grow up in Mopiti. I mean, he might lose an eye, but I could use it. If you like, Doctor. Take those hideous white boots while you're at it. I don't think I have a cure for stupidity. Hey, they're on their way. I don't think there are any doctors around it. Well, it's just going out. Hopefully, if any doctors are free, they'll come help. But we got, we're here with you, Louisa. 
Okay, could you just apply pressure onto the wound t until I'm ready or until another doctor arrives? Okay. Thank you. Ames, we'll just need help with you with guns at the ready. Mm-hmm. I uh, will just stand quietly in the corner here. If that's All right. Uh, this uh, cocaine paste is to numb the the wound. I'm just gonna dig out that bullet. Okay. Thank you, Kylie, ma'am. Oh, it can be a real headache when there's so many people around. Like all the voices over each other, it can be really confusing. Okay, you're all bandaged up. I'm gonna give you a shot of pain relief and get you on your feet again. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Hang on. Are you still with us, get... Mr. White Boots? Jeez. Yeah, I'm here. Just trying to find the. I can flex my E muscle if that's what you're ready to do. No, that's great. Um, I just. Make sure I'm getting the right person. Can you hear me? I'm not gonna lie now, I think I'm gonna have to go. Mr. Hughes, are you able to take that patient just uh, and move them a little bit away? Uh, I don't I wouldn't, want to uh, get the recommend wrong person. It. Are you seeing the light, cousin? Huh. There we go. Cuzzo. There you go. Um, just be careful of that shoulder. You don't want to pull the stitches out. Maybe um, go find a good place to rest. Thank you, kindly, my lady. Uh, Mr. Hughes, which one would you like me to treat next? Oh, either of these Mr. two gentlemen. So, okay. Either of these two gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Sure. Mr. Was okay. that a wolf hat? Bear hat? Sorry. Can you? Oh, are you able to leave? Uh, just I need some room. Oh, sorry. I'll walk this way. Uh, no, down the stairs. Uh, down the exit this way. This way, please. Thank you. So you don't know these two gentlemen? No, sir. I was I was on the roof. And you just you were just trying to help out. Yeah, I saw I saw a guy with no sleeves on a horse shoot the two men down on the road. Yeah, so I just they, yeah they were threatening him, so he was a defending himself Oh, because there's a few people on the horses shooting those guys on the ground so i just thought i'd you know help oh yeah it, it can be really hard to keep track of everything but uh but yeah yeah you feeling a bit better now yeah yeah i'm good thank you sir all right now just just we're gonna have to write a report about everything that happened uh what's your name partner uh uh my name's bruce bruce dutton bruce stone bruce dutton oh dutton bruce dutton yeah, okay you got right. any id on you uh, uh, I got a gold license. Oh, yeah, are you able to show that to me? Yeah, one sec. Uh, how do I do that? Oh. That maybe show, uh, T slash show documents, unless it's in your pockets? Actually, have not, uh, seen the, uh, seen that yet. Did you get that? I, I gave it to 127. Oh, I'm 92. Oh, who's 127? I just gave it to you. That might be uh, Mr. Hinton. Oh, Mr. Hinton, are you able to pass me that document he gave you? I can't hear you, Ato. Oh, uh, sorry, what is your favorite number? It's currently 92. Uh, it's it's nineteen. Thank you. 
All right, I got it. Let me take it just a quick gander. <laughs> what? Is this a legitimate document? Yeah. Yeah, I got it from the... It cost me $80 for that. From who? From, um, in Strawberry, the blacksmith? The bl okay, let me... The, the blacksmith yeah. gave you that for $80. Yeah. And what's the blacksmith's so name? Can, so I can gold mine in, in Strawberry. Okay. Did you happen to catch his name? Um, he's there right now. One sec. That's right. I can I can go by the blacksmith and we'll inquire more. I just, yeah. Well, look, I really appreciate you having that document on you. It's just uh, yeah. When you get a chance, if you're able to swing by uh your local telegram station or the governor's office here in Blackwater, if you could get an ID, so the next time we have to chat to you, we can be seen. Sh All right. Shown then. that instead, that would be that would be great. But that'll do for now. Thank you, Mister Dunn. Okay. Thank you kindly, sir. All right. No worries, partner. Well, yeah. Go go enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Thank you, thank you. No worries. And I might want to get those green items changed color. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, that'll, yes, just, sir. that'll just get you in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get guns on these fellas for Louisa, because these two may be a problem. The outfit is hideous. Yeah. Billy, get on out of here. All right. All right. Gentlemen with the bandolier, uh, Ames, are you able to stay here with Excuse Louisa? Me. Gentlemen with the bandolier, are you able to come with me down the hallway? Yeah, no problem, sir. All right, all right, partner. You want to t you want to tell us what the hell happened down in the street? Yeah, I can tell you exactly what happened. All right. Uh, the boys, the two boys on the horses that rode up. Initially, I actually had my gun drawn and didn't realize, and I apologized for that. Mm -hmm. And I put my gun away. And then my other friend in the white boots, he actually got a bit intimidated by the boys on the street, and they pulled a gun out and had the gun in his face and was pushing him with the horse and then at that point he decided to shoot him he pulled the gun and shot him and at that point i got shot so i don't know what happened but i wasn't the one who shot and uh and all i've got now is a, is a hole in my shoulder so it sounds like there was a bit of tension and a bit of a lack of communication oh. and confusion absolutely there was some tension well look i hope this is you know share this with all your friends and family this is a great reminder of why we uh why we strive to have no long arms in towns because things can quickly escalate when they don't need to oh, i appreciate that and then we have situations like oh yeah uh, william your yeah, louise is down the back yeah with a with a phone. oh outside back oh, oh uh down the hall here hey what down the hall past all these gentlemen Hey, ladies love a sharp dressed man. Hello. Okay. No, up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. You know, I'm I'm very confused. I'm just gonna go check. No, yeah, just That's keep it. going down that hallway, down the old beds. Alright. Uh, well, alright. Alright, Mr. Bandley. What's your what's your name, partner? And my name's Bill Wilson. Bill Wilson. Billy for short. Thanks thanks, Mr. Wilson. My name's a newly appointed Sheriff George Hughes, and here we got a Deputy Marshal Ames. We've also got a Ato Hinto, who's a, a new fella. And a fella in the green? What was your name again? Sorry. Uh, Buster. Oh, Buster. He's, he's Buster. Um, all right, Mr. Wilson. Well, I really appreciate you being so calm and collected, explaining all that. That really means a lot. But uh, now I, I can I can see how that could have escalated like that. You know, one uh, person's thing and there's a threat. Does the pants name? Yeah, no, absolutely. Look, I appreciate meeting well, you fellas. Your friend down there lying on the ground. What's his name? With the doctor? Is that with the white boots? Yeah. Yeah, Cash. Cash? What's his last name? I actually don't know his last name. We're not Idiot, Lou, perhaps. All right. So I'll make sure to write that down. Oh, don't make it official. It's only a joke. All right. All right, Mr. Wilson. So, yeah, look, I can I can see how that could have quickly gotten out of control. But, yeah, this is, it's a great reminder of why you had long arms. We don't have long arms in town on backs, in hands, because it can quickly escalate. You know, people ain't communicating and then shooting each other. And, you know, everyone's got their right to defend himself. Next thing you know, you got this situation where you got a bunch of people all shot. We don't know who's who and what's what. Can quickly get out of hand. So just, yeah, 
spread the I word. Appreciate we it. We need long arms out of the out of the picture in towns, just so everyone can. Uh, so if they, say there is a disagreement, people are more inclined to use their fists rather than blowing holes in each other's shoulders. That sounds like a good rule, sir. It's this is this is a clear example as to why we have that rule. We're not meaning to be the fun police or anything. We just don't want. We, we need to be dealing with bank robberies and serious issues rather than people just shooting each other over a misunderstanding. So, yeah, absolutely. So, look, Mr. Wilson, yeah. I'm, I, I, I haven't heard any bad words bother. around you around town or anything like that. Um, so all I'm really going to ask you now is, uh, do you have any ID on you? Uh, no, I don't have any ID, sir. Okay, look. Look, you're not in any trouble today, but what I'm going to need you to do is, uh, you know, next time uh, you chat to any of the local law department or the doctors or anything, we're going to need some, we're going to need some ID. All right? Okay. We're going to need to see some ID. Um, you seem like a stand-up guy. And uh, as far as we're concerned, a lot of the people that we can trust have got IDs. They're working hand-in-hand -hand with us, meeting us in the middle. So at your earliest convenience, I think it's only like $5, head to your local po post office or Blackwater, the governor's office here. Grab yourself that. Keep that on you. I knew this was going to happen. That's all we need from you, okay? Yeah, look, and I really appreciate that. I'll definitely go and sort that out. I've got another delivery to do, and I'll be, uh, be able to get that ID, so no problem at all. All right, because, yeah, we will be we will be writing a report about this whole incident, we'll and it will be noted. Well, so don't worry. Because if, if we have to want, if we have to be chasing up people about IDs, it, it, it can become a fine. And, uh, yeah, no, I appreciate you know, it. it. It can just be. It's as simple as $5, so... All right, Mr. Wilson, thank you for your time. Um, we'll chat to Mr. White Boots next, and uh, stay safe out there, all right? Thank you both, and you too. Oh. All right. Spend all right, Mr. Dinner. Cash, you're next. Hey, you traveling? Cash anyway, Colt now, nah, brother. Cash Colt? Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you. My name's uh, Sheriff George Hughes, newly appointed. Uh, hey, you feeling a bit better? Pleasure to meet you now, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing mighty fine now. A couple scratches. But I, I'm going to be all right. Yeah, look, it happens to the best of us. Look. Just in your own words, can you tell us what happened down there on the street? Well, if I could remember, um, let me, f hold on. Uh, Just try your best. Well, you, your friend there, Mr. Wilson, he described that uh, he had his gun out, when he, which was an accident, which, uh, which made some other people in town feel a little bit scared. Yeah. And then people on horses came up. With their guns drawn, and he described that you you were you drew your gun in response to that. Is that does that sound right? I mean, as far as I remember now, there was a goddamn fella with the shotgun out, and he was pretty intimidating. Now kept bumping me with his horse. Yep, yeah, yeah. Mister Wilson described that. Yeah, they started bumping you with your horse because they felt they felt intimidated yeah, intimidated by you guys. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a goddamn uh, gun out, nothing. I was just, I was walking into town actually. Right. And um, he had his goddamn shotgun out. Uh, and he was just watching everywhere I walked. So I walked up to him now, and I asked him a goddamn question. I said, I think I said something along the lines of, um. Why you got your goddamn uh, gun out, sir? Maybe we, Fair uh, question. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, he started bumping me with his goddamn horse. So um, I, I proceeded to goddamn pull out my revolver and I uh, set off a warning shot in the air. And uh, next thing I know, <laughs> man, I woke up in this uh, place yeah. right here. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, look, it's... It seems like it's a bit of a miscommunication, and a lot of people feel intimidated. So, so look, you're not in any trouble or anything today, all right? We're just trying mm -hmm. to get to the bottom of this. We're having a chat with everybody involved. Now, um, this, like I said to Mr. Wilson before, this is a great example as to why we have laws about people refraining from carrying their, or, you know, carting their long arms in town, because it could quickly escalate with miscommunications and... Yeah, that was those problems Charlie. like this occurring where just you know doctors and lawmen have been you know we're, we're dealing with people that could have just chatted it out while while there's people actually getting robbed elsewhere so all i can all i ask from you today is spread the word amongst your friends and family just a reminder keep your long arms off your back in towns keep everybody Most definitely bro. everybody cannibal spread the word um we're not meaning to come on down hard on people we just want to avoid 
problems like this. Now, the other question I've got for you is, do you have any ID you can produce for me today, Mr. Colt? You said any ID? No, I ID, like a identification. ID? Uh, he won't, and neither will the rest of us. We're very new to town. Okay. Well, look, like I told Mr. Wilson, look, we need people to meet us halfway so we can keep track of everybody. We're not wanting to bother everyone. It's just when situations like this come up, we need to know who we're talking to, keep track of everything. And then you can just go on and live your life. So this goes for the you as well, Buster. Um, yes, sir. If you fellas, when you get a chance, it's just $5. Head on down to your local uh, post office, the governor's office here in Blackwater. Get yourself an ID. Photo ID isn't needed straight away. It's mainly you need, you need your name, your height, your hair color, your date of birth, everything like that. What kind of trouble you had down here? Next time we chat to you, we're going to need to see that. We will be making a note of it this time, but you're certainly not in any trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. Gotcha, gotcha. Nah, 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 now, we will be having a chat with the saloon owner as well. Um, just to really get to the bottom of this and make sure it's all cleared out because we don't... We had martial law in Blackwater not that long ago. And we really want Blackwater to be the next St. Denis. We don't need right. stuff Sounds like this happening good. every second day. So, so look, I really appreciate your patience, Mr. Colt and Buster. Thanks for having a look after... Looking after your friends here. Need to, yeah. need, need to see those IDs next time we talk not to you. Cool. We will have this on record. You know, if we don't see oh, IDs in the future, it. it can become more than five dollars, and we don't want it to come to that. So, so yeah. Look, I'm not going to take up more of your time. Thank you for your patience, and stay safe, fellas. And just uh, you take it Thank easy. Thank you, sir. No longer to towns. We'll and, go uh, get those IDs sorted. And we will out. chat. Stay clear of the saloon for a while. We'll go chat to him soon. All right. All right. Appreciate that. Now. Thank you very much. No worries, fellas. Y'all have a good day. Now. Enjoy your stay in Blackwater, okay? Try and keep these idiots in line. <laughs> Poof. Damn, it's so goddamn. Mm. Thanks, William. Good to see you. <laughs> Where the fuck stands at? Oh, boys. Oh, that way. All right, let's check on Louisa. Louisa, are you all right? Uh, yeah, just, um, I've got some reports to, to write out now, so. I bet. I uh, just, you know, taking a moment and taking a breather. No, um, you take all the time you need. And again, I am so sorry. That gentleman seemed like he was really sick. And he was really hassling everybody urgently for a doctor. It seemed like he just needed to talk to someone. I, I, we, we just had a bank robbery. And we caught yeah. three of them. So we're currently spinning oh. a lot of plates. And I'm really sorry that I didn't think to send someone in with you, okay? I, I, that's on me. Oh, that's okay. It was, um, yeah, uh, very busy, and, and especially with those extra bodies. Um, I've just come, I had just come from the sheriff's office there, so, uh, to help assist, um, it was very busy in there. Yeah, it it's... Just people just over, you know, okay. trying to get in and be nosy as well, so. It's there a bit of a headache. a lot of extra people around. No, it's, the black water over the last 30 minutes has been a nightmare, but I... Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you as always, and I'm again. I'm so sorry for that. Um, that's that's uh, I understand. It's so busy, and yet just all right. Everyone everywhere. Hey, Dolores. Dolores. All right. Just an FYI, these buildings are not good for sound. Yeah. Right. All right. So just be aware that any conversations you have will be heard out in the street. Okay. In every single building in this place. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so yeah. whisper as much as possible. Uh, even then. Oh. All right, so I heard you just got threatened. So do we have an ID on who it was that threatened one of my doctors? Uh, Are I, you I, okay, first and foremost? Yeah, just uh, a little shaken. Uh, they, they took $20. Uh, that's all they demanded. And then... Um, uh, this wasn't a Mexican fella, was it? No, no. Uh, they they had um they had they were they didn't have a shirt on, but they had the um what do you call it that that holds all the the gun uh, the bullets. bandoliers. Uh, bandoliers. Uh, yeah, they had uh, two bandoliers like cross and no over. shirt on. No shirt. Uh, Mr. Hughes, some dude asked he, me for twenty dollars. Yeah, he did say he spoke to you. Um, and, or said to you that he was sick or something and... Yeah, uh, I felt a little bit threatened in the St. Denis office when he came in, so... Was this so, today? 
this was today, <sighs> probably about maybe three hours ago. I gave him $20 because I felt that if I didn't, it was going to be a rob situation, robbery situation. So I just sort of kind of thought if I give him money, he might go away, and he did. You didn't happen to get a name? I didn't get a name, but he he was a very bandit-looking fellow, but same description, no shirt, the double, um, you know, uh, the, yeah, the, uh, the bullet, I've forgotten what it's called as well. The thing slung across each other. Bandoliers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, myself, Frank Corley and Deputy Marshall Ames all got a good look at him. So He we was will... in Blackwater earlier. I remember that. God damn it. I'm. He seemed, he just, I'd never met him before. He just seemed like he was really sick and needed a doctor. I did yes. not yeah. see that coming and I'm, I'm terribly sorry. That's exactly what he did to me in the St. Denis office. He came across as being sick. I went through the whole raft of, you know, in, you know, patient treatment things with him and in the end it became apparent that he wasn't there for being sick and, like I said, I felt threatened, so I gave him the $20 in the hope that that would be enough to, to get rid of him. All yeah, right. he, he was going on about greens and then he, he pulled his gun out. So, so I... Yeah, I'm very sorry, Louisa, that it happened to you. It's, it's, yeah, it's... I will I spread word. It's... Amongst the West Law Department, I imagine you'll do the same with the doctors, and let's let's get the word about word out about this son of a bitch. Yeah, we'll do. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a moment and I've got to write those reports there because it all happened so quickly, and there was those three patients who, with the gunshots. So um, yeah, that we had to Blackwater's well. been a yes. I'm I uh, I had major head issues, uh, so I'm very sorry that I uh, had to. Uh, to go sort those out. No, yeah, that's, that that's left okay. you yeah. on your own. So I'm very sorry. That's okay. I, I think I managed. Yeah, w- one of them was getting a bit angry because they, you know, I was. You know, there's two others and yeah, in line, yeah. So, well, oh, yeah, I'm very sorry about now. that. Yeah. Well, that's you okay. know, they I think they're all shit, on their feet again. Can, if they give you shit, they can wait a little longer. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Oh, did that. So. Okay. Well, if you need to take some time out. Uh, do so. Don't yep. uh, don't feel that you need to be on duty. Um, and also try. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you uh, did, weren't alone. Um, if mm-hmm. there's uh, someone you can uh, hang out with, that would be really really good. Yeah. Well, I'll, as I said, I'll, I'll take a moment to do these reports and calm down, and then um, I'll seek some some of the other doctors out and ride along with them. All right. I know Schuber and uh, Schuber and William are are on. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. And if you need somewhere to be before you find them, feel free to come. We'll unlock the door to the Sheriff's Department. Come on in and just hang out for a bit until you find someone. Always oh, welcome. You, Every doctor, always welcome. And don't yeah, tag along absolutely. us on patrol from town to town until you can link up with someone. That yeah, I'm okay. encouraging that within the law, West Law Department now. Yeah, okay. I'm very grateful for that because I've said to every single doctor I prefer them to ride with law as much as possible. That's Yeah, um, always yeah. welcome. And any any law department member that has an issue with that, I want I want names. Understood. Yep. Yep. All right. I better go check on the department, put out these fires. But uh, ladies, stay safe. Yep. I will see did you I, later. Did I hear, Thank you are for you everything a as always. Now? Is that right, Mister Hughes? Believe it or not, I am now the, the sheriff of the West, and Marcus Wolf wow. is now the sheriff of the East, and I'm I got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm gonna do my best to make sure, make this a better place for everybody. That's good. I know you'll do a good job. Oh, I will try. All right, ladies, you stay safe, or I'll see you later. All right, see you later. Okay. Thanks, George. Anytime. I got to restart the game because this purple thing on my screen is pissing me off. Some of these people, as you as you will see, some of them will uh, probably deserve to be scalped at some point. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, I got a feeling I already know what you boys are talking about. Look, let's head on down to the department, see that the rest of the boys are okay, and then I need to uh, shut my eyes for a minute. And then uh, let's have that nice peaceful ride along, eh, Mr. Hinto? Oh, that sounds uh, quite nice. I All think. right, let's get down to the department without any issues. Won't happen. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Paul. But anyway, let me move. Oops, sorry. Yeah, just trying to get to the alley.
Oh, it's much more quiet now. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. All right. Let me quickly uh, shut my eyes for a minute. I'll be right back. Rider Harkness Hughes. Won't be long, gentlemen. This purple thing on the screen is so weird. Alright. Let's reload the game. Let's... Close down Steam. We'll reopen that. Oh my god! What a headache. <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious. Also, Dill, thank you for the lurk. Hello, Crow. Sorry, I'm, sorry if I'm missing anyone in chat. It's just so much, so much happens as sheriff. Like so many people want to talk and like need your opinion and shit. And it's like, fuck. Like it's a, it's a lot. It is a lot to take care of. So I do apologize if I'm never, if I seem like I'm ignoring anyone in chat. It's just, I'm just dealing with so much shit. Like, everyone's coming to me for stuff, which is nice, but it's relentless. <laughs> hey, Shelby, such a popular man. I don't know if I'd use the word popular. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's good, though. It keeps me busy. It's just, it's just when it's like you're dealing with, like, a group of people dealing with, like, shit in one room, and then you're, like, immediately dealing with stuff in another, and both areas you got people talking over each other it's like oh my brain hurts like it's just frustrating but that's but the people coming to talk isn't that bad it gives me stuff to do which is nice the world spoke to me so clearly <gasps> how could you nutties how could you rob the doctors like that how could you louisa 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 how could you man you came to God believe you've done me. this. <laughs> Still, I died in Saint Denis. I left what it have all you done? Hands. Built me <laughs> all your friends. Oh dear. I watched you tear it down once, and you tore it down again. But still, I built that home to capture souls. And they lived there on its walls. Though this last time that you tore it down was the first time it would fall. Whew. Right, I'm making a note that I need to check touch base with Zane or Jack about um, what happened with those three guys from the bank robbery. I need to know that they were all fined and they had lo a long arm each confiscated until they pay the fine. I need to know that all three had that happen. If that didn't happen, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> yeah, I think it will. Pope, right? I think, they, I think, they might. I think this, Mr. Smile just wants to get more votes. He doesn't want to fuck it up for him. Oh, with the East. Oh, uh, yeah. I said, well, we all got demoted for what the East did. <laughs> That's George. Oh, sorry, boys. I had a bit of purple shit in my eyes. All good. Oh, I've got a hundred bucks for you to put in the ledger. Oh, from those three boys? Oh, yes. What's your number? It is now 226. So, Jack, we got a, we got fines out for all three of those boys from the bank uh, robbery? No, I had to take money off them so we could get fines. Oh, oh. It, it wasn't working. 
Oh right. Well, how much is um, the, how much is a, a fine for a bank robbery? Oh, I've got what we could offer him at this stage. Oh, that's all right. That's good. But uh, so yeah, that's good. But yeah, I was going to. I just wanted to check that yeah, if we couldn't get fine money, that we confiscated long arms until oh, they took paid up, it back. Yeah, took their long arms. We're keeping those. Yeah. Oh, I love it, Jack. That's beautiful. I'm excellent. Let me, all right, let me yeah, get back on duty for that in the ledger. We just couldn't find it for some reason. It's kept on coming with some error. No, but that's thing. You did the right thing. You had a, there was a, a hurdle. You found a way around it. Beautiful. Great work, but Jack. Then they, but then they shot Zane's horse on the way out. You fucking kidding me? Is he... Yeah, it wasn't very nice of him. Where, where's Zane now? I think he's just doing something. Fucking hell. I'll, I'll, I'll give him some money for it. It's all good. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jack. That's very good of yeah, it's you. It's not very nice that they shoot people's horses. That's that's just so petty. Fucking just fucking animals. All right, give me a sec. Uh, George, you happy? Did he just ask you, George? Pardon? Am I happy? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here now. Oh, Absolutely. yeah, Ames. No, Found thank you for your help, mine. Ames. No, yeah, you go right. do what you got to do, okay? Unlock the door, that'll be... There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next prick that spits oh. and I'm gonna fuck Listen, you. Still haven't checked my telegram. Fuck it. Thou shall get sidetracked by bullshit. No, no, Ames. No, we really me. appreciate your help for those last two incidents. Blackwater in the last half an hour was a right. fucking shit show. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. All right. I'll be around. Yeah, Ames. Zane, I'm go. so sorry to hear about your horse. Ah, it's all right. Hey, I don't know what their problem was. They shot at me first, so. Fucking pricks. Does, yeah, who knows what happens. And then they accused me of shooting first. I was like, look. I was out the front, I got shot at first, I heard a bullet go whizzing past me face, so I opened fire. That's just... I mean, I like that shot. Yeah. Too. And that's just how it goes, but you don't fucking bring horses into it. Yeah, they just come back and shot me fucking horse and cunts. I was like, oh, fuck. I gave him money, because he actually hit one of our horses, so I gave him some money for that. That's very good of you, Jack. All right. Well, yeah, Jack, if you and if you and Zane want to, you know, do whatever you guys see, boys see fit. Yeah, well... Um, yeah, we're all right. Yep. Keep fighting, you know, fight that good fight. That's going to be my slogan. Yeah, well. <laughs> Because I, I can't fucking think of anything else. Um, um, just so I'll let you know, the um, billing system is playing up. No yeah, surprise, but Jack tells one. me you boys found a, an alternative solution. Yeah, we did, yep. And yep. confiscated now, some guns. Yes. Yep. <laughs> hey, that's what I like to see, boys. That's beautiful. That's textbook. That's... Yeah, the handcuffs broke. Oh, for fu Fucking hell. Well, lucky, lucky we had the rangers and some yeah, rangers luckily. and wolf here. That's... You know, we got we got to make sure we return the favor. But love to see it, boys. Everyone coming together to deal with the shit. Not only here, but over at the doctor's office. Fucking give yourselves a pat on the back. Thank you. Um, I might go check on to, Mark and see how it's going too. And um, Harkness got spat on, so I ended up having to have a fight with some fellow. And I that, you know, that yeah, what, gave him a hiding. We fucking look after our own, whether it's Rangers, East, West. We're that all right. in this together. Fucking, they they come at one of us. They come at all of us. Yeah, well, hey, he, he, people. Hey, he offered me out. People. He offered me out, so I was like, you know what, whatevs. Fucking animals. Nah, we, yeah. it's important that we all have each other's backs. Definitely. But fucking animals. Yeah, I told the guy what I'll do to be spit somebody again. As, as, as you should. Just leave him there. That's just, it's, it's not only That's rude, but it's disgusting. Way. That is disgusting. And it's disgusting. I was just going to take his boots. <laughs> 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 that, that's, and that, yeah, no. And that's thing, we're not just jumping and taking people's boots, but if they fucking push us and they're being unreasonable, well, fucking, there goes your fucking shoe privilege. Well, he's I that... understand getting shot, but it's oh. someone spitting on you. Fuck sake. So. I do. Uh, he did say he wasn't going to spit on anyone after that good hiding I gave him. So Good. He actually ended up in the horse trough here. Face oh, first. Fucking good. Good shit, gentlemen. All right. Well, yeah, you boys, you boys what do what you do best. I'm going to go on a ride along with Mr. Hinto here. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, Start teaching him the uh, the ways of the West. Yeah, and, I gotta uh, get my head around this fucking report system. But Something I else. will, uh, I will, uh, I will check my telegrams when I can, if you need no me. Worries. But, but as I've as I've been saying, Sledge, Hogness, Woodman, Charles Bowman, I still consider them in senior leadership positions. Thank you. Go to them when you can, and like I said, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be reassessing the the ranking system, get everything. Hopefully back That'd to be normal. The pay we have to reconsider for the deputies, so we keep them around a bit. That's right. No, it's Even uh, ten cents or something. I'm a uh, weighing up a lot of options, and I'm speaking to the government about when we can see expect to top up front with the ledger, yeah. and then I'm going to start thinking ahead of like how long can this last? How much money do we need to be bringing in? 
a lot of things coming in. But yeah, just bear with me, boys. It's a it's, yeah, it's a hard thing to do. So I'll be at the boxing thing tomorrow. You won't? No, I won't be going out. No, I, I don't Taking really. This is out, so. I don't really feel like. I was going like to a boxing going match either. and not going to have how to get my ass kicked. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I never do well do well in fist fights. I think I might give it. I might I don't go. Do it too bad. I might I just go, go just to say hi, but I don't want to fight. But, uh. So you can match match out, Ed, couldn't you? But I've got as, a box match, I can't take you out. <laughs> but as well, over the. For fuck's sake. What is that? Don't oh, shoot a dog. Fuck. Where was that coming from? I don't know. I heard it. I don't know. I heard, no, yeah, that? I heard the dog sound, like you said. What the fuck, yeah. Who the fuck shot a dog? I don't know. Cheat dogs. What happened to those? What happened to those gentlemen that bloody shot me today? Early today. Yeah, all that. I gave Very them a strong talking to. Strong talking to. Yeah, those stupid. We're shooting coyotes. It's a. It sounds like it was a. Uh, well, well, sir. If you want to, just we'll take a minute to uh, just. Uh, I'd love to get your side as well. Just to absolutely be sure with the report. Uh, J Jack and Zane, I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hinto, feel free to come along. Uh, you want to chat somewhere? Of course, yeah. Wherever suits you is. To, uh... Saloon or down the street or... Oh, um, yeah, wherever, mate. Wherever you're comfortable. Oh, yeah, maybe just down towards the governor's office. Now, look, I'm I'm struggling. I'm great with faces. I'm great with hair. What was your name again, partner? Marcus. Marcus. Fuck. The saloon owner. I know. I know saloon And last name? Done. Marcus Dunn. Okay, I'm right. I'm fucking writing that down because it is all crossing over in my head. Look, that's fine, sir. That's fine. But I remember your voice. I remember your face. I remember your hair. I remember all the good food at your saloon. So I do apologize. I'm, no, I'm that's horrible fine. with look, names. That's absolutely fine. Now, sir. look. Yeah, I had a, I had a, I had a had a chat with all those boys. Uh, one of them was not really related to them, and uh, he intervened. He. He thought he was doing a good thing. He thought he was helping people that were being wronged. And is that is that the guy with the the fur hat? Yeah, he he thought he was helping out, and he didn't even know them. And so I but mentioned, I, you know, can it you... just it just doesn't make sense because why would he be on a roof, and as soon as the shooting happened, he started shooting. Yeah, done that already. It just doesn't make sense, sir. No, I've, I've mentioned a lot of that, and they all need to present IDs and everything. And I've told them that it's all going on a report. So, look, if there's any other funny business, well, like we've got it, we've got it written down. How the other two fellas worded it? What were their names? Bill Wilson and Cash Colt. How they described it is a. Uh, one of them said that he accidentally withdrew his his rifle. Um, they mentioned that they felt intimidated. Uh, but I'm wondering, wondering why did they even fucking ask? Um, it sounds like to me that then well, there were some boys with you. No, 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 no. So look, I'll tell you from the start. Okay. I was I was down in the street because um, what was I doing? I was down near where you guys were actually, and then I walked back to my saloon because I had some cooking to do. I'm a very busy man. You guys keep buying out my saloon, so I'm like, <laughs> ah, just a very busy man, you know, getting all that greasy steak over me. Just oh, I love the it. chicken. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I Man, actually got to go pick up some before I leave town. My grandmother made that recipe. Oh, keep it coming. Uh, she's she's great at it. Beautiful lady. May she rest her soul. Yeah, well, anyway, so I was going back to my saloon to do some cooking. And um, this is uh, one of my one of my friends, my good, good friends of mine. He was uh, surrounded by three gentlemen. And I walked over there a little bit concerned because I had guns out. So I drew my gun, you know, as you would Bam. as a concerned citizen. Absolutely. And I just wanted to make sure he was okay. Them guys, I just let them know that why they had their weapon. Is there an issue around, you know, around town? Uh, and they said, oh, our apologies. We don't realize we had a gun out. So, yep, no worries. Yep. I put my gun away as soon as they put their gun away. Honky dory. Happy days. All right. And um, another gentleman came in and he was like, why did you have your gun out? Questioning me. Um, started to circle me and I felt very intimidated again, so I drew my gun. Very simple. You know, I felt intimidated. Man. I want to protect myself. 
Okay, and uh, he started being a little bit mouthy, and he just drew on me, and he shot. And luckily, he couldn't shoot to save his life, and um, <laughs> I had to take him and his cousin down, and there was another guy that shot me from a roof uh, pretty much instantly, and I shot him back, and I killed him as well, or injured him, sorry. As is your right to defend yourself, 100%. Exactly, sir, exactly. So I wasn't there to cause any issues. I was just there to protect my friend, to make sure he was okay. And these gentlemen, uh, let's just say they uh, you know, messed with the wrong guy. I, they, they definitely, I think they, they really felt that. And I've had words that they need to be mindful of, you know, as everybody should be, long arms in town. And I've told them all that this is a perfect example of why we are, I know we can seem a bit like the fun police, but as we can see, you know, sometimes if there's, you know, people feeling intimidated and then it's a lot of back and forth, it can quickly get out of hand. And next thing we know, we've got doctors dealing with multiple people getting shot, local businesses getting damaged. Um, so I really reminded them that, you know, no long arms in town and, to, you know, just try and, you know, not get in people's faces and actually have a conversation, figure out what the hell's going on before people start shooting. Um, of course, sir. And like I said, Mr. Hughes, I'm not here to shed blood in the beautiful town of Blackwater. No, but you have every I'm right to defend here. yourself. And, you know, if I see one of my friends in trouble, I think I have every right to protect them, especially men that are innocent. They're just here to visit, you know, like they came I, from Armadillo. If I was in their shoes, I'd be wondering why these random gentlemen had their guns out as well, and I would want to have mine out. Correct, correct. And I'm like I said, I'm not here to shed blood. No, I'm no, no, to, it's, yeah. I'm here to just to run a saloon, and that's all I'm here for. It sounds like a really complicated misunderstanding, but those boys, yeah, they're all going in a report. I've told them all to get IDs, you know, keep the long arms off. You know, if we have to be reminded about any of this stuff, it will be fines. You know, to uh, use their words, please. And, uh, you know, to give people personal space and just to be mindful of what they're doing. And it's also the fellow on the roof. Watch out with the vigilantism. And, uh, of course, sir, of course. You know, don't go... Yeah. Look, might, might I add, with the long arm, I'm just glad I did have my long arm at that point because if I didn't... You know, I might have been injured in the process. Well, Luckily, I'm... I just got a graze to the shoulder. And uh, I, just, I just feel very thankful for today. I the think in the safety of your own home or business, and when circumstances arise where you need to go grab your long arm, I think that's fine. But yeah, we just want to get away from everybody walking up and down the street with long arms because yeah, it could quickly just... Things like this can happen. And... Uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure for the doctors, the lawmen, when when we could be uh, better using our time to be dealing with bank robberies elsewhere around the county. Um, oh, absolutely. Just thinking so, of the absolutely. big picture. So so that's all I really have to say about that, but I really appreciate your patience and everything and really glad absolutely. to see that you're okay. You, As far as I'm concerned, you and those two other boys, your friends, did nothing wrong. You're well within your right to uh, you know, wonder what the hell's going on in the town and defend yourselves. No trouble at all. Well, it was only myself and uh, one other friend of mine. And look, He's a humble saloon owner from Armadillo. So, you know, we talk about prices, we, you know, foods and all that stuff to make sure everyone's getting a fair price in county. That's beautiful. Well, between between the west side, anyway, we look after each other. Like doctors, business owners, people that are giving back to the community and doing good, innocent things. They shouldn't have to be worried about being intimidated by some hooligans coming into town, waving their guns around and not reading the room. It's, it's... That is not the kind of society we are trying to build in this great country. Absolutely, so I absolutely agree with you. So, yeah. Well, look, thank you for taking the time out of your day to explain all that. Like I said, I've had a chat with all of them. I've got their names. So that is Bill Wilson, Cash Colt, and the fellow on the roof. That was, uh, let me find this, Bruce Dutton. I've had words with all of them. And um, if we don't see any improvement... Or anything that we will be taking to the next level, but I'm I'm led to believe based on everything I've heard from everybody, there was just a really awkward uh, miscommunication and misunderstanding. Of course, sir. Uh, thank you for your time. Oh, app. I'm here. I'm here for for everyone to just make sure everything right. So, just do my job. Happy to help. Thank you, Mister Hughes. I do appreciate it once again. No worries, Mister Marcus Dunn. Thank you very much. Please enjoy no the worries. rest of your day. You too, sir. I'll you be stopping by to grab some chicken before I head out of town. Hopefully there's some left because I've been a busy man. I'll grab some steak or something if not. But Yeah, I'll be getting up in the morning just to cook. 
It's just been uh, never ending. Ah, it's good. Business is good, and I love going out. I'm do it for Taco Tuesday. It's a, it's little things. It's good. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys, I'll take no more of your time. You have a good yeah, you have a fantastic night, Mister Hinton. You hungry? Ah, uh, yes, I could eat. All right, look, I know you've been how how long have you been waiting for a ride along? No, this has been uh, quite good. I've learnt quite a lot. You got to see a bank robbery. You got to see, mm -hmm. you know, people get processed at the department. You got to see us deal with people at the doctor's office. Uh, exactly. You know, how we communicate uh, with, uh, you know, known suspects, uh, witnesses. So, yeah, this yeah. Is what I'm here for, yes. Yeah, so let's now, let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to pop, let's pop down to the saloon. I'm going to grab some food, grab some drinks. Let's jump on the hall. Let's jump on some horses. Let's ride yes. up, you know, go through Strawberry Valentine. Let's head up to Wapiti. Tell me about yourself. And uh, right. let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's uh, talk law. It sounds good. All right. Hope, I hope the hardest part of the night is behind us. Oh. Was that a gunshot? I think that uh, that was, yes. This place, this place is quite, uh, quite busy, no. There was a lot of people down in that main intersection with a couple of wagons. Just keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully, we just had a few incidents with some uh, locals earlier that were causing trouble. Hopefully, it's just that. Um, I'm a little bit reserved to go running down, as I believe I'm the only on-duty lawman right now. And that, that is a big group of people. You gotta pick your battles. Ah, uh, yes. But then, at the very least, if you cannot directly involve yourself with something due to due to the risks being too great, observe and take note. So we'll just keep our eyes peeled as I buy some chicken. <laughs> sure did. Thank you. I just I didn't even second guess it. I just knew it had to be done. Cool. It wasn't going to be, uh, we weren't going to be, uh, you know, pushed into a hostage situation or some bullshit like that. Well, how did partner just buying some chicken? Mm. Well, well, I think, I think. All right, just got to pop by the department before we head out as well. But it may not be by the book. You know what I mean? You happen to play the uh, piano, Mr. Hughes? I, I dabble every now and again. Just, a, you know, a little bit of a little fun ditty here and there. Yourself? Uh, no, but uh, maybe I should get one in the sheriff's office. Look, that'd be a, you know, I find it's a, a good way to unwind when you got a quiet moment. You can, uh, you know, you let you just, your fingers do the work and it lets you, keeps your mind free to just think about everything that's going on. Uh, yes. I've been taking notes on your uh, your office, and uh, you don't have a piano. Oh, look! <laughs> well, look. You know, we we, we head down to the saloon sometimes. We try to play it there. You know, uh, it's mm -hmm. it's better. <sighs> ideally, you want it in a, a place where everyone can enjoy it. All right, I just need to uh, make a deposit. Right, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stuff some of these coffee grounds. Oh, oh in, howdy in there, sure. Uh, oh, howdy. You know, too much more. I'll just really be a minute. I gotta just pop something in the desk. No, no, all good. Wait a minute. Hello. All right. All right. Hey, yeah. someone's got anyone. Anyone got? Oh, well, doc, we, doc. Uh, Ben. Um, yes, well, please. Yeah, he's uh, right. he, was, he was shot in town. <sighs> Sir, where are you hit? Hello. Uh, give, give my belongings to the department. No, you're not dying. Sheriff, can I have his belongings? What the hell happened? Sheriff. Um. Uh, oh my god, what a day, what yeah. a day. What is a fucking mess tonight? 
Uh, get in. Yeah, this uh, yeah, this gentleman. Um, oh, that's how you got uh, Rob was robbing doctors left right. This guy right uh, here. No, the one in the cell that's that's oh, been drowned. Fucking, you find the ever living fuck out of him. I found, I found him in Rhodes um, and brought him here, brought him to the doctors. Uh, and I asked Mr. Loris, um, you know, I was I was keen for a bit of public justice. You know, so we, we got him in the uh, in the T intersection there. And, uh, uh, well, you know, Mr. Loris beat the absolute shit out of him, but then... As she should. He, he intimidated $20 out of her. He robbed Louisa at gunpoint yeah. of another $20. And I, after the shit we've had, I will not have the fucking doctors getting intimidated. So no, you fucking no. lay your hand... Whatever you see he, fit, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, well, I, I gave bastard. him to public justice, and then he pulled a he pulled a gun in the middle of the fight uh, and pointed it at Mr. Lores. And uh, Jesus Christ! And he was shot immediately. That just that just boils my blood. Fucking hurting doctors. Well, he was warned. He was warned that we, we, we really hoped that he was fucking telling the truth. You know, he's banging on about, uh, you know, this is injustice. You know, y'all can't just be wrapping up folk just because they look like folk. And it was just too much. It was way too much. We the, have to multiple eyewitnesses. That's right. Well, to the point where the doctor said to me where his sidearm was, the fact that he had his sidearm, and it was the exact sidearm that he mentioned, it was too much. You, know, you confiscated no, these weapons? At the moment, uh, he's uh, well, he was rendered unconscious. So uh, you know, at the time, uh, he actually genuinely needed medical attention. So uh, provided medical attention. Yeah, yeah, from the same doctors he's trying to fucking rob. Uh, but you're right, though. That's a uh, that's a fucking rookie error. I uh, need medical I attention. Him. I didn't disarm him. You all right, partner? I'm starving to death because I'm poor. Oh, give me a uh, sec. Hello, buddy. Here you go, partner. This is my last taco. You are a lifesaver. You're, you're welcome. Now, you're not here in any trouble, are you? No, no. Well, he's bad to if he keeps, if he sticks around. All right, let's get, we're, 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 get out of here. Yeah, I, I got I'm no more tacos for you, but happy to help, side. partner. Thank you, sir. You're but welcome. Just so you guys know, I can never be in trouble. Like, I'm just charming, all right? So... <laughs> I'll get out of here. What a guy. Thank you, Mr. Cook. What a guy. Yeah. Okay. Where is the... Thank you, Jack. Uh, He's in the... the in I mean, the patient. He's in the fucking cell, and if you lay hands on him, nobody sees it. They've already had yeah, their, their piece up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Oh, that was, that was good. I'm sorry. Uh, that's my I fault. I should have disarmed him. Uh, no, how did you get inside? Fine. What was your name again? Mr. Cook. This I flopped the door three one. times. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all right. Yourself, Which one, sorry? I'm going to. I just want to know your name. Well, my name's Ooh. Sheriff George Hughes, and this is Sheriff Marcus Wolf. Okay, I'm just going to get George and Wolf. All right. Good stuff. Nah, me and Wolf go way back. He's like my brother. Oh. I'm going to be his new deputy soon. Mark my, my words. Apologies, apologies. Oh, look no, at that. It's okay. It's nice. All right. <sighs> Sheriff, is there anything? I'm, I'm, I've been trying to take out a... Oh. Mr. Hinto here on a ride along for I what think that mean? for two hours. Is there anything I can do to help you here? Um, honestly, um, I'm just hoping that this man um, doesn't succumb to his wounds uh, because um, it was it was a big shot. It was a pretty hard shot. All right. So, and, and you uh, y'all have got keys to lock up here when you're done? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, um, if you don't yeah, need me, I'd love to go on a ride along with Mr. Hinto here. He's he's absolutely. actually coming to come over to the east later uh, next month or so as well. Mr. Hinto, uh, where? Hi, how did that part? Do you need to be Mr. let Hinto? out? Mr. Yeah, please, please let me out. Sure, partner. Uh, William, William, come with me outside. Yeah. Thank you so much, doctors. All right. Uh, thank you. I'll take it with me. Thank you. Um, God. Fuck. Uh, this is uh, Sheriff Wolf, no? Yes, it is. Uh, yes. Uh, Ato Hinto, this is Sheriff Marcus Wolf. Oh, what's wrong? To meet you. Oh, Eddie Butter. Um, well, it's unfortunate. Is he dead? I think I've killed this man, yeah. This is uh, not really what I wanted on the shift. Okay, um, fuck, what is the usual process? Doc's going to take him away, right? They're going to take what? his body to St. Denis. Okay. I'm just going to have to wait for Dolores. I'm, I'm Fuck me. Fuck me. 
Shit. Fuck. You, you, you had to. He was... He pulled a gun to Dolores, so we had no choice. And he's been yeah, robbing doctors. No, exactly. You didn't do the wrong. It's fine. No, no, exactly. No, exactly. No, no, you're right. No, no, exactly. The fuck my thing back. You're right. You're right. Exactly. Exactly. This. That's that's exactly. No, right. it's it was it was it's unfortunate, but uh, it is. It is. You it or is. him it's, or uh, him or the doctors. It, fuck I mean, that. right? What, what, what's what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be doctors one day? You know, but sheriffs the next day. It don't matter. Doctors, that's the last straw. You're right. You're right. That's, he made that's his line. bed. He fucking right. made his bed. That's right. We got confirmation that it was him, so fucking A, he can lay in it. No so shirt, vandalism. the funny cigarette. Yeah. Oh. Even, he he's dealing drugs to the fucking Native Americans. Nah, that was me as well. What? All right. I'm going to go deal with that guy. Thank you, deputy. I just, some of these people... Doctors? Why doc? Like, just don't fucking hurt doctors. No, I don't think uh, folk understand that. That uh, you know, y'all can, y'all can, y'all can shoot us all day, all day. Shoot us. That's shoot our job. Us. Do it. That's Absolutely. our fucking job. Uh, the doctors didn't sign up for that. Shoot us all day. Well, you've been told to leave multiple times, and then you're talking about uh, handing drugs to people. So I'm going Can't to do the doctors, you, and then I'm going to put you on your way. Uh, Wolf, and you're still uh, happy to arrange a. A sit down tomorrow Saturday, night. Saturday, please. Saturday. That's um, us. Why do you have Saturday night. Whenever it works for you. That's I've us. telegrammed you. You tell uh, my post today is six. You let me know what time. Honestly, I'm just gonna I'm gonna clock off duty completely, and uh, I'm just gonna come. I'm gonna come straight down, straight down here tomorrow night. And, uh, yep, tomorrow night. All right. Yeah. I'll yep. wait. I'll, I'll wait around Blackwater for you, partner. And um, yeah, when you see me, holler at me. And uh, yeah, we. I'll be around from down. six p.m. until you know whenever. And yeah, yep. we'll, we'll we'll go find. I don't know. We'll go to the. I don't know, Rhodes Parlor or somewhere quiet, sit down, and we'll nut it all yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I'll bring some money as well. The jurisdiction has that much money. It, uh, It's it's like three of the uh, the Rangers' departments in one. It's it's insane. Well, I, I just saw our ledger got topped up today as well. So, oh, But, but right. we had a little bit left over, so we're like, we're technically we're ahead. So if we can just manage everything over the next month. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, well, I don't really have too much to manage because it's only been one deputy so far that's that's rolled in. Um, really? So far today. Yeah. Mr. Yeah, King been, there. Mr. King. Yeah, that's right. Shit. And, uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's been it's been a struggle day, part of. Oh. But, hey, I've been I've been pulling people left, right, and center. It's been great. I've been clearing, clearing there, clearing my desk for fucking people's names. You should see names everywhere, all on my desk, part of, And I'm just going through tick, tick, tick. Sir, you'd make a note of anything you want. Tell me all about it tomorrow night. I've got my fair share of things, but I know if we put our heads together. Oh, oh, we going, we going, we gonna have, we gonna have a very, very good relationship on This is, yeah, this is gonna be good for folk, and it's gonna be good for no, us. No, and, and I love this. Members. Rangers come in to help with the bank robbery. Y'all come into town to help out. We'll return the so favor. Good. Let's that all help so each good. other out. Work together. It's gonna be great. We we need this use, you know, moving forward. You know, the all the law folk are gonna benefit, you know, from for working together. You know, we just need to we just build them relationships up. Which, That's which it. We, will we can do. get it back on track. It'll be exactly. it'll be good. But yeah, all right. If there's I nothing I can do for y'all, I'm, I'm gonna get going for a ride along with Mr. Mr. Hinto here. Absolutely. And Giddy hopefully up, the rest gentlemen. of the night is kind of more kind on all of us. I can't believe it's already been three hours. Hold my it's, fucking god. Oh, hey, yeah. Tom, let's get the fuck out of here before something <laughs> blows up. Yes, uh, Gentlemen, yeah, just don't forget to lock the door. Um, fucking great to see you. Uh, train with you as well, Mr. Mr. Hinto. Wolf. Please, uh, it would be a pleasure. Would be. It would be. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. I mean, my people would appreciate it. Thank you for your service, partner. Yeah, let's go. Let's ride up through the west, head up to Wapiti. I'd love to see yeah, more about your home. Let's do it. Ames, oh, thanks for all your help today, as always, partner. All right. Ames, are you going to be around tomorrow night? Yeah, I think I will be. All right. I may... Uh, you to be determined. I, I may... Yeah, I'll keep you in mind. But yeah, might see you... To, if I don't see you later tonight, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Got an idea. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, Hinto. Let's ride. No Mr. Problem. King, great to see you. Good. Oh, you too, Sir Fuse. Appreciate all the help around here, and we'll be sure to return the favor. All right, Hinto, let's ride. Before before anything happens. To meet you, Marshal. Oh, God, let me out. Oh. Mr. Hughes. Seems what the hell's happening on the street? On the street. What the fuck's happening here? 
Oh, we're just having a friendly fight. Who's here. this fucking bloke? Get fuel grimy hands <laughs> off Alright, just yeah, take it over yeah. to the uh the field over there by the out of the out of the street, gentlemen. That's all I ask. Uh, or, or, remember how you said a, you a wanted pan thirty you bucks a box of express and I offered eight dollars? Fuck your eight dollars. Get your oh, Come on, with me, eight hole. Come on. We gotta keep moving. Help me, Sheriff! Oh, He's no. fucking uh, kidnapping me! I, 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 He's I'm not kidnapping you! Moving him off. He's kidnapping if, me! If he was doing anything bad, he would not be walking away slowly from the sheriff. No, he is. He's, He's doing not! Bad. He's getting you out of the way! Before when I spoke to him, he said. You'll be fine! You should just put him on our horse. I ain't gonna molest you, but that's not the worst thing. Miss Wheeler? Hey, you. How you doing? I am having a not great day. Snapping turtle? No, unfortunately, I cannot. You, oh. It, wait, do you need it? No, I, I'm a, I'm going on a ride along with Mr. Mr. Hinto here. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it. I just I should have just yeah. You okay? You need to talk about it. I just the, everything that could have sounds like it's could have come from like a mystery novel somewhere is just. Do you, happening and uh, do you need to talk to me for a moment before we head out no I've, i'm gonna talk to lou he's coming okay all right lou you Sorry. lou you listen to everything miss wheel has got to got to say right now for me partner i uh, i will and i need to have a very important conversation with you and, and you what you let him molest me he did not i need no he was removing you from the road what the hell i'm walking funny my bum sore Jesus! I can't decide. Okay, I took. Oh, of course! I'm going back to sleep under this band. Ato, hurry! Climb on, partner! Or grab your horse, hurry, Ato! There's no time, Ato! Look out! It's an emergency! Damn. Oh my god. Uh, that's... Oh, I don't know. Oh, is that your horse behind me? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, did you want to ride it or do you want to ride with me? Easy. Oh, uh, it might be easier if I ride you too. Sounds good. Oh god. Easy with the speed in town! On the way, I just I like to check the bison. Yes, yeah, they need to be protected, huh? They're they're sacred to your people, aren't they? They are. It's uh one of the things we would like to uh, do up in Amberino is uh, protect the uh, the game. Seems to be a lot of uh, westerners coming up to hunt, kill all the animals. Yeah, some people don't understand that. You know, it's fine to hunt within reason if it's done correctly, but if you overdo it, well then how is the animal population supposed to still survive? Yes. It's literally overkill. There's not too many bears around anymore. Oh, look, I still see my fair share. I was nearly ripped apart by one up in tall trees the other day. Uh, Miss Wheeler, who we just saw before, one of the doctors was with me, so she uh, saved me and she made sure I didn't succumb to my injuries. I'm very lucky, but that was that was that was scary. All right, so yeah, we'll just we'll just take a nice a nice general ride up through the you know the usual law patrol route here in the West Jurisdiction. So of course we base our operations out of Blackwater here. And, uh, you know, usually, unless we've got word of anything, we'll, uh, we'll head on up. We'll, you know, sometimes we'll pop our head over into Tall Trees, Manzanita Post. We'll, uh, head on up to Strawberry, take a look in at Mount Sean, the mine there. We'll head on up to Valentine, some of the stations in between, over to Emerald Ranch. And then, yeah, when we can, we like to get up to Wapiti. But it's, it's just, right. it's so far away for us that we, we have trouble getting there in time to do any good. Yes. Yeah, I understand. There's, uh, there's lots of drug dealers up there, huh? They, look, drug dealing don't sit 
sit right with me regardless. But, but look, I, I've got a great respect for, for your people. That, uh, you know, it hasn't been the greatest relationship in the world. But, like, I'd, I'd really just try to take note of, you know, respect, you know, the, the bias and the sacred to your people. And I don't think it's very good to be dealing drugs up, up in your, up in your village. There yeah, are people, uh, they're quite sick of it. So, it's uh, the time we uh, stood up. So, we're trying to uh, learn as much as we can from your departments in the east and the west and take that knowledge and bring it to Amberino. That sounds fantastic. So, you would have a, essentially, a, your own sort of sheriff's department based up in Wapiti? Yes, exactly. But, uh, focused on the uh, game, wildlife, and, uh, the lands. And the Amberino area. That's right, yes. And you and you'd be happy to uh you know, as you've seen today, like the uh the East jurisdiction. Oh god! Oh sorry! Oh Ato, are you okay? Yes, I think so. I just hurt my back, I guess. Sorry, I that didn't Georgie! My horse oh, that's a, that's a strong horse. Look <laughs> Sorry about that, partner. My poor horse, That's she's been okay. through a lot today. So, but, as I was saying, uh, as yeah. you've seen, like, the Rangers will come help us. The East Department yeah. will come help us. We'll go help others. You'd, you'd be happy for us to, you know. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there was some Rangers up in uh, Wapiti earlier while I was there trying to build the, uh, the base of our house. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we talked about some of them coming up to protect the lands and things. And we'd be happy to uh, also, you know, protect the game and wildlife down here. Yeah, well, look, I, I'm i sure oh, I speak for... Like, probably that uh, rabbit that you just ran over. I mean, oh, was there a rabbit? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. I mean, there's lots of them. I didn't see it. It Did it run out in front of the horse? Yes, yes, but it's fine. I'm sure they, you know. There's, Sorry, there's lots of them, they, you, know, you know what they say about rabbits. Yeah, little Catholic bastards. Shot this one in front of you there. Oh, I see that one. I'm, I'm. Yeah, go over to the right. Get out of my way. But yeah, I, I, I'm sure I speak for Wolf and the Rangers that we would be more than happy for it to be a collaborative effort. You know, we come help you as whenever you need, and always you're always welcome yes. down. Yes, our, um, our skills uh, lie in the land, so I mean, we need all the help we can get up there. Uh, well, look, it's nice that you say that there's a lot you could learn from us, but I'd, I'm willing to bet there's an awful lot we can learn from y'all, especially, you know, you know, especially the lay of the land and everything. I can't say I've ever been particularly good at it. I'm sure there's things you can learn from us, sure. So that, that like would be that good. that guy before, who's the annoying one. We would normally take him up to the mountains barefoot, in the snow, leave him there in a cage for three weeks. Goodness. Well, I res I respect that, but they may that may be frowned upon uh, on our side of things. Is all. Uh, you may have seen the prison we built off the coast. Uh, I have not. But uh, I have been told um, uh, Mr. Ames was telling me about this prison. Yeah, so yeah, we built a big prison off the coast, Siska prison, which is where we'll sometimes, you know, generally we want to be finding people confiscating weapons, but there are times where we will send them there for a for a time, which, uh, you know, is it really can just be the equivalent of like a day or a week. But uh, even that can be frowned upon. So, like, three weeks up in a cave, like... Look, I'm not... I'm not meaning to tell y'all how to, you know, do what you need to do, but some people may see that as uh, inhumane in the nicest way possible. Yes, uh, I, I, I think I see your point, yes. Uh, the, by uh, all means, if they... One thing I can tell you, he'll probably never do it again. They, I would be inclined to agree, and I, I, I wish we could be that thorough with punishments. Sometimes it's just, it's about finding that fine line, I guess. Um, 
What sort of? What about uh, let's say carving into their body, their uh, knife or something? The, uh, I would be inclined to say that that's off the table. Uh, that that would definitely be frowned upon. Hmm. However, you know, uh, the amount right. of uh, knife incisions you would make, we would find the equivalent of a uh, monetary amount to find them. So that ah, yes. while we're not exactly carving into their flesh, we are carving into their bank account. Like, instead of taking a finger, we take a gun. Yes, which makes in, sense. Which in some ways hurts them more, because some of these people, they're, they're really uh, materialistic. Like, they, they, they got big egos to fuel you know they're, they're they're so proud of the their fancy guns and showing off people that when they lose that they feel like they've they they may as well have lost a leg i do love riding through this area i'm taking the scenic route yes it's a beautiful area but my teachings when i started as a recruit is uh my trainers were very clear on you got to be mindful of it's a, it's a, it's this weird, it's this weird balance. I'm full of the weird, yes. It's, it's almost like, you know, criminals strike out because there's a law department and they got, it's like they're fighting against that. But then the law department exists because criminals do criminal activity. So it's almost like we don't exist. One doesn't exist without the other. And... If you go, like, say say they do something minor, and then we react way too harshly, then they just come back, and they then escalate it even further. And, you know, we can go back and forth, back and forth between the two groups, and then ultimately you've got innocent people getting killed, people's properties getting destroyed, and God knows what else is happening. And uh, so it's, it's almost like you want to issue a belt. punishment equal to the crime. I hope that makes sense. Then what would you suggest for, uh, let's say, if we were to catch a drug dealer on our uh, on our land? Mm -hmm. Well, we we have a what's called a, a penal code, which is basically it's a, a number of laws and, and instructions based on uh, you know criminal activity that we uh, is known to happen. And this has been overseen by the governor. Oh my! Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I just ran into a deer. Oh. It was sleeping. I didn't see it. It was lying in the flowers. Yes. Well, uh, I really do not uh, like animals, huh? I I am really so. I love animals. I I am I am having the worst luck with animals on my horse day. I'm terribly sorry, Ato. Oh, don't be sorry. I not. It's uh. Not its brother or anything. I assure you, I love animals. I love them so much. I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, that's disgusting. Oh no, like, I appreciate them. I don't lie yes. with them. Well, if it was cold, I'd, you know, use. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, so yeah, you know, we have what's called a penal code, which has a, a number of punishments based on a number of crimes. So, you know, let's say we caught. When we catch someone up in Wapiti drug dealing, we, we look up, you know, what is the penal code for someone dealing drugs? And there'll be a, you know, it might recommend a certain amount of time in Siska prison. It might recommend a, uh, you know, finding them a certain amount of money. And we, uh, we go off that. Seems like a lengthy process, no? It can be, but it's, if we don't do that, things can easily get out of hand. Because then we have to do paperwork. Because it's one thing to communicate this verbally with with the uh, perpetrator and the other lawmen, but if we don't have that written down, you know, it could end up, you know, he, people could say whatever they want, and you don't know what to believe. So it's like we're trying to follow a system so that everything is fair. So yes, I think I understand. So we we would share that with with your people. As a, as a guideline of how to approach it. Now, you know, there's you don't have to follow it to the book. You know, if they're, if they're reasonable, well, as reasonable as a drug dealer can be, 
you know, you can go easy with the fine if they are, if they are rude or, or you know, doing things worse than what they should be. You know, the, the fine amount can increase. You can then look at also confiscating firearms or whatever. So it's not it's not a strict book. Oh. Nice, then that's fine. Howdy. Okay. Are you Howdy. friend or foe? Hi, it's uh, it's me, uh, Sheriff George Hughes oh, of the West hi, Mall, George. and Mr. Mr. Hinto. Mr. George Hughes. Mr. George Hinto. Hughes. Howdy. How's everybody yes. doing out this way? Good Great. morning. How are you? Better oh. to see you, George. I'm just going for a ride oh, here with a uh, Mr. Hinto. Beautiful. Was oh, that sorry? Is this your fine uh, beast? No. Yes. Huh? Thank you there, sir. I got my it today. Eyes, it's, uh, it's, uh, he seems okay. Who have we got here? Oh, there's a, there's a good Is that horse. you, Dolly? No, Maya, my sister-in-law. She. Oh, Maya. Sorry, I didn't see your face. Sorry. Good to see you, Maya. Oh. And uh, who else we got? Uh, and Jones. Oh, Mr. Jones. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. I'm Ellie. I'm Maya's cousin. Oh, hi, Ellie. Have we met before? I don't think so, no. Oh, Taco what? Tuesday, guys. Come on. Oh, maybe I'll oh, oh, maybe. Maybe. Look, I had something Your to drink on that night. Hayden. Oh, oh as, yeah. as you should. Well, yeah, nice to meet you regardless, <laughs> Ellie. Uh, yep, yeah, Sheriff <laughs> Hughes at your service. And the, and the other gentleman? Uh, Monty Bubble. Mr. Bubble, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see y'all. Look, I'm horrible nice with names, you. but yeah, great to see y'all. Y'all just having enjoying some hunting out here? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm look. not. I'm just watching. I oh, love it. It's such a beautiful air, especially when the, the sun's up. The, the green, it really is. It the really green is. fields and the mountains and the forest. It is beautiful. beautiful. Just gotta be careful of the grizzlies. <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah, I get you. I was thrown around like a rag doll recently up in tall trees. <laughs> I'm very lucky to be standing, well, talking to you here right now. If it wasn't for the doctor with me, I could Yeah, it was a. Wait. They, they'll get you. Is he a doctor? On your horse with you? Is oh, this is Mr. Ato Hinto. He's uh, from Wapiti. Oh, nice. Wapiti nice doctor. Oh, no, I'm not a doctor. I mean, uh, I do healing, but not so much uh, like your people. Oh, oh okay. Yes, I was yes. going to say, I got a snake thing, so if you were a doctor, I'd just give it to you. That was uh, that was Hickey, I think it was. It just went past. You reckon? Oh, yeah, I saw the red hair. I'm assuming so. Oh, ginger. Yeah, Ginger Hickey. Oh, well, we better keep on away, but lovely to see y'all. Stay safe. Yeah. Watch out for them grizzlies. Yeah, don't hesitate yeah, to you. shoot them. If they're coming <laughs> right. at you, don't do what I did and hesitate. What you have to do, Mr. Hughes, is just stand absolutely still. That works? Let me show you. Oh, what? Is that a bear? Where was that? Hey, Tal, are, are you sure about this? Yes. Don't Is there worry, a bear right over there? Just uh, don't make a peep, okay? And I just stand still. Just stand absolutely still. Oh, it's a small black bear. Never mind. Oh. Yeah. These, you know, these those ones are just uh, timid little creatures. <sighs> Fine. Oh. Oh. Look, I'm, I'm happy to follow your lead, but I'm, I'm, I can't hide that it. it scares the sh dickens out of me. Well, if you like, we go find one. You know, uh, oh, I'll happily show you how to stare a bear in the face. And look, if we, alive. maybe another time, you know. Yes, yeah, another time. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just, I'm still just sort of reeling from uh, the last bear attack I survived, is all. Yeah. So yeah, tell me about your, uh, tell me about your people, tell me about yourself. Well, there's not much to tell, really. We just, uh, you know, grew up, uh, just north of Wapiti, and, uh, we just uh, sick and tired of these drug dealers taking over, you know. It's all gotten all my people uh, now addicted to uh, cocaine and 
Another thing is to No, that's a... That does not sit well with me at all. I, I think, considering the rocky relationship our two peoples have had... Yes. That, uh, oh, howdy! Howdy. Miss Wheeler, what are you doing here? I am checking on the area. Really? You you heard that Hinto, Mr. Hinto and I just came across a black bear, didn't you? You were coming to save me. Oh, I've shot so many bears today, George. There's nothing around here that can hurt you. Jeez. Well, we're, we're uh, riding up to a Petey. Did you want to ride with us? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, be a nice change sure. of pace. I've just been a... Uh, yeah, Mr... This is a... Have you met? This is Mr. Ato Hinto. Pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm Dr. Cynthia Wheeler. Ah, uh, doctor. A healer, huh? Oh, yeah, that's me. I try my best. This is the doctor that saved my life from the grizzly the other day. Ah, uh, yes. The, the, well, the wolf attack, then the grizzly attack. Oh, yes. Yes, wolves and then a bear. Ah, uh, now I see why you tried to kill all the animals on the way. No, he horse. learned that with, from me. She's she's much better than than I am. Hey, Hughes. Yep. Just a little note about that person we've been talking. Hmm? I have been shown a photographic proof that that person exists. Oh my. Okay. Right. So, be on your wit. You've had a good chat with Lou. A very enlightening chat. Okay. Good to hear. Oh dear. So yeah, Mr. Mr. Hinto here is from Wapiti, and uh, his people oh, no. are from there, and uh, they're looking to set up their own sheriff's department. In in Wapiti? Yeah, we figured that's uh, a start. I mean, there's uh, too many drug dealers there. We're gonna start somewhere, huh? That's right. That is a good idea. And so if Mr. Hinto's come down, he's gonna do a couple of weeks of a. Uh, you know, tagging along with the West Department. Then he's going to spend some time with the East Department. And uh, and then it'll be great if we can see the uh, the Amberino Law Department become a thing. And you know, continue working collaboratively. It'll be a, I think it'll be a really great thing for everybody. That would be nice. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. Would be good for coming out to the Amberinos be uh, more safe. Because it can be a bit treacherous. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to think here. Just trying to think of the next. <sighs> Look, yeah, Mr. Hinto, I'm, um, I'm in the process of gathering up all documents to go through, you know, the principles of being a lawman and such. So, yeah, when we reach Wapiti, I can start going through that with you. Yes. And uh, yeah, whenever you'd like, yeah, come on down. Link up with any from the West Law Department, whether it's myself or Harkness or Sledge, Woodman, Ryder, whoever. Um. Yeah, yeah, I would appreciate that. I mean, uh, like your idea of the uh, fining people. That's uh, well, well, maybe these drug dealers won't like to be fined. And of course, I hope it goes without saying that any uh, illegal. Oh no, what's that? That was a snake. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... But, uh, yeah, I hope it goes goes without saying. That if there's any illegal items, I see she protects you, huh? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she she really looks after me. Um, that uh, yeah, if if you find they've still got some drugs on them or anything like that, then you confiscate them as well. You take them off them. No, please, Miss Wheeler. No, I don't want to see that. No, ah, yuck. Don't like snakes. Don't like them. Don't trust me. For some reason, that one didn't even have fangs. I couldn't skin it. Oh. Oh, and is that Henry? Yeah. Uh, Persephone had an incident, and I haven't been able to get her out of the stable yet. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but it's great to see Henry. Yeah, he's also naked. <laughs> he oh, is, is that too! Your, uh, is that your horse, Henry? <laughs> Henry is a demon. Yeah, this is Henry. Oh, okay. I have another horse called Persephone, who's my new horse, and uh, she had an incident when I was dealing with some things, and uh, yeah. All my money is in roads, so I haven't been able to pay the stable mercy yet to pick her up. 
I had an accident with Georgie as well. We were... I also heard that you got hit by a carriage. Yeah, that was the same incident. We were coming out, we were oh, crossing man. the river out of Blackwater, and a, a, a large wagon came around the corner fa too fast. We were going too fast. Wait, there's a horse here. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Anybody around needs help? Maybe someone... Can't get in the saddlebag. Oh. Oh, shit. Maybe someone nearby fell off the horse and they need help? Hello? Howdy. Anyone around? Moan and groan and make some noise. Thank you. Moan, groan, make yourself known. I'm not seeing anything, but it's just odd to see a, a horse with a saddle out here all by itself. Ah! Sometimes the local riders get attacked by wolves and the horse is just around. Shit. That is unfortunate. Oh well, but it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. But uh, yeah, so improving the relations between your tribe and the and the law departments is good. Is there anything, anything that you could? That would help from the doctors, like teaching each other. Absolutely. Uh, you know, right now we just work on herbs and things. And, uh, our people we have a way. native uh, medical recruit, actually. Oh, you do? We do. And uh, he's been very useful for helping us. He introduced me to some plants that I can use on wounds oh. and some things that naturally stem bleeding on small punctures. Very helpful. Very we also good. have a uh, a doctor who is from Mexico, and she has similar tribal practices. Look at that. It's already happening. So she uh, uses a lot of crushed willow bark and things like that. That's really nice to hear. But it would be good to get, um, you know, some outreach happening, come up to Wapiti and give some people some treatment. Yeah, we've uh, recently built a healing office in Wapiti. So I just figured I should probably go off duty. I should have done that before we left Blackwater. Sorry. Yeah, I'm still off duty technically. I haven't been able to get the St. Denny and clock on yet. We have to go all the way to St. Denny for that. Oh my god. But I only came on duty for support. But actually, I probably really need to get over there. I kind of forgot that I have to do that. Ah, yeah. oh, you'll be fine. No, we don't even get told anymore unless we're on duty. So I might be missing calls. Oh. I'm going to part ways with you here. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, all right. Well, oh, if, you, if, nice you, meeting if, you. if you need to talk about anything later, just let me know. I think, um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to talk about, but you should chat with Lou at some point because he's also figured a few things. All right, I will do. All right, you stay safe. All right. See you later, Miss Wheeler. It's, it's, it's a nice ride. I've, I've been meaning to come up this way for a while just to get my head out of the cities for a while. Taking the view, taking the mountain air. I take it you've been up here before. Not too often, but uh, Miss Wheeler and I are actually trying to plan a, uh, a hunting trip up into the snow. Um, it's just, yeah, I'd, it, that, those plans kind of got put on hold when I was appointed Sheriff of the West all of a sudden. Ah, uh, yes, you must so, be a busy man now. Oh, as you can see, I can't, I can't walk ten steps in Blackwater without needing to deal with something. Yes. That's you. But that's, I guess that is ultimately what I signed up for, and it, it while it can be stressful, it, it does, I find it very rewarding. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the pay helps. To, to, to live a, a comfortable life, but ultimately, you know, I signed up. What do you do with your money? Hmm? What do you do with your money? Oh, I mainly just, uh, I like to uh, keep stocked up on, like, chickens and 
apple apple lemon smoothies just to to enjoy on my lunch breaks. And then I honestly like I've, I bought myself this pump action shotgun and bolt action rifle just to you know attempt to protect myself. Not that I do a very good job at it. And then I just save the rest. I one day I'd love to uh if I ever get to retirement I'd love to own a a property or a ranch or something out you know that area where we were run through past strawberry. Yes, yep. I'd love to live out there in my yeah, that's a beautiful spot. older years. That's the dream, but it, it would take a lot of money. So I try yeah, to save bears. all I can. No, there's a lot of bears out there. Yeah, I would have to, I definitely have to see the... Might need a big fence. Yeah, I, I think so. So hopefully I'll have a lot of uh, experience between now and then so that I can uh, <laughs> take care of my property if it ever happens. <laughs> oh yeah, here we are. Is that building ahead? Is that the one you, you're building? Uh, yes, yes, it's all uh, it's underway. We just need to, uh, you know, gather the materials, and uh, hopefully we should be all built to the. Uh, uh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. oh show yeah, show me around. I've only been up here a couple of times, but uh, yeah, I haven't really. I didn't really want to go disturbing everyone. Yeah, so I think uh, this is where the. I guess you would call sheriffs will be uh, stationed. Ah, yeah. We we're going to put out uh, some uh, some cages at the back for the drug dealers. Good thinking. There's a nice mm. fireplace here for when it gets cold. Very nice. Very good. Hey, yeah, look out for the locals, you know. They're a bit uh, edgy lately. They I don't their supply of drugs from the Westerners. I don't, I don't blame them, Ato. I do not blame them at all, considering everything that's happened. Um, yeah, it's a damn shame. And uh, here we have the doctors. Uh, I guess you would call them doctors. It's oh wow! Yeah. Their office. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, very good. Got it. What's, what do we got up here? Ah, uh, the stables. Ah! Of, uh, yes. Uh, horse trainer, he's uh, a little under the weather, but all the, uh, the native horses will be... Uh, Stationed here and trained. They'll be some of the best horses in the county. I bet. Hmm. Yeah. And, uh, probably, you know, a lot cheaper than uh, over in the West. Oh, better and cheaper. Uh, yeah, the native ones, you know. I'll keep that in mind, because, yeah, one day, you know, put my poor girl Georgie, she'll. Yeah, it'll be the end of her days, so I'll have to be looking to get a new horse, so I'll keep this place in mind. Oh yeah, what, another but building yeah, here? It's coming along, you know. We've been trying to work very quickly to uh, get this place up and running. Very good. I don't actually know what's in here. I think there's food supplies. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we keep like... Yeah, supplies and furs and such. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. But, Jared, yeah, that's about... Uh, that's about it, you know, Mr... Mr. Hughes, I mean, there's not too much to it, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we can start to uh, learn from you guys and I can catch some of these bastards. Yeah, Try well, to do what we normally would. Uh, well, is it? Do you have a? Is one of these tents yours, or is there somewhere we can sit down and I can uh, just sort of start? Yes. I can sort of give you an, an, an outline of what we'll be going over with the, over the next few weeks. Uh, 
did I save that? Dropbox. Look at all them chickens! Are you hungry? Some chicken you mentioned earlier. I am a little hungry. Uh, I'm alright. Oh! 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 You sh oh! You shouldn't have. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Just in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll cook up your chicken. Oh yeah, nice and cozy. Bring up this document. Well, can I quickly bring it up on the computer just so I can read it a bit better? Yeah, very nice and cozy in here. Oh, thank you. No problem. Well, chickens are plenty. I mean, uh, well, you know, that was actually for uh, my cousin's children, but it, it's fine. Oh, would you like me to give you one of the chickens I got from Blackwater back? No, here? no, no, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's good. There'll be more. Uh, if you're sure. I'm just trying to find these documents in my coat. Where the hell did I save it? There it is. All right, so yeah, so yeah, I've got all these documents, so this will this will be covering a lot of what I can go over with over the next few weeks. Um, we'll, we'll go into you know what makes up the law department, um, so like the goals and expectations of local law, uh, the ranking system to understand how it all fits together. Uh, let's see what else we got. There's a whole range of uh, expectations, um, you know, you know, essentially, you know, you are upholding the law and enforcing things like that. But it's also being mindful of, you know, that people have people that have the job, you know, display honesty, integrity, uh, that they, you know, they're even that they even maintain a certain level of uh, physical fitness so that they can, you know, chase criminals and. And look after themselves and others around them. So you know, there's that. Um, there's also it details the uh, the responsibility, so no one's sort of confused about what they got to do on their average day on patrol. Then also you the sort of the uh, the base things you'd be doing. You know, you'll be arresting people, uh, jailing them, fining them, confiscating things, just so there's no confusion there. And we get even, we even break down with the penal code because yeah, a lot of the the crimes they've broken down you know, misdemeanors, minor felonies, major felonies. They're they're, they're categorized based on sort of their their severity. So there's a better understanding of that. Um, understanding jail time, if, like I mentioned, fines. So you have uh, different punishments for different uh, different actions, I guess. Well. Different, uh... At the end of the day, the, your bread and butter is uh, fines, yeah. confiscating weapons, jail time. But then also, when possible, you can also uh, issue them hard labor. You know, that might be cleaning up around a town or or working at a work camp or something. 
down in the ranges, you know, they'll even find uh, different punishments. Like, they'll make them go work in the mine for an hour or something. Uh, while up here, you could, uh, you know, you could do your version of that where they have to, uh, you know, uh, do farming for an hour or something to help y'all out. Yeah. All depends on the sort of the, the lesson that needs to be learnt from the perpetrator. And then we've also got some examples of, uh, you know, there's a... There's some fine... There's some grey areas where, you know, sometimes it's clear as day when someone's done the wrong thing. But sometimes you don't know for sure. You're just going off things you've heard, things you might have seen that you're not sure of. So there's things like probable cause reasonable suspicion and you got to know about these things because you can't just go accusing people of this and that you got to have proof and enough information to back up your claims or else you know anyone could say anything and people believe it mm, yes this is true and there's also you know when to know when to uh like we had in you you heard that uh you know people were spitting on lawmen they were physically attacking them Guns pointed at him, and it's got to know when. When is the time to just use words? When is the time to use physical force? When is the time to draw your gun? And you want to you want to be absolutely sure that if you're going to pull a gun on someone, and, and then especially if you've got in every intention of pulling the trigger, you got to be absolutely sure that you are doing that by the book. Generally, it's you know that is our last resort, but uh, it's very important to be careful of that. So the whole range of things like that and also the procedures when you are you know finding someone uh what else we got it's also like i mentioned you know you want to verbalize these important details to your fellow lawmen when you can but then it's also important to have a written record of this so what we do is we'll write reports that detail you know, how we arrested someone, why we arrested them, any other information that may become important in the future, so that uh, if it's not me that's reading it up later, that if it's another person, they can understand what I went through at the time, so they can... Because they may be arresting someone that's been arrested before, and if we can then identify clearly that there's a record of them, you know, say, dealing drugs up here in Wapiti, over and over again, well, then that may that may result in their fine or punishment being greater than the usual amount because they're a repeat offender. There's also, unfortunately, that, uh, you know, a lot of these criminals, they, you know, they've, they've, they've been dealt a bad hand or they've just got, there's just something bad in them or God knows mm -hmm. what, but they the, the, sometimes, you know, the good folk and lawmen aren't excused of that either, so we also have to be mindful of things like corruption within the department and consequences based on that. Like, as a lawman, it is it is it would not be okay for me to be doing things for my own gain at the detriment of citizens or my fellow lawmen, like taking bribes or favoritism or abusing my power like again like i mentioned you know we, we when we want to hit back at people we can't just be doing that over nothing because yeah that's that's taking advantage of people and it's abusing our position when we can't we can't just do whatever we want we got to follow the rules and, yes um, i agree with this and we you know while we uphold the law if any of us are caught doing any of this well we are, we have to be held accountable as well we could be looking at fines or losing our job or spending time in Cisco or god knows what What's the most uh, severe punishment you have? Oh well, look, there's been a, there's been some people that have really, really done some horrible things to the government and just really disregarded how other people feel altogether. Like these are these are the worst of the worst criminals. These people have been essentially, you might be familiar with this, like essentially exiled from society. You know, yes. get them out. You know, you don't even... You're not worthy to remain here anymore. Get out and take your bad energy with you. But then, in a civilized society, we are trying to... Forgiveness, trying to, you know, 
have forgiveness, trying to try and try and find the good in people. And so we try to give people a second chance within reason. Now, some of these people get a second chance. And what they have to do then is they have to go, um, firstly, they have to uh, go into a court of law and plead their case and accept the consequences of their actions. That will then usually result in, I think, up to a month of time in prison. So that's, you know, that could be solitary confinement. That's that's working in the prison yard for up to a month, maybe by themselves, eating pretty bad food on a pretty, you know, not so great bed. Left, really just left with their own thoughts, which can be a personal hell for the average person. So that that's pretty severe. So no murder. Well... Here's where it could get a little, a little bit different. If people will, if people will then accept those consequences and accept that punishment, get through it, okay, and under understand what they did wrong, they can then be integrated back into society, and we'll do our best to accept that and try and move on. But they may, in the process, they may have items confiscated, fines, you know, all of that. But in some cases, based on the severity of their crimes, and if they uh, have shown no remorse for their actions. They will actually be executed. They will be killed. Ah, yes. Like uh, drug dealers. Well, maybe not drug dealers per se. Maybe Are the they, um... maybe drug manufacturers. Because I know I know it may be hard to hear, but sometimes people that are dealing drugs are just people that have fallen on hard times. They're trying to make a you know. Going to the drugs is their way of escaping from the hardships of their reality and their day-to-day -day life, and they're just trying to make family. Some of these drug deals may be just making money for their families, for their young children. But I find where the real evil from this comes from is the people that actually uh, make make these drugs to distribute where they have no, no regard for others. They do not care of the people that they poison, the people they rip off. Um, so I'd, I'd be more inclined that those people would be uh, okay. worthy of the death I penalty. I see where you're coming from. It's, but, but let's say time and time again someone may be drug dealing over a year and they're just not getting it. Like We want to be hitting them with all the other punishments first before we considered that. But if it got to the point where they just had, they're showing just no, no compassion. For the, the wrongs they're doing, it might be time to, well, that's, let's call it a day. Uh, Kill them, yes. Well, it's, eventually it gets to the point where, you know, they're not helping themselves, they're not helping others, they're just, they're negatively affecting everyone too much. And there's only so much doctors and lawmen can do. It's, but, but it takes a lot to get there. But we have had, I have witnessed one hanging in St. Denis, one fella, he did his time at Siska. And, uh, yeah, he was publicly executed. He was hanged from, uh, by a rope from his neck until he, until he, until he died. So it, it, yeah, it can come to that. But we try, we try everything we can to avoid that. Um, you know, humans have had a very troubled violent history and i guess i guess as as time goes on we're just trying to move beyond that i guess but it's easier said than done considering you know we try to make all these advancements but then you know it'll be time for another war and it's just it always just never feels like it really changes anything yeah this is true it's it's a uh, you know, uh, what is a, an, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. And I understand, I, I can, I can empathize with people that have had wrongs done to them and they want retribution, but it gets to a point where the back and forth, it just doesn't help anyone anymore. But so, but, but ultimately that is what our job is to do is to try and stop these bad things from happening to begin with and then put an end to it as soon as possible before it gets out of hand. So that's really all the training will cover is, is so you've got that mindset and you're prepared for anything to, to, to accede to those responsibilities when you're out there on, on duty. I really, um, I really look forward to it. I think, uh, this will be very, very, uh, valuable. 
Yeah, so um, yeah, we'll get you uh, riding along with us, you know, experiencing more like arrests, going on patrol, more bank robberies, and uh, and especially when you're with me, every every day we'll try to at least get through a couple pages of these old documents of mine, and uh, just uh, yeah, just um, all I ask is that you just be patient. It it can be a lot. Just take it in, and uh, ask questions. Um, okay, well, uh... keep an open mind. We have a tradition, you know, you, uh, you can't leave a, a teepee without trying our, uh, our peace pipe. A, a peace what? Our peace pipe. You can't leave uh, the teepee without trying the peace pipe. Oh, like, like tobacco? Uh, yes, uh, something like that. Yeah, I, I, you know, I enjoy a, a good old fashion healthy cigarette as much as the next fella on a, on a daily basis so yeah if it's just that uh, in a pot that's that's fine it's, with me uh, it's not uh, so much uh cigarette that's uh it's part of our people's traditions and uh you know it's uh, you'll find your spirit animal this way uh would, would would this contain the same sort of plants that the drug dealers have in their products uh, not that I know of. I don't think so. Would Would you consider this a drug? No, not at all. All right. And this it's... is a plant uh, that grows uh, quite freely up here. Yeah, but some of the drugs they deal are plants as well. Like, wh where do you draw the line between? <laughs> where do you draw the line between what's a what's a good plant and a bad plant? Um, I'm not too sure. The stuff that they bring over here is manufactured, uh, you know, in a, in some kind of tub. This is a plant that you can smoke from the earth. This is how you find your spirit animal, Mr. Hughes. And, and this is an, and this is an old tradition with your people? Oh, absolutely. And you it, cannot it, leave this tent without uh, <laughs> smoking it. It is part of the tradition. It would be, a, it would be an immense great disrespect if I didn't smoke this opium? A, a great uh, disrespect, in, indeed. And uh, I, I assure you that uh, it is uh, opium is uh, perfectly legal within uh, our uh, our area here. You're 100 to fear. You're 100% sure. Our... Just, I don't know if the the marshals and the governor would look too kindly on me smoking opium. But if, if it's if it's if it's a tradition of your people, it is. And uh, if you like, it can be completely between you and I. I will never mention it again. That would probably be best. Um, I guess we need to find your spirit animal, George Hughes. I, I'm, I've got an open mind. Yeah, like I said, I got a lot of respect for your people, and I'm always happy to learn more. So I'm happy to, happy to give it a go. I just, yeah, I just, I don't know how the marshals and the de and the governor would take it, but I imagine if they were in my shoes, they, they would uh, need to smoke the peace pipe too. That's and, yeah. Uh, yes, do not fear. It's, it's perfectly legal in this area here. All right. Well, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this sort of thing unless it was. For something important like this. All right. Do, do you do I should just do it now? Ah uh, yes, yes. It's the perfect time. It's the moon is coming down. And, uh... <laughs> All right. Let me just. Uh, oh yep. Yeah. <coughs> oh yep. Yeah. It can be a little bit uh, strong and. Oh. It's a little bit of a ride, but you're in safe hands. Oh. Oh, do I, oh, do I, should I stay in the tent? Yes, stay in the tent. Oh, do there's something leave. trying to get in. Do not leave the TP. Oh, my. Just follow there's... the animals. I can hear them outside. I can hear a pig. I can hear a chicken. Pig. And there, yes. there, was a, there was a wolf trying to get in. And a wolf. A big, big wolf head broke through the side of the tent <laughs> yes this is just the beginning you must search deeper oh everything everything's there's so many colors 
I can hear a cow. I can hear the, the water. I can hear the, the wind in the trees. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. How are you feeling, Mr. Hughes? Quite relaxed, I guess. Did you find your spirit animal? Well... I think it was a wolf. I think a big wolf head poked its head through the tent. Yes. I th or, or at least it looked like a wolf. Maybe it was a, a jaguar or a cougar or a bear, but I, th I think it was a wolf. This is a good sign. Trust the wolf. Yeah, is that it? Is that it? What, what was your spirit animal? Mine was a badger. Oh, oh, lovely. I can always uh, think hard on my memories and uh, confirm what it, what I, what it, what it was. I think I saw. I, I don't want to be. I don't want to seem like I'm. Just saying wolf just because for the fun of it. I, I'm pretty sure it was a wolf, but I, I'll, but by the time, by next time we see each other, I'll, I'll think hard on what I saw. Yes, of course. Yes, whatever the animal is, uh, just, you know, put your trust in, uh, trust in the wolf, I guess. How, what, what does that mean exactly? How do I put my trust in the, in the wolf? Uh, it could only mean something to you. It doesn't mean nothing to me. It's, uh, only you will know. Oh. Huh. Well, it was, it was quite a, quite a surprisingly enjoyable experience. Yes. I, I just, I feel like a, I feel calmer I in a sense. And, uh, you know, in, in your world, maybe it's, uh, you might think of this as illegal. But in our world, this is our way of life. Yeah, no, I, I respect that, but then it's a shame that people will then abuse it and try and sell other harmful products up here to people. Yes. Take advantage. It's not, it's not on. Oh, well, I better give you this pot back, I, I imagine. Ah, oh, you keep it. We have uh, plenty more. You sure? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ato. Next time you come up and... Uh... Smoke a peace pipe again. Oh, oh, we gotta do it again? Well, if you ever come in uh, TP again, yes. Very well, then. Um, I, I, I look forward to learning more of your customs and traditions. And I and yours. Ah, uh, they're all right. Look, I'll, yeah. Yeah, should be, should be good learning from each other. And it'd be, you know, it all leading towards uh, a law department up here. That'll be, I think that'll be great for everybody. Well, uh, was there, was there anything else? I'm just thinking I should probably head back to a... Yes, I think it's time. Uh, I must take a uh, sleep. Yeah, I'm thinking I, I better get back down to... Back down to town, check my telegrams, and see if there's anything else I can do before I get some rest as well. Of course. Now, you be careful uh, on the ride back. Do you want me to come with you? Oh, no, it's no trouble, Ato. It's no trouble. I, I think I can uh, find my way down to Valentine from here and go from there. Well, it was a pleasure seeing you again. Thank you, and, thank uh, you. Yeah, hopefully it's a little bit uh, quieter next time, maybe. Yes, yeah, and hopefully we got a well, bit more... Hopefully not. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's that right amount where there's things for you to learn, but it's in a way that it's actually, you know, not going to give us a headache. Oh, I just saw someone, sorry. I'm a bit edgy when I see people here. Someone not from your tribe? Ah, uh, yes. 
Oh, in the in the building there. Yeah, do you, have you seen them before? Uh, no, I have not. Hello. Hello. Howdy. How's it going? That's good. I was just coming to say hello. How are hello. you? Hello. I'm good. And what uh, what are you doing up here? Well, I was hunting elk, and now I'm cooking, using the fires. Oh, yes, of course. A hunter. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Mostly good. elk, though. And deer. Fair enough. Well, have, uh, you know, feel free to use the fires. Keep yourself warm. Yeah, it is really calm tonight. Oh well, yep. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I better I better be getting uh, back to town. Yeah, Mr. Hinto, yes. thank you very much for your hospitality. And uh, thank you for your patience and uh Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you more and we'll uh yeah, we'll get some more training done. Looking forward to it. Excellent. Well yeah. Uh, my post ID is six. If you ever need to get into contact, um, you've already sent. Sorry, you've already sent me telegrams. Never mind. Sorry, I, I forgot. That's all right. Thank you. Uh, let me nine nine eight. Let me just make a mental note of that. I think I have, but I'm just nine nine eight. Eighto. Hinto. Let me write that down just so I'm. Excellent. All right, we will go from there, and uh, I'll see. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Okay. Goodbye, sheriff. <laughs> Goodbye for now, friend. Did you get lost? <laughs> <laughs> so good. You cannot leave the teepee without smoking the peace pipe. Oh no! <laughs> That's great. That's really great, like... Like, build up to when there'll be a law department up here. That's fantastic. That's so good. Also, Saint, sorry, yes! Hello, thank you for the raid. Sorry, um, I was just like trying to really concentrate. Like, what can I say with like an experience between a um, a lawman and a and a Native American that's like brought him into his like camp and everything? I'm like, oh, I'm like, really trying to concentrate. Thank, how was your stream? Good to see your own country. I hope you have a good sleep coming up. Um, my day, it was a very busy Friday at work. A very busy Friday at work. But it was productive, and um, I'm just glad it's the weekend. Um, chill out and that. How are you going? Sorry, yeah, it's 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 <laughs> since becoming sheriff, it is so hard to balance the RP with um, keeping up with chat because as sheriff, like, unless I'm like hidden off somewhere, just there's so many things I need to be dealing with. It's intense. In a good way. William nearly permit today? What? What? No way. Uh-oh. My spirit animal maybe probably be the wolf, but that doesn't that's gonna not gonna stop him from hunting me down. Neil Oh, that's that's scary, dude. That is... That is scary. Oh, man. God, it was busy in Blackwater earlier. My God. That was... That was a time. But it is getting on in the night, so I won't wrap up just yet, but I do have to be mindful that it is getting closer to midnight. So I just need to be careful that I don't get caught up in anything too crazy. But I will be back on tomorrow night. 
There will be more Sheriff George Hughes tomorrow night. Um, I will probably take Sunday night off from RP, I think. I'll just chill out. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Is this your wagon? Hey? Is this your wagon? No, not mine. Do you know whose it is? Not my wagon. Don't know whose wagon it is. Hmm. Gotta get it off the... out of the street. Yeah, I'll just, just move it out off the road. Did I hit Dolores? Well, I think I could hear him watching a stream or something. I could hear Dolores' voice in the background. We're in a Discord call or something. Oh, weird. Howdy, fellas. Just gonna have to ask you to get the long arms out of the way while in town. Big arms, I know. I'll get these cannons out of here. Appreciate it, fellas. Have a good night. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, sorry, I, I, um, when is George getting a dog? Um, oh, it's tempting, but I'm, I'm, my biggest fear is how, like, the, I think the pets, like, they don't respawn, and that just sounds pretty brutal. I don't know if I could deal with that.
Oh. Oh dear. Cynthia Wheeler reckons she has seen Calder. Caldern? Calder? Caldern? Dear, dear. Oh, also, yo, Rando, um, it was awesome. Last year, um, some staff members would sometimes uh, play as law dogs. And so they would follow, um, like, they would usually follow the streamers around, like myself or Hammer. Um, so there was, a, there was a couple of great streams where I went around and I had a deputy, the dog, like a Border Collie, fo border collie following me around. And so... Like, they would, like, do, like, you know, the slash me, like, whimpers, barks, etc. They would do stuff like that. They would, um, like, spin in a circle. They would, like, I'd be like, um, I'd be like, you see that person over there with, like, the red shirt? Like, sick him! And, like, give them orders. Like, give the dog an order and it would do it. There was one time where we were taking a bunch of stuff out to Tumbleweed. And we got ambushed by a bunch of gangs. And the dog was with us. And everyone was getting shot. Like, it was just George was left behind a rock while everyone else was wounded. And so the dog's there with me, like, behind this rock. And I'm like, Deputy, you gotta run and get help. Go, get out of here, girl, run. And then the, the dog's like, arr, arr, and, like, runs off to, like, go and get help from local people to come and find us. Like, it was, like, out of a movie, dude. It was unreal. It's like, Deputy, go get help. It was wild. And then, like, the deputy came back and with... with other lawmen and doctors and stuff and like attacked some of the criminals and then they they i think they shot the dog and so we then had to deal with the doctors treating the dog as well it was so dramatic it was it was intense it was like you gotta save the dog you gotta save deputy it was it was it was a it was a time Really not feeling that the wolf is my spirit animal. I, I, I imagine they will open that up to people again. They opened it up to people last year, where you could, you could like apply to do that. Uh, and like, yeah, they had my, they let me have my vampire character that could turn into a bat. Um, at night time. Um, and then Hammer, playing as the Scarecrow, could turn into a, a crow or a raven or whatever at night as well. So, I imagine the I imagine they that might become a thing again for people. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, there was a time a bear helped rob a bank. Like, it's so funny. But, oh, dude, playing as my vampire character and, like, turning into a bat and flying around was so cool. Except for when I'd crash. Because then, an ad because then I'd have to either restart the game or an admin would have to come and revive me, which was embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so cool, Saint. That would be so cool. Jesus! Christ alive! 
Bull crap. Is that the governor? Is that the governor? Governor, is that you? No, it's not. Fuck, I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, is it the governor? He's just having, he's just taking some time off. In strawberry. I, I was like, I was, I, that, I was pretty certain that was going to be the governor. But alas. Oh, that's right. I want to stop at the stables here. The blacksmith real quick. Anybody home? Oh no, there's a there's a new um there's a new blacksmith at Strawberry. Apparently. I need to follow something up with them. What's going on here? <laughs> Hello, Lou. Uh, what happens? Uh, Mr. Terrence? A lot that happened here, boys. Mr. Terrence, yes, this will keys. be the last time. I mentioned long arms to you. Next time it's gonna be a fine. Okay. Wait. Are you talking to To Terrence? Terrence had a long arm on his back? He did. I don't see a long arm. You I should thought you, I thought you were confusing me and Terrence for a second, George. You're not what the one with the twin at his uh, hip. True. People should have them out. Sorry. Out of sight in town, whether lawman is around or not. <laughs> the amount of times we've talked about this, martial law is not. And I'm getting real fucking sick of it. We had a shootout today because people had too many long arms out, miscommunicating, misunderstanding, and wasted a lot of lawman's time and a lot of doctor's time. And I'm frankly goddamn fucking sick of it. And y'all can pick up the fucking pieces and follow the laws of this country, or you can go live in the fucking forest. Do you understand me? Too bad this town's not looked after, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah. Well, it'd be a good thing if the people Imagine that lived if we here, felt safe here, if the people here in this town <laughs> were able to follow instructions and uh, mm. follow basic, you know, basic laws, basic understanding, bit of compassion for fellow people. 
then maybe it would be a bit easier than herding sheep. <laughs> oh, they so can't this, all this be is why you need me in your fucking workforce, mate. No, you need your uh, deputy. Uh, hello, Mr. Hughes. The trouble you caused, don't you go applying for law anytime soon, you... You... Troublemaker? I didn't do nothing! I've only really been fighting fair and then, square. So. I he, don't know about yeah. that. I reckon you should fight him. He didn't. All right, who know. needs to talk to me first? I do. They're very important. Uh, so these gentlemen here, they had the uh, Hickey brothers roll up on them in uh, in Blackwater, just over there. Are you snitching on us, Lou? Oh. Helping you out. We don't do anything wrong. We don't do I'm anything, wrong. We no, don't do anything they, wrong. They literally said to the Hickey boys, Put your guns away, let's have a chat. And then the Hickey boys open fire on them. Hold on one minute, I just gotta go on my head for a second. Yeah. It's very so important I think about okay. something. I'm not snitching, I'm just back in this story, mate. Yuri has not... long arms on. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yuri is a doctor, and he should be doing his job. He is? Oh my god. Know who all right. should be doing the job. All right, all right, Lou, you have my you have my full attention. That's okay. That's okay. You have my full attention Yuri, now. I need your help. <laughs> okay, Yuri, the disrespect. Because the uh, the governor asked me what was going on. Because uh, yeah, these men were just hanging around. We're having a bit of a friendly fight out here in the courtyard. Yeah, um, Yuri, do your job. I think your boys rolled up, and they wanted one of their friends. And uh, Mr. Marcus, he and Harry was telling the gentleman. Which Hello. Away. Excuse right. me, sir. I'm gonna to have to ask you to take that long arm off your back. Of course, uh, I was only meant to be here a second, but I can't get in the sheriff's office to uh, pay my bill. Oh, my ears. Go sort it out. I'll talk to you after about it. All right. Let, let's. Yeah, I'll get get that done. I'll come back. Thank you. Call me, partner. I'm the newly appointed sheriff. Ah, nice oh. to meet you. I am. I'll get you in there. Thank you. I am uh, Tatsu. I'm a uh, Rhodes gunsmith. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, George Hughes, at your service. Ah, pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Actually, I think I gave you cigarettes the other day. That... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was, uh... I was, uh, working as security for the darkness on my time off, and, uh... Yeah, I was just, you know... Just... The, th you know, the thing that was really keeping me going was just, yeah, getting some cigarettes, so it was appreciated. Oh, I, I can imagine. Yes, I... I grew about 300 of them and haven't been able to get rid of them, so... Oh! Alright, come on in. Yeah, take your time. It's just the, uh, the gentleman in the suit over there. What are you doing Thank in you. here? I'm just coming in to sit down. I have some complaints to make. Fine! Alright, as soon as this fellow's paid his fines, I'll listen to all of them. Thank okay, you, sir. Okay, I'm all good. Oh, oh, dude. All good. Thank you. Alright, no worries. Thank you, Tatsuo. Yeah, you pay them fines. Yeah, don't, don't. Tax evade. Oh, and if you have any questions about guns and ammo and discounts and stuff like that, bulk ammo, it, my post ID is 31. 31, Tatsuo. Oh, I have a question. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got any for free? Uh, um, I'll take that as a no. You might have to steal them. Oh, wait. No, Shit. don't steal stuff. See, look at uh, this. bloke's trying to fucking solicit thieving, mate. Oh, Lock shit. him up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Lock him up, he's trying to thief. I'm nah, going to right. step out slowly now. Alright. I'm just gonna I'm Just gonna lock the door real quick, just so people don't bust in. Alright, alright partner. What so what's your name? What can I do for you? James. Nice to meet you, James. My name's Sheriff George Hughes. What's 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 going on? Nothing. I just wanted to hang out with you because you're an upstanding citizen, mate. The rest of them, they all bully me and beat me. What? Why do they? Why do they treat you like that? Because I got a big mouth and I can't fight. Well, I guess I I gave this bit of advice to someone today. Well, you know, it's it's very simple, little bit of wisdom. You got to know when to pick your battles. True, but I'm stubborn. So, oh. <laughs> they, they sort of, like, conflict. Yeah. Well, what, what do you do with your spare time, James? I just walk around talking shit, mate. Well, have you ever thought of directing that energy into a a job? 
Hell no. If I'm going to go do any work, no offense, law man, I'm going to go be an outlaw. That, that's not a job. If it pays. Not legitimately. That's, that's crime. That's true. But it pays better than legit. You told me you make 33 cents an hour. Do I? I don't know. Was that you? Probably one of my boys. Yeah, we, we, we make something like that. That's outrageous. You should be paid more. We we don't have an infinite pile of money. We don't have like a pile of gold underneath the floorboards that we can just dip into whenever we want. We, we only get a certain amount of money from the government. You know what you need? What? You need a union to represent you boys. You're underpaid. You're understaffed. You're underappreciated. I'll be your union head. Look, if people want to go to the governor... And request that the law department gets more funding. Fantastic. But as far as I see it, it's the, the challenge for me is, as the new sheriff is I need to be getting new recruits so that we have uh, more yeah, numbers. You, got right here. you need me. So hey, are why you are you eavesdropping on this conversation? <laughs> that guy. Who the fuck's eavesdropping? The that dude ran away. Gentleman in a red plaid shirt run away back there behind me. What is he's, wrong with he's these even people? more annoying than me. Well, at least you're up front about it, James. That fella, he's hides in the shadows like a snake. Yeah, he got kicked out of town like 10 minutes ago for killing locals. Jesus Christ. Red shirt, you say? Yeah, red. but he's back there. Yeah, red plaid hat and shirt. Well, look, I'm, I'm one of them old farmer style. Well, you go sort him out, mate, but just keep in mind, if you need any deputies, I'm your man. You just said you don't want a job. I do, if it's working for you, but no other jobs. Well, yeah, look, if... Okay, in the in the telegram station, do you know how to apply for jobs? No, but if you just um, swear me in here and now, we'll call I, it even. I, I can't do that, partner. you got to go through the telegram station. You have to apply... To become a lawman and then you become a recruit and then you go do some training with the rangers like this one here down in new austin for a time and then you can yeah. um tra transfer to the west department here all right i'll keep that in mind i'll stop bothering you about being a deputy then we 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 are in dire need of new recruits so i would definitely suggest you strongly consider it and then if you, right. if you feel the need yeah sign up with the rangers do some training there and then you come up you do the rest of your training with me and then you're a West Lord Department member along with the rest of us. I like the sound of that. I'll inquire about it. I'll leave you alone now. I pr no. Feel free to come bug me anytime, James. I'm here to serve the lawmen and the people. Good man. That's the spirit. That's what I like to hear. Oh, I'm trying to earn that sheriff's badge. Yeah, you should be sheriff. I'll, I'll, you know, if we vote for it, you got my vote. I appreciate that. But however it goes, it goes. But you have a good night, all right, James? You too, sir. No worries. <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> Jesus! He's got a good voice. He's got, like, a, you can tell he's got a good, like, um, a good, vibrant, bubbly personality, I think. Sounds like a good vibe. Lou, haven't forgotten you. Right. You're all right, mate. Let's, all right. Let's go in private. Sounds good. Um, Tenant Hughes, oh. I need I need to speak to Yao too uh, as yeah. soon as possible, please. All right. Speak to you as well. Hey, please. All right. Let's, let's, let's uh, lead let's on. Let's go somewhere. All right. Uh, here's, fine. here's fine or wherever, but it's it's this is serious. <laughs> I think if I think it's what I think it's about, yeah, it's I'm gotta actually... be. It's gotta be, partner. If if y'all y'all or something, y'all give me indication here that you might know. I've cause... been looking for you since Rhodes Bank. <laughs> oh, it it just spiraled from there, Lou. I'm yeah. so sorry. I didn't I didn't okay. meet you with the agency, partner. We I, okay. there was a man that I had to bring here that was killing, uh, robbing doctors. Please, gentlemen. Jeez. Okay. doctors come to me and um, told me Mr. Calderon Wiles is alive. That's what I'm coming to talk to you about. Yeah, I just got a telegram yeah. from Miss Wheeler. 
Yes. I have a photo. He was at the uh, the Rhodes Bank just right. before you left. You remember how I said I was taking a photo of your horse? Yes. I wasn't. I was taking a photo of him. He was. He was. Where was he? He was standing towards the church. Uh, I heard Phoenix say, "Cow is that cow?" Hey, and he's like, he was talking back to Phoenix, and I was like, "Okay, I need to take a photo. I'm not this pain in the ass again." I've already sent this guy out of Blackwater for killing locals. People reckon um, they saw him with Jeb in Strawberry yesterday. Jeb. Yeah. Interesting. Like Jeb and was so in a lot of trouble. We responded to a uh, uh, someone who just tried to Valentine. Uh, we found we found Miss Goldsworth at uh, the graves. Um, she didn't want to uh, mention who she was with, but basically what had happened was. Uh, Mr. Walt oh, was assaulted by her friend. Gunshots. What the fuck is happening over there? Parkinson's is in trouble. You might want to help him. Bye. Hey, what's going on? What's happening? His bounty has been dropped. What the you hell is this? If you want, give me a reason. Hang on, what's uh, going on? Calm down. He's Come trying to... for a warrant. He's kidnapping, hey, man. Hey, hey, He's hey, kidnapping. Come here for back, a warrant. Get back, brother. Get back, brother. Who's coming for a warrant? Man. I don't like get your strappy back, shirt. Warrant's a mistake. Get back, brother. This guy looks like he escaped from jail. Travel here for a warrant, boys. What warrant? Yeah, that's a mistake. Would it's that cool. be the same warrant that uh, your good friend over there, Ivan Steele, has? I don't know anything about that, mate. There's a nice... Want to post her up on our board for Mr. Steele for Escape and Siska. We're not Steele. And our warrants have been cleared into West. Yeah, but the guy in the top hat over there is. Oh, wait, which one's in the top hat? Oh, that guy over there. He's Ooh, with the raccoon not... hat. Yeah, he's not us. He's the bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah, he also has a, uh, oh, that's... A, a nice want to post her up for him. What the fuck is going on? I, my eyes are deceiving me with... Horses that are not there. Oh, one way or the other. This is a fucking shit show. Hey, so, so fucking, so what's going on here? Who the, who, they, so they what's just, going on? They're coming for a while. Like all right, look, I'm going to put my weapon away. I told you, hey, I ain't listen, got no warrant no more. Put my weapon away. Do the, do the <laughs> courtesy, <laughs> gentlemen, and lower yours, okay? I, I think everyone, everyone's not going to shoot fucking hell, okay? So what, where, where does this jurisdiction come from? What's what's going on? Right. Close. Roads. Yeah. What 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 jurisdiction yeah. do y'all have coming out of roads arresting folk? Oh well, yeah, man, we're bounty eyes. We we don't fucking we're free to go where we want, mate. What? You, there's a law saying I can't you, cross the border. You you fucking run through the sheriff's party. You don't just you don't just come up and and cause a, a fucking ruckus right in front of the government building. Y'all, if y'all bounty hunters, you have some fucking respect. If you you're so free to come through jurisdictions. Because we, 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 we earn the respect of other folk to come into jurisdictions. Oh, oh you're I'm, I'm not bound by jurisdictions, yeah, man. Gonna, yeah. Okay, well, so have some respect if y'all want to continue your business without it being unlawful. Okay? Y'all y'all welcome to, to collect bounties. But, uh, you know, gentlemen, come on. Let's have some class. Come on. It's Blackwater. Right, everyone fucking move on if y'all business is finished. We're gonna get you, boys. We're gonna get you. Marcus, you take those bounties down. One day, thank you, boys. Failed You're safe again. Get you boys. Safe again for this one. Well handled, yeah, sheriff. Safe again I'm this sorry, one. Hughes. No, I. There's so many fucking people here. I didn't even know where to <sighs> fucking I can't begin. Go no fucking no. one day without y'all making friends. Apparently. What do you mean? Let... <sighs> oh, I'm glad you are. Shit. All right. Ask some questions. Shall we? Well, I'm just glad none of y'all got no, error. That's no, a got government error. error of that bounty too. Uh, that uh, which bounty is it? So After I'm the Yuki brothers. That should one... be there. Fuck it. <sighs> and the one with that top hat that was trying to help these hillbilly looker ones is yes, Ivan Steele. He is definitely on my fucking desk. I, I definitely have seen that. We so we've got we've Steel. got two two rival yeah. posses uh, trying to collect each other at the front of the governor's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. 
Open up some traps like a some highway man. I'm saying no to the governor. I have to go have a yeah, meeting. That's why. All right, everybody, Somehow calm down. They've moved on. Going in there. They've Somehow left town. He keeps uh, following Lou around. All right. It's all taken care of, everybody. Money. You can return home. Mm -hmm. What do you mean return home? I don't have a home. Do you know how much it costs for rent? Where do you sleep? <laughs> I sleep right in a tent. Here. Not on my fucking street, you're not With sleeping. The there's, there's a tent oh, no. just like oh, this no. is a very comfortable floor. Uh, Yuri, are you tired? Oh, no, God. actually, I'm wide awake. You know, I just talked to someone <laughs> about you rent sleep, in the Yuri. East, and they told me it would cost a thousand dollars a week. I'm not fucking buying a house and paying a thousand dollars a week. You know what I mean? Just you can all move along and stop pretending you're the Valentine militia. What do you What do you mean, militia? There's doctors right here. <laughs> I'm counting three non-doctors. How do you know I'm not a doctor? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, treating this one for. I think he's being uh, racist. Sorry, are people just not allowed to exist in Blackwater anymore? I, I'm, I'm... Is hey, so always with me, me and then. Oh, doctor. look, there's a good rock over there <laughs> I can talk to. My doctor. I, I'm Zoe's doctor, so. It's <laughs> good. Finally meet you. Alright, Mr. Hughes, sorry, I've sent the other I lost brain away. cells talking to some of these fucking people. Yeah, I've been here a night and Hello. I feel dumb already. Um, so, I've removed the other deputies because of sensitive information. I'm going to show you gentlemen both a photo. Right. Doddy Godsworth came into Rhodes with Gowder and Wiles. I know it was Cal because he came up to Phoenix, Montana, and Phoenix was like, hey, Cal. And then they went off to talk. Now, I'm going to show you a photograph. Okay. Just one moment. <laughs> what now? That's that guy. Sheriff's Department. Did, did you just get killed by that local? You got killed by <laughs> you Listen, I, 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 I mistaked I mistaked my horse for his horse, and then he shot me in the face. It was honest mistake. You absolute <laughs> fucking dried up grape. Jesus. <laughs> One way of it that was it's, vicious. He's a, he's a raisin, mate. He's already, he's already down, man. Just just let him go. He's already on the ground. You don't need to bury the man. No, I need to talk. So. If he dies to a local, I don't know. Uh, Yuri, Louise, are you going to have to take care of it if you want? I'm, I'm completely out of stock. I, I, tried to, I tried to set him with a knife, but, but the horse was in the way. <laughs> so I that too, know. I think. Oh, my brain is exploding here. Hell the fuck. Um, oh, well, he's Terrence, can I speak with you? Yeah, oh, how many times has this though. fella been warned? Miss Kane, can I speak with you as well? Uh, I've warned him at least once. Am I in trouble? I need to take care of him. Doing anything. What do you mean? This might be at least his third time being warned. Jesus Christ. I, what's yeah. his name? Uh, not sure on that one, sir. He's... It's first day in county, he says. Oh, Yuri, did you want to take I'm surprised I don't see any green. Not going to it. He's at least got some flesh. For what? Well, I didn't... I was I mean, shot. Jack, no uh, yes. Jack, I got to get back times. to that meeting. Um, you, you, you make the call, but if you need it, you have this in your back pocket. Yeah, for the rest yeah, of the night, for the next 12 hours, I give permission for anyone in Blackwater to hogtie this man and leave him out on the outskirts every time okay. he comes in and calls yeah, a problem. Why? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm back. That's right. It's that. Uh, 
guy in the red's been. I, I just gave permission to Harkness that if he needs to, I give permission to every local of Blackwater over the next 12 hours. If he comes in, calls a promotion, anyone has the authority to hog tie him and drag his ass up to the outskirts and leave him there. I've already removed him. I put him on a. I grabbed him, hog tied him, said, mate, I'm telling you to calm down and get out of Blackwater and stop killing locals. Yeah, no, I think Jack's going to put him in a cell or something else, right. and I've given him that if he needs that in his back pocket. Fuck that guy. All there right. you go, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> hey, yeah. let me have a fucking look. You're yeah, right. The gentleman in the middle is Calvin. We're gonna. I'm gonna whisper here. Actually, I was gonna say, you, you gentlemen want to go on my boat? Just to ensure our safety. Sure. I, I, I'm easy. Yeah. Oh dear. Uses. Uh, I think. I think. Yeah. Not the this best. Is, uh, this is my here. biggest fear, partner, and uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, we 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 have been. Uh, yeah, we we've, we've been brave, partner. Security, the security of uh, the governor's office and all that that's breached. Uh, that yeah, no, that's there's so many fucking red flags. They just need to put one on the fucking rooftop over there to make it fucking yeah. final. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I, how does w how does word get around that a man died? But the doctors just let it happen, and there's no death certificate or anything. How the I fuck does that happen? I don't understand happen? it. I don't understand it because the other day, what what popped up? What popped up? Mortuary. Death certificate. For some fucking random gentleman. Fucking, I don't even know who. You know what I mean? So so that there, that there was... It just... Is it the fucking doctors compromised? That, that's... I... I can't. I don't think I could deal with that. Sorry, I'm very paranoid. No, you're right, Potter. I agree to this. This is a good idea. How do I sit down? I think about E. Oh. Can you hear me up there, Wolf? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good. Absolutely. Dude, I don't have to yell. I've done a lot of yelling today. Two names have been brought to my attention over the past week. And basically, when me and Mr. King went to went to Valentine, it, it just painted it painted the picture. Really, it really did. And then after now talking to y'all, talking to Miss Wheeler, it's just it makes makes perfect sense. But uh, basically, uh, you know, two names, Mr. Lores. I was just thinking that. Yeah. And yeah. it pains me to think like that, it does. but yeah, something don't feel mind. right. Exactly. Well, Cynthia said that uh, she spoke to Dolores and the governor put a hold on the death certificate. The governor was the second name that got brought to attention as well yeah. for the block. Wolf and I called this a while ago. We said, we were, I mean, St. Denis, how we're talking in the park. Mm -hmm. We're talking in front of Melisandre. Um, we said that we're not going to believe anything until we see a uh, death mm -hmm. certificate. Now, this is what my theory is, okay? All this was over a gun. Calden oh, fucking body. hell. Yeah. When so I had Calden that meeting with him, that was one of the main things he brought up. Can we get yeah. Dottie's fucking gun back? I said, fuck it. No. Fuck off. So this is my theory. He's shot at Tessa for his gun, for the department. They shot him. He's, uh... He's, he hasn't passed away. And Dottie, he used... That fucking sit down I had with him as an excuse to go hard on the on the east. Yeah, fucking and bastard. Dottie playing the grieving ex girlfriend or whatever ex partner gets her gun back as a remembrance for Cowden. Yeah, I was there. I was there in the office when mm -hmm. uh, the governor and uh, herself had walked walked through to ask and. Miss Miss Tasha blew blew up at him and, and asked uh, you know for some fucking conversation which you know was fair you know it's a it, you know it was a gun that, that I, I I think some terms and conditions were were made too as well with the, with the East Side Department at the time uh, for a side arm not a not a long arm I think so uh, fuck I I got another piece of the puzzle for you boys that I'm really fucking concerned about. I spoke to so. Frank about this earlier. Lou, do you remember when I met with you at that barn after the meeting with Caldern about how he mentioned yep. that these gangs have, like we report to the governor, these gangs report to someone as well? 
Yep. Who the fuck was that 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 guy in the corner at the law meeting yesterday whispering in the governor's ear? I was not there. There was I a guy, know. I thought he was, I assumed he was a marshal someone. Long, like, grey coat, big grey hat, like, grey, long hair, beard. He, no idea who the fuck he was, but he was whispering shit in the governor's ear. And he let, he robbed real quietly, he left real quietly. Actually, I just, so I can't help but think that maybe this is the same person. Was it a greenish, grey coat? I'd say, yeah, greenish, grayish. I didn't get a good look. I just assumed he was a marshal. He was a, a the, the far right back corner wolf at the meeting, sitting next to the governor. Because I saw him in St. Denis a couple of weeks ago looking for Marcus Dunn. Was he standing near that kind of bookcase there on the right hand of the... I think I do remember yeah, seeing this gentleman. Yeah, but governor's in the, in the left, our right. Yes, that's right on the chair there what and so you're saying he was looking for marcus dunn marcus dunn you yeah. know who's fucking cozy with marcus dunn lately mr Lawrence. Uh, yep when after she broke shuba's heart i think they're together to be honest oh this ain't this oh this god yeah mm -hmm. yeah this has got more spots on it to connect the dots than a dalmatian puppy that's right. never i never asked Dolores about what happened with shuba and her Shuba's just, still fucking, like he. I was with him and Miss Wheeler the other day, and he, he, you could tell it still hurts him. Oh, I bet, I bet. Look, you know, I thought it was, you know, never my business to ask her what happened, even though she's one of my closest friends. But uh, after hearing about the doctor's certificate, I wanted to uh, confront her about it. But as far as she knows, I'm no longer a Pinkerton. So. Ask uh, Cynthia to uh, let me know any more information that she gets. I had asked her, um, maybe going on near near a week and a half ago now. Uh, I was walking through through Blackwater, coming up down from uh, Cooking, and and there was Mr. Lores in a wagon, a big uh, big Navy wagon, you know. And I said, "Oh, you you in the you're in the forces, you know." And uh, anyway. Uh, it was when uh, you know I asked the uh, I asked the question, you know, uh, when, when we were going to see that death certificate, and uh, your response was, uh, "Oh, the, uh, the the people who help uh, you know print that they're, uh, they're they're going on strike at the moment." Hmm. That's that's what I got. How the fuck does that happen? That, A whole printery no, goes on strike? No. And then and then for example, that's what I, that's what I bring up the other day is. Or some random gentleman dies and and is is has a death certificate the same day. Exactly. That uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Sounds so. What so? What are we looking at? Compromised doctor's office. Compromised governor's office. I don't know. To be honest, I feel that this is happening under the governor's nose, but I'm not too sure. I don't. I don't know, partner. I, I don't know. To me, to me, there's 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 too much here that that's connecting way too many fucking people. Yeah. Um. You know, and uh, to have, you know, this this big speech of yeah, we're you know help help you know criminals reform, and then you know has one that has actually broken out of Cisco, uh, you know, which has then led to, you know, a, many lies, many lies. So. We, I, don't, I don't know where we where the fuck do we go from here gentlemen like do we do we walk in and uh do we do we arrest the governor on suspicion oh we, we gotta have we gotta have so much to back that we we you know yeah i think i think we need we need to uh we need to grab the pinkertons and we need to grab i don't know maybe marshall ames that's the, that's the only man i would trust uh with with anything I, I just don't know. I don't know where we, where do we go from here, gentlemen. I've spoken to Marshall Ames privately, away from the governor, and he's not too happy about Dottie being the uh, personal assistant. So what do we do here? I mean, you know, re-election coming up. It it seems that he gonna have more more than enough people voting. Uh, you know, so it's you know. 
I think that might be rigged also. So what are we going to do here? What, what can we do? Well, I, I feel like any time any of us has a meeting one-on-one -on -one with the governor or any interaction, if anything doesn't add up, we note it down and we, we share it with each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just over time. So, and Lou, I, I mentioned this to Frank as well. Next yeah. time we have a law leadership meeting, you know, if Frank's present at the meeting, maybe you wait outside. And if you can yeah. spot this gray green coat, creepy ass looking motherfucker. Yeah. See if you can tail him and fight or I don't know, go under disguise, grab him, question him. I don't know, whatever you've. Th that's what all you I've got out? to go off. What did you reach out to him, Hughes? Um, well, maybe you know, as as the West, you know, as the West new sheriff, you know, it make it make sense that you know you reach out, you know, you want to chat to the governor, you know, to just see, you know, how the first week went. Say, for example, let's maybe let's wait it out a week, a few more, yep. few days, get some more information. You know, hopefully, tenant can grab some more photos. Um, you know, because you know we still need to uh, do our part and uh, keep it look like you know we're investigating other things, Mr. Hughes. Yeah. So if you can, if you can reach out to him after we have, you know, a few few days under our belt, maybe uh, maybe we could we could organize that meeting and be, maybe it's just Pinkertons, sheriffs, you know, and the governor. Because what, what what did he say he wanted to do those big meetings monthly? That's right. So that's we got right. a month until the next one. So yeah, I can being you know just a building away, I can be pressing him at least once a week to try and get. Any indication of what the hell's going on before then? So the next meeting, next big meeting for the heads of the department. How much damage are they going to do, though, gentlemen, in a month? It's true, but I just, what we I, do... When else are we going to see the governor and this mystery man in the same place? Yeah. To get me in, I'm going to have to pose as one of your deputies and just tell them that I'm one of your seniors, make up a fake name, and I can listen in, listen in and sit in there. For uh, the west side or the east side? Either one. As long as I can get into that meeting. Watch you what's are, going on. If, oh, you, if you need to be fucking east deputy, senior commander, deputy, fucking under sheriff, uh, tenant on the east side one day, and then you need to be, uh, you know, under sheriff west, you know, the next <laughs> half ranger. Y'all, y'all do what you gotta do, partner. Fucking exactly. giddy up. Frank's already at those monthly meetings. Frank yes. is, but Frank's also chief inspector. I'm just a de I'm just a detective. He goes right. detective, uh, inspector, chief inspector. So I'm at the bottom of the ranks at the moment. But uh, what do you need to do that Frank couldn't do in the meeting? No, I'm just saying to keep an eye on that gentleman in the uh, the coat that you're talking about. All right. So I pose as one of your sheriffs or deputies and i sit in that meeting and my whole job is to see what that what that guy's doing frank can't do that he can that's just less for frank that's for frank to worry about but up to you it's up to you but we just got to make it the most smoothest process that we can exactly. for ourselves you know that's the main thing you know but uh, at the same time, I, I don't know how much time we should give them, gentlemen. You know, we, we almost have, we basically have enough evidence now to go forward, uh, you know, and, and be, you know, start collecting some folk because, you know, we're going to start getting statements. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, at least that's something that while the Pinkertons, you know, could probably do that. Um, you know, then we can still focus on our jurisdictions, use. Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep we busy still, and look that's busy. Right. That's right. We still got a lot to do. Still got a lot to do. Jesus Christ, yeah. cleaning yeah. up the streets and and the government. I also think it's our second we, day. Before we do start going after the governor, keep in mind that we need a lot of proof because he do. may be innocent, and they may be doing it under his nose, but. If we miss anything, we are done. Yeah, we are. We are. We'll we are. have. We got... We'll get fucking hunted dead. We'll have to go live in the fucking mountains or something until. Honestly, I, I could see ourselves being based in YPD, being forced to, uh, you know, learn, you know, basic law and, uh, you know, love for the everything all over again. That's if That's we're not why... getting buried out. Well, that's if buried we're not in hung. the desert with scorpions yeah. or something. That's why yeah. we need to do this properly. Every one yeah. of us needs to do this properly. We need as much evidence as we can. And we don't just go in guns blazing. 
We take the no. slow approach to this. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't think of anything else. So the governor seems a bit odd now and then, but apart from just that guy in his ear at that meeting, I, I haven't experienced any, and just seeing Dottie. Now he- The only thing, yeah, the only thing I've noticed, like, is just, you know, when he fires off, you know, he's been firing off a lot. You know, I know he's under a lot of stress, but, you know, even just with, uh, you know, things that, that he's promised, well, not, he's told, you know, department members, you know, yes, you will be getting X amount of money, you know, Y amount of money, but then, yeah, he, he got really angry about that for some reason. Yeah. He's... Oh, just, yeah, he's so fixated on, gotta win the next election, gotta win the next election, no, no matter the cost. Is there anyone even going up against him? Oh, hold on, I just had an idea. Yep. There, there was a time before I left for Boston that other week, I was uh, with Miss Miss Wheeler in the in Blackwater here, and the, the governor was stumbling through the town drunk because uh, the uh, the lawyer from that court case a month ago, uh, Hernandez or something, was uh, giving him lots of tequila or something. What if... What if... We feigned, you know, faked a, you know, oh, we, you know, it's been a week of new sheriffs and this, and, you know, coming in with all these successes, and we get him, we get him fucking drunk, so drunk, he, loose lips sink, pardon the pun while we're out on the water, loose lips sink ships. Exactly. What? What? Would that work? <laughs> and... We could bring, uh, we could bring Miss Wheeler or and or uh, Miss Louisa Hart. Taco know. Tuesday, Hughes. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. We we get him fucking grinning fucked. with tacos. We get him drunk as fuck. We butter him up with the yes. the ladies from the doctors. Oh, and then, this is good. And then we just see if he then we then we start just we talk about our jobs and such. And the you stresses know, of it, and yes. the pressure he must be under, and just see what he says. I think there's gonna be a lot of folk uh, down there for Taco Tuesday. How the hell are we going we gonna get him in a you know in a conversation with that folk? Do you think you know, I, someone should try and rile him up? Uh, I heard he likes to uh, he likes to he likes to drive cars, or he not like to. Drive well, cars? Mr. Ames isn't around. Last week I was uh, I was no not last week last Tuesday I was chauffeuring his. Uh, Cart, his wagon down to Taco Tuesday. I mean, what's what you know? What's what's you know? Why don't we get in his ear, Hughes, and you know? Oh, it must be stressful, you know. And uh, you know, how about how about you know me, you, just the sheriffs, you know? Maybe maybe just we'll we'll go out for a quiet drink up uh, up on the hill somewhere, you know, and, I got, and celebrate. I got one better for you. Go last Taco Tuesday, because I was still running security with the doctors. William Seliger, because uh, Miss Wheeler had a bit too much to drink, he he took Miss Wheeler and I out to a hidden underground bar near Armadillo. Oh, fantastic! It's complete. Fantastic. You know the one, Lou? Yep. We could take. We sure. could. Uh, we could. You know, we've enjoyed the time at Taco Tuesday. He's had a bit of a dance with Dolores and whatnot. He's, you yeah. know, he's feeling good. And we say, so we'd really love to just have a quiet word with you. Oh. Oh, he was over perfect. in the over in the private bar. It's just down the road. We could take your wagon. It just just the just the like law. It's a like the law leadership meeting, but it's just casual, you know. Perfect. That's He's that's that's great. Dotty and Sage with him though. That's the thing for Taco Tuesday. He will have them too with him. How do we? How do we get them? Well, it's it's you know it's just the gentleman you know it's a gentleman's celebration mm, you know yeah come on ladies you know we're just, we're just gonna have you know we we want our governor just for just, just the boys. For a few moments just the gentlemen's you know we've we've done a lot of work together you know and we deserve to just be men you know we want to swear you know we want to you know take our vests off and you know stuff like that. We could uh, we could ask. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what we could do? We could, Woodman could probably steal his wagon or something with the with the assistance in it. Woodman, Woodman, That's Woodman perfect. probably do it without asking, but Woodman could do something to cause a scene, distract him, or, or the, uh, I imagine Miss Wheeler and Miss uh, Louisa, they could help us uh, 
keep the keep them busy while we clear up. But I think I think just you know the fact, I think playing on oh it's just a, a gentleman's cigar. That's right. Share a That's cigar right. with the gentleman, sir. That's right. That's right. <sighs> so uh, remember, Mister Wolf, that spot that I showed you in Armadillo, that grow spot. Yes. Yes. There's a. Yeah, to the left of that in the shack on, underneath there. That was yeah. uh, actually where, where I told Miss Wheeler when uh, her and the doctors came down, out, down to New Austin. Uh, they, they, were, uh, they were worried for their safety uh, because they were, they were attacked to Blackwater. Uh, and, um, yeah, that was, that was one of the places I told them to go. It was one of the most safest places there and there. Uh, okay, all right. Well, I guess more than ever, gentlemen, we need to all stick together. Um, yep. I think we're we're really carving out a, a, a good path for the future. Um, we're already, you know, doing really good, I feel. Sounds good. All, yeah, some, all uh, things considered, yeah. not a bad second. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. If you guys can please give me this, some of this information in writing, I can add it to our reports, just so that Frank is aware. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, uh, I'll write you up something, partner. Sounds good. The more I have on writing, the more proof we have, the more we can go in hard. I'm, exactly. I'm just trying to be absolutely sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Hernandez fellow was giving the governor just lots of... Was it tequila? Pretty sure just... He just kept feeding him tequila shots and the governor just could not resist. Which one? The, uh, the lawyer? The lawyer, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was one day just in the Blackwater office that they were, uh... Over at the governor's building, um, he just, they were, they were spending time together and he just kept feeding him tequila shots. And then, yeah, the governor, next thing I know, the governor's stumbling around Blackwater drunk, vomiting. Uh, he could not, he could not resist. I think the uh, governor he may be a bit of an alcoholic. Really loves the Taco Tuesday. I do know that. He really bangs on the Taco Tuesday. He'll be, he'll be on cloud nine. Oh, and then yeah. you just hear dr a drink here and there. Just keep. You know, sir, oh, we such a lovely time we're having. Have a dance. Oh, here's another drink, sir, please. So I guess while they're celebrating Taco Tuesday, we'll be calling this Tactical Tuesday. <laughs> oh. All right. Tenant. I'm glad you put your, bad, put your back on, partner. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this coming Tuesday night, we need to stock up on alcohol. Probably have some water handy. Get some extra tacos so he's got something yep. solid in his belly as well. And then yeah, we uh yeah, we all wear where, where the shack is. Yep. We get down there, you know, get get the spirits high, get him having fun, and then and then we lay it on him. You know, so we'd love to just have a private cigars drink just with the gentleman. We know a quiet spot. It's a great Oh, sir, you'll love it. It's his great little rustic bar. You'll love it. Oh, also, keep in mind the fact that Sage Benya was found lacerated behind the uh, gun store gun store in Valentine. Ugh. Cuts and bruises to her. She has a scar above, scar above her left eye. And the governor and Dottie found her. Really? Yeah. I was there in Valentine when they found her. Do you think this well, is connected somehow? Has that been reported? Uh, yes, I've actually I've been doing a report about it. Okay. I'm adding it into everything. So I've taken a bunch of photos at the moment. And like I said, I've just gotten my... Hang on. I've just gotten my badge back. So I'm going to be writing one big report. Okay, all right. If you ever need a safe box for those photos I have a spot that I can show you yep sounds okay. good that's just if you ever need it so with pressing him here you gave him high spirits and what you think what we're just gonna lay it straight on him hey this is what we're fucking hearing clear it up rocking right now uh -huh. I think as a last resort, we can rely on that. But I think if we uh, if we keep feeding him enough alcohol throughout the night, and then might um, even get upset and confess everything. That's what we Break just break him down. With each drink, you know, we just keep 
You know, the more yeah. we open up with our own challenges with our jobs. Yeah. And we yeah. really play on, well, your job must be even harder, Governor. And just, we, we, we tiptoe in. But then, but then, like you boys, if it gets to the point where he's not saying anything, the alcohol's not making him talk more. Like, if you feel like we need to change tactics or oh, anything, I'm I, open I, to I, it. I actually think that, that you're right, partner, that, you know, by every drink, every story, you know, by then coming in after, but, but, oh, but the governor's job, this and that, would be so much harder to do. I think you're right, partner. And just, he might not say anything outright, but he might just give just enough of a hint of something for us to go off. But also to make it believable, we're going to have to be very careful with how much we drink as well. Look, I've... We, I'm not a drinker, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get some empty... We're going to do this attack on Tuesday. I'll get myself some... Uh, I'll have to talk to the bartender and make sure that it's water that uh, we're only fed. What I'll do is I'll bring some labels. I'll label the water bottles with vodka. <laughs> and then we just drink away, boys. Because that'll, that'll make him feel at ease as well, knowing that we're drinking with him. And maybe act a little, you know, uh, slur your words a little bit. And uh, oh, well, Let's actually enjoy ourselves. Oh, let's yeah. have one. Let's have the one drink. You know, that might even get us a little bit, you know, amped up too. Yeah. Because I'm as nervous as hell about this. I, I don't know. You know, we gotta be, we got to make sure too, gentlemen, that our safety as well. Because people are going to start uh, asking questions. Oh, well, Our safety God. and our jobs are on the line here. And, yeah. and how people talk. Literally, they they see Miss Wheeler and I do like do literally anything together, and the next thing, the whole country's talking about how we're getting married. Get yeah, and it's it's like that's just that. But if people get wind of this, it's we 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 may find ourselves living in a cave for a time. Yeah, yeah. At the, at the moment, you know, all of our people need us more than anything. Um, all three of us, you know, because. Yeah, tenant, you you you're a big part, you know, in that agency. Yep. And uh, you know, we rely on y'all as well, and then therefore, you know, the townsfolk for us, you know, it's just one big circle. But we need to fucking weed all all of this fucking just dark fucking corruption out of here. Exactly. Um. Mm. Oh, it just oh. doesn't feel right. It Something doesn't. does not it feel doesn't. right. And Hughes, how, how, how did, did did they did did anybody talk to you about sheriff position, or did the governor just say no? It's it's you. Did did he write you a letter? He wrote me a letter. Well, ba basically, it was it was it was orders. It was it was not orders, but it was it was basically you know, um, you know, it's over to the east you go. Essentially. That's where you're well, I he he got wind that I needed to take my leave of absence because I was, you know, dealing with a, a bunch of other things that was keeping me busy, and so then he was actually Miss Wheel has been actually very transparent. He's actually been onto her, where now she she was needing to get assurance from him that doctors were going to be looked after, but then he needed assurance that I was going to come back. So they essentially made a, a little deal where he said, "Look, I will see to putting out posters raising awareness about doctor security." And, and respect, but he was basically saying, I need you to ensure that George Hughes comes back, whatever it takes. And so we had a good laugh at that, that, you know, she would use her womanly charms to convince me, but I said, no, it's fine, I'll do it anyway. So there was that, that, that was happening over the week, the, la the last week, and then we ran into each other in Valentine. He pulled me aside and he basically told me that, you know, we got that meeting coming up. You ready for that and everything? And, you you know, how you feeling? And he said, well, look, you know, he said, I'm playing with these ideas. What if I made you the uh, the sheriff of the West? That, that was essentially how he dropped it on me. Well, at least you got the, you had the conversation and I woke up to a letter. Oh, I just, either... I just keep bumping into it. I can't escape. It. Yeah, no, of course, of course. But either way, you know, well... <laughs> I mean, well, they're fucked up there, Hughes. If uh, if they know what's going on, because uh, yeah, they put uh, one of the two, you know, most hardest sheriffs that they could they could think of in their positions, and uh, yeah, we, we gonna snuff this shit out. What if they? What if it's to keep an eye on us? What if they just want us in a position where we're too busy and they keep an eye? Yeah, on us? I've, I've thought of that as well. I've thought of that. 
this. It would make perfect sense to wedge me out of the west anyway, being so close to uh, Blackwater, if that's where uh, shit's going to be. I, I was expecting a vote to happen. I was I was happy with a vote happening. It's, yeah, I... Yeah. It's, uh... Don't, don't know what to make of it. No, no, neither, neither. You know, there's there's lots of things. I guess um, we have lots of things already that we uh that we're dealing with. But I guess business as usual. Um, I guess uh, Mr. Tennant, you know, thank goodness for the Pinkertons. You know, y'all be able to do a lot of the uh the groundwork on this. You know, while while we are busy, but um, I'll still try to find time to uh you know slip into some different clothing and you know. Have my ear to the ground. Sounds good. I'll see what I can find, though. Um, if I can't get in too deep, then uh, I'm sure Frank can. Yeah. That man is damn shadow. He's probably here right now. <laughs> probably disguises this boat. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, like I said, I'll tell you boys now, I've rejoined back again at the Pinkertons. Obviously, you know that. I'm at the point now, if, if people know, they know. I haven't told anybody outside the departments, but it just is what it is at this point. So, like I said, you guys need anything, you can come to me. You go to Frank, and we're more than happy to help out with whatever you guys need. Yeah, well, yeah that's uh, yeah, absolutely fine. Right. That's the same, same with these. Yeah. yeah. I felt a bit naked without the badge. I bet you did. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good choice. It's Tuesday. We have we have work to do. We do, we do. And it's not too far away either. So uh, let's let's try and be very proactive on uh, not poking too hard, but you mm. know, but uh, at least uh, yeah, start scratching some surfaces. Miss Goldsworth needs to be talked to. Um, I think, gentlemen. Yeah. Oh I God. Think, good uh, luck. It, it can't be me. Uh, based on our history, it can't be no, me. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, we need to find Mr. Tennant and I need to find a way to extract her somehow. Yep. And, um, yeah, it's such a shame I that I didn't have that. this information beforehand because me and Billy King were literally just behind the, the, the church by ourselves with her. We could have just We gone. could get uh, Frank to maybe bring it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could uh, lure her out with a promise that she's getting that rifle back. Mm -hmm. But I think they got it back. I think, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I don't know. How the have, fuck I don't... they get that back? Well, yeah. Grieving yeah, Widow. Oh, yeah, for fucks. Uh... All for a yeah. fucking rifle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just go buy a new one. Or just don't go shooting at people. And you want to know why? You want to know why Caldern nearly beat William Selger to a pulp and threatened Cynthia and other doctors? Just because William told Dottie to please keep her voice down in the street. Jeez. And then Caldern, apparently he just flew off the handle. Near, he could have fucking killed William right there in the street of Blackwater. No, Over I, fucking nothing. Imagine if people took the time to breathe and think about their actions before doing them. To talk I, it, it out with people. Literally, days after I spoke with him. And he gave me every... We shook hands. We had a cigar. He said... Or piss. No piss in the air. No, it's an absolute joke. No fucking honor. But like I've tried no. to explain people, I wasn't guaranteeing that they was telling the truth anyway. I wanted to see their show of force, and we fucking saw it. Don't forget, gentlemen, that Caldern rolled up. There's me under a tree outside Blackwater. There's maybe four, five Lord Department, including a... a I was there. Y yeah, you, was... you were there, and a, a Jeb was there. Literally coming over the, the hillside, over by that ranch, up to 20 fucking horses. Yeah. All wearing black bandanas, black hats, black black horses. The the numbers at Calburn and John Black's disposal is... They, they have us outnumbered. They may, but we have the real power. At the end of the day, I hope so because I... we're we're ten times smarter because we ain't we ain't the ones laying up in an island there hiding away pretending that fucking other folk gonna cover for us. You know we ain't hiding away. We put a badge on them. We walk straight up the fucking middle of the street any day. 
If it comes know. to it, gentlemen, if if we get enough solid documentation and we got a march on the governor's office, I'm I'm right there with you. Yeah. All yeah. Right, yeah. As well. And we and we gonna collect we gonna collect all the deputies, um, you know, all the ones that y'all think in your ranks, everyone, you know, all the deputies. Maybe this is what brings out two, well, your two departments together. To maybe it does. Out. Maybe it does. Maybe this. Maybe this will. Maybe this will show everybody. You know, this is what happens when folk come together. Exactly. Mm. Horrible circumstances, but it is. It if, is. If, if we learn what we're suspecting, it's that it's all true. <sighs> yeah. There's going to be a lot of shit thrown up into the air. All right. So. Yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, scratch the surface, and we'll see how Taco Tuesday goes. Yeah, yeah Have some water idea. ready, fake drinks. Yep. Bring some money, be ready to really ham on, having a good time, having that party, get those... Yep. Get him all having fun, and then we get him... We get him on his own, we... We limber him up with some, with some tequila. If anybody asks, I took you guys out here for a bonding session. <laughs> Two sheriffs. Yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, it was good. And yeah. the price of horses is is just it's the rising. They're rising. And don't get me started, you know, on the beef stew in the general store, because you know, the Raiders kept the good provisions down there. You know, we actually had provisions and provisions. But <laughs> East Side's got that many guns and ammunition. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're gonna sort through all that. That's all right. You guys will get it sorted. Right now, our main focus is evidence. Yeah. As much evidence as you can, send it to me. I'll get whatever I can. Who's Who does report. the governor report to? I'd assume the president. Because if shit goes right. south, that's where this goes. If it, if it doesn't go anywhere around here, it goes up to the fucking president. Would it be the president or the... Maybe, it's, I don't know, is there an attorney general or... I don't know. I don't know, but I guess it goes to Washington one way or another in New York. I, I don't, if, I don't know, do they have the power to just call upon the, like, National Guard or something? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Dogs. Oh. People really watching us? Probably gonna get shot up. So, right. We come back, we start laughing. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> after today, please, you know, give me a reason to have a fucking rest. Fuck me. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh my goodness. But it's been a great day. You know, I've really, I've seen so many people, Mr. Hughes today. It is, you know, a whole town of roads. I, I feel was literally watching me negotiate a bank by myself. Ugh. Oh, I can imagine. Well, I had a really great time with Ato Hinto. I went up oh, to Wapiti with him. Oh, look, I can't wait to see Rio Tinto up, up the east side. Where, where is he from? Oh, up in Wapiti. Uh, yeah, he uh, took me up there, showed me around his camp and everything. Um, what, is he the one selling drugs up there? Because I, I ain't seen no law up there. No, he's, no, he's uh, he's building a sheriff's department as we speak. He's, oh, he's no literally way. building the building. No way. That's, it's a, it's that's looking incredible. really promising. He's so excited to be learning from the two of us and there you go, boys. working together. It's going to be great. Out? I actually, I'd ask, uh, I've got a lot of questions to ask him, too, you know, about, uh... Gentlemen. Hey, Jack. They pull down the rabbit hole. What is it? We need to go to his office now. Been okay. informed of some stuff, that's not good. Okay. What? A missing fear just came and talked to me about something. You guys need to be... With the governor? What's going on? Yeah. Oh, what? Right now? Yeah, she's here now, in the office. She's been waiting for you. Oh, so we would, yeah, we were just having our first oh, of no, this uh, is not good. We are wanting to just have some meetings between the sheriffs just to, to get everything uh, lined up. Yeah, I've been told what's happened now by her. Some other stuff going on. Oh, God. Oh. Apparently a certain man was in... How do I say this? Valentine. Yeah, we oh. went up there, Marcus. Yeah, we were there. Yep, there was a certain man there. Oh, yeah. for fuck's sake. Yeah, when you go, just leave. What's that? Uh, when they talk to Miss Cynthia. Oh, you. Yep. All of us. 
Oh, right. I'll go. Shove. She's told me now what's going on. All right, all right no worries. Hey, we said found him for it. Zandia? Told him I've been informed what's happened. What the fuck are you wearing? Things. Body armor? I think I need to just talk to. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, these gentlemen. Going. Oh, no, they don't know what's happening. Okay. All right. Sorry, gentlemen. I'm if I have could to... just talk to you and Lou and Marcus alone. Okay. It's just a, it's a too many people thing. I think we just need the four of us. Yeah, definitely. Let's keep it as right a whisper. Now I'm just getting feeling a little bit anxious. Yes, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll get the wall out. Stand up here. Sorry, the pacing's helping me feel a bit better. That's okay. I feel like I can't breathe. You got a cigarette? <sighs> I have smoked like ten cigarettes in here. Thank you. Maybe we should huddle a little bit close. So everyone huddle in. Stand towards the uh, uh, middle of the room. He's dirty. Your governor is dirty. He is covering it up. He t he gave me a big warning to stop and to stop poking, stop looking, and it was this whole big conversation. And and he is covering it up. In the Caldern. He is covering it up. Yep. Oh, Caldern. what the he, fuck? He, he tried to say no, but what you think ain't happening. I'm like everyone is investigating this right now. He's dirty. He, the governor is dirty. He's, and he pretty much told me I needed to butt my head out or, you know, vague shit like that. Just quickly, and he basically said that Dolores, I am whispering, Dolores could lose her job is what he said because the death certificate didn't happen and the body went missing. So he's basically threatening me, threatening my boss's job because of me and it, because I've gotten too close. I know I've fi figured it all out. I found Dottie and her person on the ground in Valentine by the graves. And I fixed her up, and Louisa fixed him up, and he couldn't even get his name straight. He kept forgetting his fake fucking name. I saw him today. Both of them, that right. Saw that photo, yeah, and then I, I watched him on the binoculars leaving Valentine as well. And then the governor called me into his office, and I, pretty much to intimidate me into shutting up. Oh my god! Look, okay, just we we're listening, we, okay? We're listening. And so I just and Dottie was in the waiting room while he was interrogating me. Mrs. And he told he told me that he he had just been trying to play God or something. That's interesting, Miss Wheeler. Where and, where do you need to be after this? I just need to be somewhere away and safe, probably Armadillo or something. He doesn't really go down there unless it's tacos. Okay, well, okay. Is there what? Tell we us everything. To, we need to kind of arrest her or something to make it look like you know you know we're, we're thinking that maybe she's talking shit because the governor is overlooking any of us right what, now, I, I could know? take her i could take her at the the back door now oh good yeah and i can take you her can down hog to... time me and arrest me if you want to make a show of it i don't mind uh, yeah. but I, not, need, it... I need somebody who has to send a word to Schuber that i'm i'm not i'm not I, that i'm doing the right thing no they they know we're always going off hunting or you know going off to have a cigarette or something it's uh, let's head out I'll, i could take you at the back door now and I, i'll I'll if take you, you down the to Armadillo. Door, yep, go straight over the alleyway, cross the road into the next alleyway, and uh, yeah, let's see if we get some Yeah, you boys, yeah, you boys, door. you boys, just yeah, get anyone's attention out on the main street. I'll take a, I'll take Cynthia at the back door. We'll get you down to Armadillo, okay? You know what? Wait okay. for me. Let me create a diversion. I'll start shooting up the place. You boys start coming after me, and I'll make my way back to Saint Denis. As soon as I hear shots, I'm right. unlocking that door. Okay. Now, you know what the best thing to do would be. Just leave it at that for now. We've got this under control. Send you me. Two, yeah, you two just get down to fucking no arse. And... To get my ass out of there, by the way, he does now seem to know that there are more people who know arse. information. Good. good. I, I said that if by shutting me up, he can't unsink this ship. Mm -hmm. Someone open the door. He doesn't, he, doesn't, the he doesn't know exactly who, though, right? Okay. Which door? No, he has no idea. All right. That's right. I'm going to get you out of here. Down in down in New Austin. As soon as as soon as loot fires turtles. up, we're heading out the back door. Snapping you turtles. Let me out of this damn office. I'm sick of having to deal with you sheriffs all the okay, fucking time. Okay, let's wait by the door. I didn't do anything. Just leave me alone. Jeez. Always What's on my open for you? Oh, sorry. I ask the fucking questions if they need to be fucking asked. Fuck me. I was gonna, and I was going to go to bed like an hour ago. Fucking door's open for you. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking hell. 
Goodness gracious. Um, all right, gentlemen, let's uh, let's make our way uh, to the main oh, street here. Make sure uh, fucking. Oh fuck. Oh, what's up? That's the sweet of my eyes. Sorry. You all right, Jack? Sure. Uh, Luda's. Uh, like he just completely disappeared in my eyes. Oh. He was there one minute, then he was gone the next. I mean, he probably slipped out your broken door, to be honest. Yeah, doors suck. They won't repair it, paper. Yep. Right, I'll be back. Give me one sec, I'll take a look. Okay. Fuck, this isn't what I had in mind, but fuck it, it'll do. Get out of here. Are you okay? I don't think I've ever been so scared of my life. What What did he say exactly? Uh, he did the whole dramatic stand by the window thing and tell me to stop poking my no nose and things and started going on about how it was because Daddy loved him so much and all this stuff. And it was really a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah, he's given me the stand by the window treatment as well. Yeah, he it, pretty it, much said, you know, not directly because he kept denying it. But when somebody pulls you in like that and tells you to stop poking your nose and things, you know that I've, I've done the right thing. I know everything. He's pretty much confirmed it all. And then as soon as I started saying that more people know, if he gets rid of me, more people know, then he started to slip. I, I know I know you're really worried about Jeb and everything and that's going on. He eventually relented because I, I I said that Jeb was all reason I've been doing all this today, and he relented and said that I want you to bring home Jeb home as well, and that's when I got to leave. But now I'm wondering if the cases are actually entirely separate. I've just stumbled upon this because I was looking for Jeb. You you saw? Did you hear that uh, Lou Wolf and I were having a big chat out on a boat? Yeah, I've been locked in the sheriff's office most of the time, I think. Let's just say great minds think alike. Yo, we're talking about the governor being dirty as well. Oh, we were definitely talking about things. Various topics. Look, Dottie and her friend were in the waiting room while I was being talked to. And then Dot Dottie walked into the room immediately after I left. And I just thought... Here we go. I'm gonna get a bullet to the back as I'm leaving this place. Not fucking happening. I would not let that happen. Well. Because the governor himself might not pull the trigger, but if he's working that closely with criminals, that he is saying that he's gonna defy God to bring a criminal back. And I said to him, no, on certain terms, that nobody defies God like that. I know you're worried about Jeb, but we need you. We need you to take a breath and just over the next over the next handful of days, just focus on being uh, being the good doctor you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one thing he said. It's like he said, I can't get rid of you because you're a very good doctor. And made more of you. Now, but that this doesn't mean you know, don't go putting up any more posters. Or I will be I will be quiet. I will fight all nature and I will be quiet. But that said. You keep your eyes and your ears open. Anything out of the ordinary, you note that down, and you you get that to me. 
Lou or Wolf if you need to. I'm going to send all your telegram with everything in it that I've said tonight. Because if something happens to me, you all need to have it written down. Yep. Everything that I have witnessed, I have been told, I have seen, and I have put together, I will write it down in case I disappear tomorrow. That, that, I'm, that's not happening. George, it's a very real possibility that I disappear tomorrow. The governor knows about my father as well. How does he know about that? Because I, at one stage, thought maybe he could help me hide and change my name. And I confided in Oh, him. no. So he's got that card in his pocket. Oh, no. See, so where are you staying in Armadillo overnight? I'll stay at the doctor's office. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll be outside all night. I appreciate you, George. I really do. It's fine. Hogness, Hogness and the others will take care of it overnight. It'll be Ron if I don't get back there till late tomorrow. I just think, I think I've poked a hornet's nest. Maybe I should have just let go. Look. I promise, I promise all I did was when I wanted to find Jeb so bad. I know, I know. We all, we all want to find Jeb, but it, it is a bit like finding a needle in a haystack. And we keep hearing about Calburn popping up here, popping up there, but then no one's got anything... No one's got the means to get a hold of him when he's there. He just keeps moving around. It's a... No, I, I... I I understand what you've been doing. But now's the time to get... Just focus on being a doctor. Rest assured, we have... We have a plan in place... To... To do this in a... In a... In a safe way. Can you... Do you remember... When we spoke before I left for Boston? I remember. I do. What was it that the lawyer was given the governor? Shit tons of tequila. Just tequila? Like tequila shots? As far as I know, that's all he said he was giving him. Okay, so... This, this, you can't... You can't pass this on to anyone, okay? My, my lips are sealed. I ain't saying anything anymore. We have a plan in place next taco tuesday we wolf lou and myself are going to be spearheading just an excellent atmosphere while the governor's there you know get him all excited about tacos music dancing and we're going to be we're going to be drip feeding him drinks over an extended period of time and then when we can find an opportune moment, we're going to invite him to come somewhere to have just, you know, a, a drink and a cigar with the gentleman. Just the gentleman. Right. We're going to gonna get him to open up with his favorite things. We're going to see what we're going to, we're going to see if he, uh, we're going to, we're going to see how, if there's any, uh, holes in his armor. We're gonna we're gonna play on. You know, we're gonna be talking. You know, it's gonna be Wolf and myself, especially, talking about the experiences we've had as lawmen and the stresses we face. And uh, we're gonna be playing on that he must be going under a great deal of stress, and he might, he might, he might let something out. But we are also gonna be documenting anything we find from here on out and sharing it with each other. Yeah. It's just this is this is a as as we suspected and as we can confirm with what's happened with you tonight, this is very dangerous. It's much more dangerous than what I thought I was walking into this morning. So we it is very important that we all do we all proceed very carefully. And, uh, How did I get to this point? All I did was hang up a fucking wanted poster. It didn't even have a picture on it or nothing. I know. I know. I know. But it, it's... It's... I don't think anyone anticipated that Calburn faking his death and this and that is all connected to the governor and elections and God knows what else. So we gotta be really careful. So look, we, we discussed a lot of ideas. The only other... The only other subtle way idea we have is we wait until the next law leadership meeting, which is a month away. Because then we'll have the governor 
We'll have Frank Corley in the room. We'll have Wolf, myself, at the very least, with the governor. And then Luke could be tailing, because there was a gentleman there that was in the governor's ear. Luke could tail him to or from the meeting to see if we find anything. But that's a month away. We, do, we may not have a month. We don't know what kind of damage you might could happen. Not have a day. Oh, you got to be fucking shitting me. Oh, God. Think, think about how things started this morning. It was a he's, he's poster on a notice board, and it exploded. And He's at the fucking saloon. What? Is that the governor? Is that the governor is, coming out of the is saloon? That, the is, is, that looks like him. I think that's the fucking governor. Jesus, what's he doing down here? The whole fucking place. What the hell? Tumbleweed? Did he see yeah. us? Did he see you? I think he saw us. Did he look drunk or tired? He looked really drunk. You know what? Turn around. Turn around. What? What do you think? He, he's drunk now. I we I. But he's just spoken to you. He's not gonna spill the beans with you here. No, he might. I know how to pressure. Oh God. Okay. Governor? <laughs> Sir? Smiley Joe? Sir, is that you? Governor? Definitely is. What the fuck? <laughs> Governor, what are you doing down here? He's very quiet. I can't time. hear him. Sir, I can't hear you. Oh. Sir? Sir? Cynthia, I think I think he may need... What, what's wrong with him? Sir? Sir, can you hear me? Is he breathing? Hello? Sir. Sir, it's George Hughes, sir. What are you doing down in Armadillo? Who the fuck is that? Oh, God. He is asleep. <laughs> Who the fuck and is am that? Am I crazy or are we being watched? Sir? Where the, what? Why is he down here? Where's his Where's his wagon? Where's his Where's his assistants? Wake up! I don't want to slap him awake. I don't think anyone deserves to be woken up like that. I've got smelling salts. They'll make anyone wake up. Yeah, I guess we try the the, the nice the nice ways first. Sir, please, sir. What the fuck is that? The bank? We gotta we gotta move him. What the fuck was that? I cannot lasso this man. So. Oh God. Oh God. He's so covered in alcohol, he slipped. Stay behind me. Well, I th I th yeah, I think you're right. I think that was from the bank. Right, I'm dragging him this way. Well, I'm trying. I can't move. Shit. Shit, there's more explosions in the street. We gotta, we gotta go. I can't get him. He's slippery for some reason. 
Oh fuck! Ow, Sorry! Shit! Come on. Sorry, sir, but we gotta get you up this street. There's fucking explosions. Oh! Oh, what's happening? Oh, sir, you, you, you've had, We're I think, a bit too much to drink. He's oh, like, you, what the hell are you here doing here? Well, Miss Wheeler and I were thinking of doing a hunting trip down in the desert before we do a snow trip. It might be safer. Oh, what? Oh, did you say Miss... Oh. Drop him. Put him down here. I'm just gonna. We just got some commotion in the street, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna call for help. Oh, Oi, was there was there wasn't uh, actually nothing. What wasn't explosives? Any of your friends of yours putting explosives in armadillo? What? Uh, Miss Wheeler, not now. I ain't trying to do anything except help you because you drunk bastard. Oh God, how do you alert the rangers again? Stay there. Oh, I'm staying. How do I alert the rangers again? Isn't it alert law? Same. Rangers? Same way. Neil, sit, sit down on the bed or something. Oh, this much, uh, this much booze is considered a toxicity. Yo, Patek, was that you at the bank? What was that? Oh, fuck! Sorry! Sorry! Wrong muscle! Wrong muscle! Oh, God. Sorry! Sorry! I'm... Well, I'm definitely feeling more sober now. Sorry! Sorry! I'm... He panicked Let me just... I'm just gonna take a look at the window. Tell me. Usually, I ask people who the governor is. Unfortunately, Smiley Joe. And uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Is this a trick question? I'm just gonna my meant to. You're meant to say ten, because that trick question is stupid. And why are you and Armadillo getting drunk and you don't even have your guards with you? Well, I got time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Now, what do you um, I need to meet someone, so y'all have to excuse me. I do appreciate y'all getting me out of the street. So there's explosions in the street of Armadillo. I've called for help from the Rangers. today of all days I guess if you're having a meeting with somebody then I should leave before I get myself hurt what does that mean this means that you have powerful friends who are listening on our little meeting before very powerful very angry friends who are prone to hurting doctors it, and prone to violence it, it, well, excuse me what, what Miss Wheel what are you insinuating I'm insinuating that you hired a violent criminal with a violent partner who came back from the dead and who generally has a reason to make doctors feel uncomfortable. So I had a meeting and I was meant to walk out of there feeling 100% safe. And then I come down here to my hometown and I find you walking the streets and I'm feeling, but then I hear explosions. So excuse me if I'm a little bit on edge. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. But look, I would love to stay and chat. You go have your meeting. I'm leaving anyway. Miss Wheeler, I do hope you find Jed. That I don't know what you feel or what how you feel towards me and anything, but I do hope you find Jed. 
So do I. All I woke up this morning was to put a missing poster on the notice board, and that's all how all this started. Sir, do you need me to walk you to your meeting? Are you all right? Uh, no, son. I'm happy to do it myself. But... Maybe you should go and help Miss Wheel. Go out the back door. Oh, Jeb. I don't know what to do. What do we do? What the what the? Fuck? It's up. You're the sheriff. I'm just a doctor. Right, we'll go at the back. We'll take a look around the corner. Do I tail him? I don't know. Do we go up the side of the houses? George, I can get myself to a safe place if you want to tail him. But I want to make sure you're going to be safe as well. You know the church on the on the road in? The abandoned church? Yeah. I'll meet you there later. Later? I, uh, uh, fuck it. Back here. Yeah, that'll be too confusing. All right, I'm going to take a look. They just rode off. Hurry, they just rode off. We could probably follow them from a distance. They went this way. I think ran behind this hill. They might be going all the way to Tumbleweed. He was the uh, the man I, I saw at the meeting with the. He was in the governor's ear, I think. The man with the big coat and the hat. Yeah, there was a man at the the the, the, the law leaders meeting. No, you were saying, but why would he be here now? I don't know. He, I, th I think he was the one watching us in the street. He might have been one sitting off the dynamite. What the hell's he doing down here? Where the hell would they have gone? Left? Right? I don't know. I mean, there's so many places you can hide around here. Tumbleweed, you know, there's tons of different shacks and mines and forts. Where the hell? Tumbleweed, maybe? I... If not Tumbleweed, I have no idea where. There goes my nice, safe New Austin. There's someone up, there's a horse right up on the, no, is that a wild? Yeah, that's wild. I saw the wild on it, but that looked like a saddle blanket. I always thought it'd be easy to find stuff out here, but I'm terribly mistaken. Um. Oh. All right. Yep, hunters. Oh. Oh, I think they might be hunting legendary out here. I was, I, and I was pretty keen on going to bed about an hour ago. Yeah, so was I. I'm sorry. No, it's duty rolling calls, I guess. The, rolling with the punches. Hold on! If you go up on the left, yeah, right here. Take it slow. Take it 
take a quick look around. Is that someone? Thing is, is that New Austin is filled with so many little hidey holes because of all the outlaws and passes that used to roam this area. So many Wait. There. Oh no, that's a local. Right, what if he took him to Mexico? I mean, he... well, that, that is a real possibility and we can't do nothing about that. I, I have no idea if that fellow's... Well, I, I don't know. There's a guy, he's got a big hat, big duster coat, and yeah, he was he was in the governor's ear at the law leadership meeting. And he, as soon as he, it seemed like he heard what he wanted to hear and then he left the meeting and he didn't say hi to anyone. And I just can't help but thinking back to that meeting with Caldern I had where he said that, you know, while we report to the governor, so to speak, that the gangs report to someone as well. And I just, I've got a bad feeling that these might be the same people. Or well, the same person. This is the first I'm hearing about this part. No, uh, that was that was just for the Pinkertons and, and that. I'm pretty much a Pinkerton. Well, that information I dug up today, it proved to be right. If I told you all that, would you go on a bit easy and not put such a target on your back? I had no idea I was even putting a target on my back, to be honest. It's just in your nature, miss. I'm just someone people want to take down, I guess, now. Even though I'm just good natured and doing everything that I can for the right reason. I know, I know. Look, I, I don't know where to. I don't know where else we can look. All I can think of now is we go back to Armadillo, see if we can find, if any of the rangers show up. Hang a left and head to Rathskeller Fort. It's uh, the big fort that is to our uh, north. It has a lot of opulent rooms and lots of space. Hey, worth, worth a look. I have done my homework about New Austin. I think if uh, today has proved anything, I am incredibly thorough. We really should have just gone on that snow hunting trip. We wouldn't be in this situation right now. Yeah, we could have, should have called Snapping Turtle two hours ago. We could have called it at the start of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that might have been ideal. I woke up at the St. Denny doctor's office and immediately bumped into Schubert, and that's when it all started. This place has a lot of rooms, a lot of fancy furniture, and not a lot of use for it. Right. It just seems like... How do we get some... in? You can go through the door. It oh. will swing open. Is that him on the chair? Oh my god, did I find the governor? Oh my god. Fucking hell. Sir, it, we saw you get... Uh, it looked like you got taken by a fella in Armadillo. Are you alright? You said you were going to a meeting. It looked like you were getting kidnapped. Uh, I was with the boy. That was the boy I was having a meeting with. The... the... the boy... who? Uh, why y'all follow me? Because we thought you got kidnapped. It's kind of our job, you know, he's a lawman, I'm a doctor, we tend to look after people who get kidnapped. Oh, man, wouldn't I have been yelling and carrying on if I got kidnapped? Well, you were drunk. Drunk people tend to, when they get to a certain point, be quieter than normal. Uh, I'm very much fan. I also Mr. know Hughes. that this I'm fort scared. in particular has many rooms with much opulent furniture and never really much use for it. I guess now we know. It's... <sighs> Nothing. Look, I'm... I'm not on... I'm not working today. That's fair, sir. I've got sir. a lot, lot on my plate to think about. 
Oh, that's understandable. Like, it's important to take time off. I I can vouch for that for any, like anybody else. It's important to do that. But yeah, I'm sorry. So we just, you know, the coyotes can wait on our hunting trip. But you know, just wanted to be sure because it just it just considering the explosions and armadillo, I wouldn't be doing. You know, I couldn't call myself a sheriff if I didn't at least take a look. I couldn't call myself a doctor if I didn't follow around one of our best patients. What does it take to be a good governor, then? Honesty, hard work, good mm. decisions. Less tequila, typically. More funding for the Lord of Palm. Well, more <laughs> funding for the doctors, too. Tip your doctors. Hmm. Mm. Less menacingly standing by windows talking to people who actually want to do the good in this town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mr. Hughes, how's your first day as sheriff? Oh, well, let, let's just say I'm extremely grateful for uh, Sheriff Wolf, the Rangers, and uh, the hardworking members of the West Law Department like Jack Harkness, Zane Ryder, um, you know, not to mention others that uh, all came together to deal with a bank robbery and uh, a whole range of other issues in town and around the region. Um... No, it was. It felt pretty good. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, got a uh, having a meeting with uh, Sheriff Wolf tomorrow night. Uh, you know, put our heads together and just make sure we're on the same page with a lot of things, and just make make the departments the best they can be, but and then collaborate when appropriate and. Uh, both Mr. Hughes and Mr. Wolf have come up to me and some of the other doctors and talked about working together. And is that all y'all talked about? Oh, often we talk about other things, but, you know, everything that I talk about generally has to do with doing good in this county. Definitely, and we def definitely don't talk about how Miss Wheeler saved me from a grizzly bear. Not, a, not at oh, all. We don't bring that up never. on an hourly occasion. No, ever. never, never, ever. Didn't happen. <laughs> Y'all don't have to beat around the bush, Miss Wheeler. I know you've told Mr. Hughes everything you probably were talking to me about. And how do you feel about that? That is the same way I felt when you were bringing up in my office. I just don't understand. All I wanted this morning was to get Jeb back. That's all I still want. Ooh. You all right, sir? Yeah, I just... I think I just need to go think for a bit. Uh, if you're sure, sir. Do you, do you need a hand down off the chair? <laughs> no. No, I can find my feet. Oh, there uh. we go. <laughs> Joe? <sighs> Miss Wheeler. I just want you to know that everything I've done tonight and found out tonight has all been for the good of the county. So is my collaboration with the law enforcement as I was raised into this job I've, I've just done my duty and that's all I'm just very good at puzzles have you ever doubted anything you've done in your job absolutely I lost a patient a few days ago hmm. and what got you by talking to the people I love I have my friends, my mentor. Although at first I told them to shut up because they kept telling me useless analogies and metaphors, but <laughs> I got through it. Talking to the people you love, eh? <laughs> That's right. Just the people I love tend to be on the same page as me in morals and character and strength. Because <sighs> I get to choose the people I keep around me. And I think I made the right choice in people like Mr. Hughes. And I thought I made the right choice in you too, Mr. Ch Mr. Governor. I am not 
angry. I'm just disappointed. Do you even know what you're disappointed about? I'm disappointed that you've obviously suffered something bad enough to make you have such a fall from grace that we're even having this conversation in Millen New Austin right now with you half drunk off your tit. It's disappointing seeing someone you respect and admire in a position so low. <laughs> I guess you're right. Mr. Hughes, I might be uh, taking a few days off. I think uh, I think you've got yourself in capable hands. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Like I said, tomorrow night, Sheriff Wolf and I are meeting to discuss things and just keep keep things all good on our end. Well, I might take a... Leave of absence? What was the word you used to me? S spiritual journey or something like that? Oh, I, I think more people put that word in my mouth, but that was... Essentially what it came down to, yeah. But you wouldn't miss Taco Tuesday, would you? Hey, let's hope not. <laughs> Fuck. I would love to see another Taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Alright. I think we head on out. Yeah, let me check my map for where we should go. I don't think I want to be in New Austin anymore. All right. Don't want to miss another Taco Tuesday. <laughs> where do you want to go? Just start riding out and I'll let you know. I can't believe I was right about him being here. I just stumbled across this place days ago. That's a nice little spot. I guess. It's not far from that little house that I want to buy. Oh, yes! That's right. I remember that little house. It's nice. Think you can get me to Strawberry? I think that's not far enough. Quiet enough. And I can send that telegram to you, let him know what's happened. Right, and then and then you're holing up in the in the in the what do you call it? The hunted lodge, right? Keep a low profile yeah. for overnight. I, I will not stay in the doctor's office where people will find me. I will stay in the hunted lot. I'll be down in the lobby. I'll be keeping an eye out. You don't have to do that. I think it's gonna be fine. It's hey, it's my jurisdiction. I'll damn well do what I want. All right, sorry, Mr. Sheriff. I can't yeah, that's right. Sheriff's orders. You're getting a good night's sleep in the hunting lodge, and I'm gonna keep one eye open on the couch downstairs. I take it his meeting didn't go too well. It was a bit strange that he said he hoped to see another Taco Tuesday. It is very... It is not optimal timing. No, and just when people say things like that, they think they might die before the day. But I think he was clear that there's nothing that we can do right now. Now, on the way to Strawberry, do you want to stop in Blackwater on the way in case we see Lua Wolf? Uh... Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hell, I could even stay in Blackwater. No one will expect me to be right there. And that means I can ferry over to St. Denny in the morning and get my get on duty if I need to. You are welcome to use the bed in the, in the, uh, the Blackwater department. That's fine. The boys won't uh, mind. No, I'll be locked in in the morning, though. Oh, yeah. Yep. Only so much book reading and cigarette smoking I can do in well, there. I... What time would you want to be leaving the department? I could be there around to unlock the door for you. Um. No, I'll stay in the saloon. It'll be fine. I'll be right across the street. I think I think I may have to insist on strawberry. 
Oh. Just, I don't know. All right, fine. Blackwater and I stay in the sheriff's office. No, get no, no, no. We can. No, we go. Blackwater, I'll stay in the sheriff's office. You can get me out at six. We, we can, we can stop at Blackwater. But then it's just, and then it's just short ride to Strawberry. All right. I'm just conscious of the fact that both of us wanted to go to bed an hour and a half ago. Yeah. No. We'll, all right. We'll, we'll scoot through. We'll scoot through Blackwater. Don't let them hold us in a conversation for too long. Yeah. Need to know. They the, need to know some things, then we're out of there. The only people I'm stopping for is Lou or Marcus. And then it's Strawberry. And then that's it. And then you get some damn rest. Well, now, hold on. Who's this? Jack? Yeah, All right. Hey. Howdy, okay, fellas. Yeah, for an alert. There was a, a lot of explosions happening in the middle of the street for no reason. Explosions? Like, like there was one at the gunsmith, there was one in the bank, there was one at the general store. It was really insane. You guys all right? Yeah, we skedaddled out to Tumbleweed. Incoming riders. Interesting. Yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, we couldn't believe it. There was an explosion at the bank, then an explosion across the street. Yeah. So we hold up in the doctor's office, and then we got the hell out of here. Hey, y'all seen where uh, where Lou and Marcus went? Uh, remind I, I'm right here, but refer to oh, me what? as Ranger Dwayne. All right, Ranger Dwayne, Jesus Christ, are you fucking changing your outfit? God damn. Hey, I fit the part every jurisdiction. We should probably give you a quick update of something that just was experienced. Okay. Let's uh, have, have a chat. So many meetings. So many meetings. This has been my whole day. Well, actually, most of my hours of my day was spent riding around. I know it's the middle of the street, but I can see who's around. Uh, the governor was in Armadillo when we got here. He was drunk. Really? Drunk He was his drunk, mind. crawling through the street while explosions were going off. We got him into the doctor's department. He said he had a meeting to get to. He got picked up by somebody, ridden around. I, then I said, let's go to the fort. And because I've been exploring New Austin a lot, and the fort is like a very yeah. nice fort with like all these really opulent rooms for some reason. I thought, well, the governor might have a meeting in somewhere that's this fancy. And uh, I was right. Rathskeller uh, Fork. Rathskeller Fort, that's right. He fork. might that's still be there ranch. right now. He might. So he was on the roof. He climbed up there while he's drunk. So he might fall off and perish, but who he, knows? But he was saying about um, taking he had a meeting. And taking some ain't, days off. Ain't that that ranch, that quiet ranch? No, Rathskeller is a fort. It's like a... Yeah, north, north between Tumbleweed and Armadillo. And, uh... Sorry, I thought that was the ranch. My bad. No, it's it's a full you know, fortress. But he uh, he did say that he didn't think that he was going to make it to Taco Tuesday, pretty much. And uh, the meeting that he took was with the fellow that was in the law meeting that was whispering in his ear. Yeah, I'm I'm fairly positive. I recognized the man here in the street, and then they rode off together. That it was the same man that was at the law leadership meeting, whis whispering in his ear. Interesting. Yeah, we exchanged some words with him because it would have been strange or not to. I think and now we're gonna head out. Did you buy any chance to see where that fellow went? No, I did not. But he's been lurking around. I think yeah, we've we had a few people just lurking. All right, I think we need to. Uh... We need to keep an eye on both these gentlemen, especially mm -hmm. if the uh, governor's going around with strange metals. Does anyone there. have a strange compulsion to buy red wool right now? I, re I, I think I just drank one, probably, and still drinking it. It's in my pocket here. All right. Uh, but it's it's quite uh, quite the predicament I think we're in. And the, the the governor is clearly very distressed in many ways. Yeah. Very, I think, very. I, I think a lot of people get into his head. Yeah, I think whoever this man is, I think he's he's putting the the, the governor through hell. It seems. Definitely. I think we've got ourselves a puppet governor. Yeah. Uh, we need to look in on this. Like I said, if mm -hmm. we can try get him to tackle Tuesday. That's Absolutely. if he makes it to Taco Tuesday, but we got yeah, you gotta be you gotta be, you gotta be tailing him as best you can over the yeah. weekend. Don't worry, I'll be uh I'll be what? chauffeuring him around if Mr. Ames ain't around. Yeah. Well welcome back first day on the job, Dwayne. Thank you. 
And yeah, we're gonna head to Blackwater and then swing to Strawberry for the night. No, no, we, we, we've we've spoken to who we want to speak to. We oh, I thought you wanted to also speak to Marcus. All right. Uh, no, Lou, yeah. you, Lou, you pass this on to Wolf for us, please. That's if I see him, but I will. Yep. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna we're yeah, gonna lay low in Strawberry overnight. Yeah, sounds good. And I hope that uh, distraction worked out well for you. I think so. Oh, it did actually. Yeah, it did. Help. I, I got my ass shot by the deputies. You are a different breed, Dwayne. <laughs> I ran up to Wolf, pointed a gun at him, and they just went <laughs> shot me. All right. <laughs> yeah, I stay safe, Dwayne. You stay, stay safe. safe. Okay. Have a good. Stay safe, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the night in a strawberry. Okay, stay safe. And I'll, I'll see you tomorrow see you night. If you see Wolf pass the message. Yeah, they're gonna see you next. Yeah. See, yeah. see you tomorrow, fellas. Goodness gracious. Oh, nutties, dude. I, I, I wanted to go to bed like two hours ago. <laughs> ah! This is, this is my second day as a sheriff. This is, this is my first day as a detective. No, I'm just kidding. Oh I, my God. I really just wanted to find Jeff. That's all I wanted. All I did was put up that poster. So, you know, usually, when people go missing or crimes happen, you can you can you can you can rest assured that if you tell the law department and and the Pingitans that 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 we will we we will take it from there, right? I know, but I did find out all the information faster than all of you put together. Yeah, but then uh, but then everyone else kind of learned all that information as well. Yeah. I just don't understand the timing of Dottie and what's his face, if you can get his name right, getting shot in Valentine. I also haven't heard word from Walter for a really long time, which has me worried considering he's the one who gave him the initial tip off. Oh, oh we saw him earlier today. He'll be fine. How long ago? Six hours. All right, that, a lot can happen in six hours. I don't know, what do you, what do you mean? People can die in like 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> that my last patient who died, uh, I got onto the scene. He was dead three minutes later. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I just I didn't see him around when Dottie and what's his face got hurt. I suppose we can't plan that snow hunting trip till after Taco Tuesday. I mean, snow hunting trip might be the good way to just leave the can't leave. <laughs> Most of the towns for a while. We'll just go hide. Fuck okay, it. We'll just invite Marcus and just Lee to come and just come let it happen. With us. Just fuck it. Yeah, just let the whole county light on fire. See how they look. Well, because yeah, tomorrow night my main priority is meeting with Sheriff Wolf and getting everything in line yeah. there. Of course, yeah. Uh, and obviously now the governor knows that you know. Yeah, that doesn't help. But it is yeah. what it is. But I mean. I think people know at this point that we tell each other pretty much everything. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway. Getting ahead of it somewhere. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know. You're just feeling as lost as I am. It's a lot. I've already got enough on my plate trying to recruit people and yeah, I'm do sorry training. for putting this on. No, on you. no, it's it's all Jeb's fault. That's God a joke. damn it, Jeb. Then technically, if you go back, then it's still Caldera's fault. Well, maybe if I hadn't have made that agreement with him, he wouldn't have gone so hard on the east. Well, maybe if he wasn't a. Never mind, I'm not saying that. That's true. He, yeah, I didn't want to have a meeting with him until he was. Maybe if he wasn't a raging asshole with testosterone issues, this would never have happened. Yeah. And then it's, you know, it's also, uh, well, the, the East Law Department didn't have to take Dottie's rifle. Well, they also didn't have to rob, commit it's crime. It's a butterfly effect, though. Just, it's something small happens, and then up the line, big things blow up. I think it does come down to, it was, the origin of it all, it was criminals doing criminal activity, really. I think. And, and we're just trying to do good. I'm just trying to do my job. I'm just trying to do mine, which is... And also, oh, I, Jeb, I, I, which is I didn't recognize you, Detective Pinkerton Wheeler. Oh my God! Well, for a while, 
responsible for saying that I should train the person. Yeah, but it's been just, a running joke for the last You need weeks. to go do some training with Frank. You know, Frank's like a. You, you, do you, how often do you see Frank? I don't think I've ever seen Frank. How often do you hear about what Frank does? Never. It's because he's very good at his job. And All right, well, here's the thing. I don't think I could be a Pinkerton because I can't shut up. No. Yo, if you wanted to be a Pinkerton, you would have to probably spend a year literally shadowing Frank. And not saying a fucking word. Redheads. I swear to God. What the hell is that supposed you to just, mean? You just can't, you just can't help yourselves, can you? What the fuck? You gotta, you got, you can't just be, live with the fire that's inside. You got a lot of fire under everything. Wow. George, you had a mullet the other day. Yep, and it would have been paid for that mullet. You shouldn't be poking fun at my hair if your hair was looking like that. It's a, it's a backhanded compliment. I think. And I'm very fucking tired. Yep. Me also. Yep. Now watch, we'll get to Strawberry and somebody will shoot both of us. And at least then we can nap. Yeah, then I won't be interrupted. Oh, please, somebody knocked me unconscious. <sighs> oh, I sure would hate to have a nap right now. Left, right, good night. Oh, please, we're nearly there. It's just a little further. <laughs> get him. It's fine. That was a little scary on that on that street. That man, whoever he is, he, I'm, pretty, I'm fairly certain he was staring right at us. There was multiple sets of eyes watching us. Yeah. And the governor wouldn't move his slug-like body out of the way. I can't believe that. We, we decide, let's get the hell out of here, God, I'm Dylan. And then who's there? The governor walks out the saloon. That is, mm -hmm. that is spooky. I tell you, I'm glad that I sort of had the background that I do, but his... <laughs> I'm unsurprised, but disappointed in the way that he has gone. But at least I know how to handle some things, some political discussions. Bureaucrats are all the same, no matter how short or long they've been in the job. I don't even know what a bureaucrat is. Po politicians. They're all rotten. Oh, yuck. A telegram station. I need to send that to Schuber, otherwise he'll be worried. All right. How you do? Evening, mister. I was gonna say, is that a player waiting for me? Like, fuck off. Fuck off! <laughs> Let me go to bed! Well, I got a threatening telegram anonymously. What'd it say? Uh, loose lips. I speak without a tongue, but my words bring doom. A secret unveiled leads to a room. What am I? What? It's a riddle. Uh, uh, maybe somebody knows I'm good at puzzles now. I need to dwell on this. Oh, God. I speak without a tongue, but my words bring doom. A secret unveiled leads to a room. What room? God. All right, let me send this to the... <sighs> Is it lies? <laughs> I don't know, that ground looks pretty good to sleep on too. <laughs> Their feet in the harvest that 
You know that place over Oh god. Oh. I'm so tired. This is why I hate going to sleep. That's why I don't go to bed after midnight because it just fucks me up. I gotta be I gotta be ready by I'm on um I'm a uh, guesting on an episode of Zombie L Zombies Love Bacon's Creator Notes podcast at one o'clock tomorrow. Today. I gotta be I gotta be mentally ready for that. I'll probably have to talk about Red Dead RP. Alright. Is the is the answer the riddle lies? I speak without a tongue, but my I words bring doom. Left, a secret unveiled leads to a room. A I don't hands. know. It's possible for the first half. Is what is it again? Okay, one more time. I speak without a tongue, but my words tongue. bring doom. I speak without a tongue, but my words bring doom. Couple of mean looking bounty yeah. Blew through here is that not like too long ago. your brain? Sure thoughts? Is. Something. Sure. I don't know. I'll then what was the there. second part again? A secret unveiled leads to a room. Secret unveiled leads to a room. And then what am I? Something about a door? I don't know. God damn it, Dave! Let me sleep on it. I'll I'll send you a copy in the telegram. Alright, let's let's get let's find you a room at the at the the lodge, whatever you fucking call this place up here. I think some people call it the Welcome Center. Whatever it is, I really like its architecture. Cynthia, where the hell'd you go? You all right? Sorry, after thinking about that riddle, I started to feel uncomfortable because I think ultimately it is a threat against me. So, um, I am gonna go and put a pillow over my head and try not to see the demons. Okay, look, yeah, I'll be downstairs on the couch and whatnot. Now, if... Oh, actually, now people see me. I'll take the one here. If it. All right. If anything ha if you hear anything at the window or anything, fucking out of the ordinary. I'll, I will let you know. I'll be right out here. Okay. All right. Good night, George. Good night, Cynthia. Try and get some sleep. Is there like a sleep? That'll do. I'm so fucking tired. Ugh.